Welcome back, guys. Here we are for the final moment of this tournament. Brawlhalla World Championship 2017. You saw all the action that went on over this last year. Uh, over all the lands, all of the Wi-Fis. It's all coming down to this moment right here, right now. I'm TK Breezy. And I'm Fats, and welcome to Top bring 8. Everybody. We're going to be here to bring you the first half of Top Let's 8. Get Six in. matches. Get in here, and getting everyone. ready for the Top 4. Everybody is crowding in this venue. Getting ready for these exciting, exciting battles of these people who've been going through bracket after bracket or placed and still had to play this morning. Yeah, so we actually have uh, our new doubles champion, Boomy, stepping up to play uh, yet again here in singles. But no teammate this time. The only team he has is his left and his right hand. He got to depend on them. See exactly how that goes down today. So also some shirts being thrown out here. I mean, Does Foda have an arm? I mean, I, I, he, he hit a couple people in the back, so I think he got a little something, something. Oh, oh here we go. Here we Brett go. Favre. Brett Favre, Foda getting the toss out. All right, it's All right. Gonna be that, was, that was soft toss right there. Look, homeboy right here, he's the one who's looking for. It. He got his hands <laughs> open, ready. That hands right in front of the camera. Oh, oh, I, I thought. All right, actually, that was pretty close. It's the rock. It's the rock. <laughs> <laughs> and this next shirt is actually purchased by and a gift to you guys from Expired. Expired the game. Expired the go. All right, guys, that is All right, everybody, let's get shirts. ready for 1v1. It is about that time to start the fun. LDZ versus Boomy is going to be our first match. Both of them set up on the stage. Boomy, just as TK said, coming back from winning game 10 of the 2v2 championships. Yeah, that was that was a lot, man. That was a lot of... <laughs> A lot of work that it had to do, man. It was a lot of uh, closed games where they were actually down, had to make a couple comebacks. But then a lot of games that, you know, they were up, and then uh, the EU team also managed to bring it back. So that was just a really close competition of doubles. Now, I know throughout that video you saw a lot of LDZ versus Boomy matches, so these guys are no strangers to playing each other. All depends on what happens right here, right now on this stage. I'm excited to see what changes to the game have been made since the last time these guys played in a high competition situation. Here, we got Dash ready to go. These guys are about to be moving across this stage. A lot of pressure will be coming out from both of these uh, players because they're just trying to win. Yeah. And this is only the, the first part of top eight. Yeah, it's the winner semis part. So then after that, we're going to have Addy Mestic, uh, who was also in the finals, going up against Dobrin over here, winner semis. And on the loser side of things, Effie and Pugsy. Oh, Effie versus Pugsy. I, I, that tears in my heart. Those are two players that I enjoy watching play so much. Pugsy being like... A good first up and Effie being fantastic in this the game. We've seen a ton World of side play. I, I've been praising it this entire weekend. We've got so, I mean, that's going to be a match to watch. Yeah. And then World on champion, the other side Bumi of the losers' ace, or the last person in this top eight, Dr. Faison and Blood Diamond. Both these guys really clawing their way back to uh, even get to this point. And Dr. Faison had a, a, a crazy run on that side stream that we had to watch, uh, that we commentated. And now he's in the top eight, so we'll see if he can continue that run here against Blood Diamond in the Losers' Ace match. But that's only after we get to the rest of these matches. Yeah, first up, we're going into the winner's semis. The boys are ready to go. LDZ versus Boomy is going to be your first match of top eight here at BCX 2017. Stage strikes coming out. Where are we going, boys? So Boomy opting to stay with his Diana, too. He's been picking up quite a bit of characters here in this tournament, but today he's going to start with the Diana in defense mode while we have... Uh, Lucien, just standard Lucien right here. That boy quick, though. That why Lucien's why Lucien speed so high? Like, <laughs> what, what are you running from? <laughs> it's running from, uh, clearly the British are coming because he's got the suit ready. Yeah, he definitely got the suit ready. But either way, I don't know if, if LDZ has been playing this, this the entire time. This is actually the first game I've been able to watch of him playing. So maybe this is, uh, you know, the, the character that's carried him this far. I, as I was pointing out earlier, I haven't really seen too much Lucien. But it seems like we're going to see some great Lucien right now. My boy is moving. He is shooting it for the stars. Good X pivots come out. Recover. This is going to be the first stock already. Under 30 seconds. Wow. LDZ is making moves. He wants to win this tournament. Wow, wow, wow. Now, I understand why, uh, you know, Boomy is in that defense mode with uh, Lucien only having like three attack. You know, it takes him a while to get some damage up here, but LDZ was like, no, I really don't, though. <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at me. Stays moving on him and keeps the pressure going. The blaster is definitely a good choice right here. Tries to get the gravity cancel. Not going to work for him. Boomy has to take this stock as soon as he can. The whip comes out and he's out of here. Okay, Boomy managed to answer back. Not too far off into uh, that white either. It's in the off right right now. Got hit about two, three times. But let's see if he can start to get, uh, mount himself a little lead here. LDZ just seems to know where Boomy wants to be all the time, though. He 
is jabbing him up every time he gets a chance to. Nair's coming out, controlling all the space. Some edge play coming out. Ooh, bow throw. That's pretty clean. That, that bow kind of hung, uh, like, hang there in that one spot. <laughs> really like, covered his, uh, his entrance back on. Definitely like a slow motion movie. <laughs> all right. Tries to get a sick out, dives real deep with that ground pound, not going to land it. Stuck to the edge of the stage. What's going to happen? Oh, gets off. Gets back on stage right here. Neutral light, but looking for another answer. I hit that a sig right there. I mean, he keeps running, throwing that same sig, but he's not getting punished for it. So I guess it's okay right there. The sig mix up. <laughs> Definitely the sig mix up. Throw oh, one yeah. out six times and get the last one free. All right. So now Lucian up. Uh, what a pretty decent lead right here. Only in the yellow. Starting to add on some damage here to Boomy, but. Boomy just trying to find his way to a weapon, get a little too desperate for it, and you can kind of tell LDZ is catching on to that. A lot of damage off of Boomy just kind of trying to run by him to get that weapon. He got, he got sliced up that entire time trying to make something happen. Good neutral stick. The call out straight up just shot him. Oh, yeah. Got the, the, the fire. Got, got a little charge in there, too. <laughs> Held it for a second, said, you don't want to step over here. Does it anyway, gets shot. Back on stage, these boys are. Tries to get the neutral stick, but instead walks into the guns of Lucian. All right. Oh. Might be done here. Yeah, he's not going to be able to make that one back. LDZ, that wow. first game, super dominant right there. Look at him. He's out here handling business. Still got the jacket on and everything. <laughs> he's trying to push his way through this top eight. And it, it shows. That was a, a clean two stock. Uh, was high red near the end. Booby not able to take that last stock. Guys smiling at each other. Uh, so, so fast. Oh, oh, no wonder. Hmm. This is where the smile came from. We got the Lucy Amir coming up. All right, yeah, so we got the Lucy Mirror, but uh, Boomy did decide to go for the attack stance right here. So lose a little bit of that speed in favor for some harder hits. Uh, you know, I, I guess I can somewhat agree with that, but we'll see. We'll see how, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Again, you know, I, I've seen Boomy play a lot, so I'm sure he has some knowledge of this character. But this is LDZ right now, and the way he's playing, it's like this is the only character he plays. <laughs> Level 70 Lucian right here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the weapon throw tries to make something happen, but Boomy makes his way back. How does he picks up the blasters? Now he's got some space to make something happen. Shots coming out. Shots. X pivot. X pivot always looking nice. All right, now Boomy trying to figure out a way to start to add some more of this damage. He's definitely in a deeper or in the deeper side of damage here against uh, LDZ. As he's trying to get some movement out, Boomy, he's like, he's like, come on, get back on the stage just so I can show you something real quick. Hits him with a hot step back slice, not going to take him out, though. Yeah, man, LDZ obviously uh, doing quite well with these baits, but also I feel like Boomy is, is just falling into them. Like, he, like he shouldn't know that these are happening. I like that uh, chase dodge to go up. <laughs> Boy, over here Sock doing geometry. Oh. oh, that's it. Ground pound comes out. LDZ's going to take the first stock. He's bleeding, though. That's a deep red if I've ever seen. Yeah. He might be able to take him out with, you know, just a side heavy. Side sick, unarmed, but we'll see. Throws, throws the daggers at him. The guitars hit him in the face, picks him back up. Guys are throwing those sigs out to try and get something to happen. Boomy is looking for this kill ASAP. Blasters on hand, goes to the recovery, get out of the danger zone, tries to dive with them on the oh. down air, down oh. the side air. Okay, everyone manages to make it back. I don't know how, man. Brawlhalla, recovery of the, the, the gods right there. Definitely the new tagline of the game. A recovery of the realm. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to jump out and slice him, unable to get that. It's going to be some offstage play. Boomy has to make this back. He's good for now. Oh, but he's getting sliced up. Oh, he tried to go for the special right there. That uh, gravity cancel down light into a ground pound. However, these guys are still fighting on the stage. And this time, it happens to be Boomy to be the one to make it back here. That's some good stuff. He's sitting only in orange while LDC gets back. Clean as a whistle, taking a little bit of damage as Boomy gets in with some X pivots. They are definitely shooting. The recovery comes out, tries to get the neutral air, not gonna go in his favor as he wants it to. Do do good shots coming out right there from LDZ, taking another stock. Yeah, even though you know LDZ did just lose that right there, the offstage battle with Boomy, he still managed to come back and keep his momentum, his composure. So LDZ, man, really having Boomy's number this time around. And, and as you can see, every time Boomy's trying to step away, LDZ is like, well, I'm just going to jump with you every time. I'm gonna every just, time. I'm going to just pull up on you. I mean, oh, yeah. He does have the faster stance. He's got the legs. He really does. He's got the movement. Trades against the ground pound with a neutral air. He's getting shot. Oh. What? He's so lucky oh, about that platform, <laughs> man. It was moving up. It saved him. The platform was like, nah, not today, man. You need to do something. Ooh. Okay. Boomy with his own little uh, combo right there, but already in the, the deep red, so he's got a lot of work to do. Make sure all the weapons are off the stage, but just immediately duffed for one. 
sent flying, so he picks up the gun. LDZ has the blasters at hand, and he's looking to poke with this side light. Gets him with the gravity cancel, tries to go for recovery, unable to grab that. D-Light's coming out, but the recovery is still there. That's going to be another game in favor of LDZ. Yeah, man, that, that recovery didn't move it, didn't do nothing. Just right near the ground, knew it was going to scoop up and send Boomy off the top, man. The gun's recovery is just so strong. Oh, Here's some, some of his stats. achievements, my guy. <laughs> some stats, legends. Brendan Diana ain't playing either of those, though. I like that picture, though. <laughs> it's a good picture. So, got first in a plethora of tournaments: Brawl Hall Winter Championship, the League Open Cup, U.S. Uh, West Regional Qualifier, the uh, Bra the, the Brawl Spring Championship. He's just really up here, man. Lowest placement in the 17 at the Stream.me Legend Series. So that must have just been. He must have been sick. <laughs> Had to be sick. I saw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna chalk it up. He was sick. He was eating a pizza while he's playing. Yeah. <laughs> Ada is the switch here from Boomy. Now going to his third character of the set, hoping that this character will bring him some sort of a W because he's going to need it or else he's going to be out of here. Three out of five here in top eight. And LDZ is sitting on two already. All right. So this time around, yeah, man, bring up the Ada. I don't know. As we said, you know, he can play a lot of characters, so I'm never going to doubt his skill. But, man, it has been a rough battle here against LDZ. Got him with the, uh, the down sig right there. Gravity cancel down sig. Tries to go for the neutral sig to spin something. These guys are swiping at each other next to the island over here on the right side of the stage. Jumping okay. the down air poke down again. Again. But this time LDZ is going to take a better approach to recovery. But boom! He's poked out. Thought he was going to throw it. Doesn't even need to throw it. But <laughs> LDZ dropped this flag for him real quick. They both dropping the flags like, yo, we still doing it for America. <laughs> Either way, one of us got to win, but it's looking like it's going in LDZ's favor. Except this match, Boomy is showing something. Boomy is definitely showing something. He's got the step ladder, the stairs, everything's coming out. Recovery, and Ada has negative HP, so she's going to have a hard time staying alive for this long. And LDZ really knows how to get all these combos uh, rocking. Even off of the side, that time, uh, Boomy actually going for the LDZ bait. Just chilling until you try to do something. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Too low, but the flag comes out yet again. Even in stocks right now, LDZ in orange, but Ada, two hits, she's in orange, so it's pretty much tied at this point. All right. Ooh, jumps back. over it. Okay. Oh, Boomy, what the catch right there. As soon as he's tried to get him with that jump, nice anti-air sig, pushes him down, and now he's actually got the lead for the first time here in this set. I mean, it took a little while, but... You know, maybe this, this is the character that he needs to, to make it happen. However, you know, I feel like L LDZ is really good at adjusting, so I don't know how many times he's going to be able to pull out this Ada and hope for the best. <laughs> Probably just this one time he's going to yeah. switch to another character if he gets it. But let's see if he can get it. Great Ooh. combo right there. Tries to catch the Nair, unable to. He is moving. He is definitely moving right now. Oh, try to try to catch him as he was coming back down, but Ooh. had another time for a jump. Pulls him up off of that recovery. Still looking for this uh, gravity cancel sig. Just not really working out for him, though. Slice comes out. Man, quick side sick. Uh oh, bad position. Good thing that wall was there, or else he was gone. Throws it up. <laughs> Catches, but that's not going to be enough. He's out of here. That's LDZ that, uh, is bleeding real red. Let's see what happens. What's Boomy got? That's that spear for you, man. Spear is such a wide hitbox when you just throw it, uh, you know, vertically. So. Ooh. Oh, okay. Is uh -oh. that? It's not going to be enough. Looking for another one. Oh, oh my God! Oh, no. Talk about stealing a game. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Lucy and the Thief. <laughs> oh, my God. Most definitely. Hits him with the recovery, and as soon as he's out in that skybox, here's a nair for good measure, and he's out of there so quick, too. Yeah, Lucy, Lucy and part of that Boston Tea Party, bro. He's stealing your tea. The British are definitely coming, but uh, he's prepared. Oh, my. That was crazy right there. I, I, I wasn't for sure he was going to show him the <laughs> uh, all right. Well, anyway, Boomy <laughs> with you know, 80 different characters. Yeah, he played everybody. They should have just put everybody right there. So, I mean, he's got a couple first on his belt, too. But, you know, he's got a hard uh, battle in front of him if he's trying to get first here. So, you know, we got first at CO Dreamy Legend where, you know, LDZ was sick. And uh, <laughs> CO Dreamland. And then I uh, got a couple seconds in here. But he's always seems to be in the top eight. You know, I got his worst placement so far has been ninth. Uh, this you know this season so really consistent really consistent in his uh, placings here yeah to see somebody so consistently uh, play this game and do so well every single time is, is is great stuff I mean 
Boomy just won doubles. He might have fallen there, but that's not going to be the end of the run for him. Of course, he's going to be knocked out into the loser's bracket, so we will be seeing him again. But, I mean, that, that, that's not the point right now. We have another match coming up for you guys, and I'm pretty excited to see exactly who it is. Oh, oh, oh I see you sitting down. One of our competitors is going it's to the Shemans. bathroom, so you know what that means. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, somebody had to use the restroom, so we're so throwing more shirts. We got yeah, some apparently. wristbands. Oh, oh we got, hey, whoa, whoa, wait up. I need one of those. Can, can we get wristbands? Can, oh. I mean, if I hold my hand up it long enough, he'll, he'll he's see not it. Gonna look, he's not going to see he'll, it. He'll see way it. in the back. <laughs> Come on. All right, it's not going to work. I thought, <laughs> he's I thought he was going to see He's definitely frisbee in those. Definitely frisbee so. <laughs> little things. Yeah, so the text doc, I mean. <laughs> the text doc. Text, that, was, that was the secret script. So. Oh, y'all oh, oh, hopefully, no. hopefully no one got the, the screen cap it out, but that was definitely the secret script. <laughs> the oh. Brawlhalla script has been leaked. Yeah, so. But up next, we are going to have uh, Dobrin and Addy Mastic here. Here we go. Addy Mastic. Uh, he's got one first place right here in the Brawl League Spring Fling, but he still actually has some great placements as well, but also got 17th at Stream.me Legend Series, where he's probably sick, uh, as well as Brawl Hollow Winter Championships. So, I mean, he's really been holding, uh, holding it down. All of these characters that he has under his name, but I've only seen his Val. His Val has been tearing people up today. I mean, yeah. his, his Nair combos into these jabs and these neutral lights, down lights, all of this stuff. He's controlling space so well, and earlier we saw him just dominate with uh, gravity canceled side six like he was just zooming across the screen as Val with the gauntlets out and I'm excited to see exactly what he's going to do as soon as he gets from the bathroom but his opponent of course is Dobrain. Yeah Dobrain been holding it down for the EU circuit he's got all of these uh, characters under his name but I mean who, who have you seen for Dobrain? Has it been alright? It hasn't been alright. I've seen I've seen probably all these characters. I'm I'm like, I'm I've seen his Cassie and Dubs. Well I'm talking about here like yeah, I didn't really get to see any of his singles because, uh, again, he was floated. So he only had to play with so much to get to this top eight, and he's definitely proven that he is worth the float. Cassidy has been uh, holding down in top eight, but look at his standings here. Uh, 33rd at stream. Me Legend Series. So, I mean, obviously, he, he had the flu. Like, everyone <laughs> else had the cold. Like, he, he was actually on his deathbed playing. So um, He made it back, though. Yeah, he made it back, though. Got first at the Brawl League Open Cup and, uh, and some great placements all throughout the rest of his career. So. Waiting for this guy, Addy Mestic. He's sitting down. They're going to prep really quickly before we get into this amazing matchup. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here at BCX 2017. I am a Dobrain fan. So, I mean, I'm rooting for him. I don't know about you guys at home. Yeah, he's been, but they're both from the EU side. So, I mean, I'm sure this is a team. This is a team kill they didn't want to do because EU is definitely trying to come over here and take a, you know, an American uh, circuit. But... Uh, it did not happen there in uh, singles, and we're trying to see if it can happen here. In, or did not happen there in doubles, but we're trying to see if it can happen here in singles. But one of these guys going to have to put the other into losers already. So at some point in time, they will have to run into Boomy as well uh, if, if it gets to that point. But after that, we're going to have Effie and Pugs, uh, Pugsy and then Dr. Faison versus Blood Diamond. The Blood Diamond. I'm super excited. These guys are setting up, getting his hands warm. Got the actual pocket hand warmers. My man was prepared. For a good match here at BCX. Eddie Messi got some nice hair. Got the, got the nice little little swish going on. Quick button check before the boys get into the match. Make sure their hands are ready, their buttons are set, and the damage is ready to be done. Yeah, man. Eddie Messi, as we said, you know, his valve has been going in. And to be honest, he, they, they were one play away from not letting the bracket reset. He went for a down light into a side sig instead of like any other sig and I'm pretty sure he would have been able to win that I think maybe like even down light to like down sig with the shuriken would have hit before that side sig but he put himself yeah. in a real bad position and then Boomy capitalized perfectly so they had to replay that you know play that next set and Boomy and Remy were uh, they were in it definitely in, in it. it to win it here is your top eight bracket in case you missed out El does he did 3-0 Boomy just a second ago up next we have Addy Messick and Dober these are all winners side on the losers, you can see exactly who's lying in wait to do some sort of damage. Dr. Faison and Blood Diamond, winner of that match is up against the man himself, the doubles champ, Boomy. And on the other side of that, Effie and Pugsy, a match that's going to break my heart. Yeah. So, I mean, it's still, it's still crazy that that Ladies last and gentlemen, game up next was just stolen in 1v1 from Boomy. Like, top eight. <laughs> he just did We've one bad decision European all the way at the top, players. and that was all. He really, he right really lost that stock quick. Yeah, yeah. He, he was, like, literally in, like, off-white. <laughs> like, 
You weren't even in yellow. Here, new, new house paint Abby white. Mason. Ain't got it on. Just done. He got his it's new house raw. So, uh, over here, we, yeah, we got the... We got, well, we got photo, obviously, Mordex. let you know what's going on. But we got the Mordex coming through with the Dexterity and then the Val with the uh, attack build. So more force on her moves. Even though she had a pretty decent force, or at least pretty good angles on her SIGs, we're going to see them uh, take out stocks just a little faster now. Ooh, this is going to be a gauntlet battle at that. Durant already throwing, going for the scythe instead, trying to rack up those easy early strings to make something happen. But Addy Mess has got the movement. I mean, as I've been pointing out, uh, throughout the entirety of this tournament, man, you know, whenever I see someone go for that side light with a scythe, I feel like they're just kind of co collecting data for later on in the set when they can start getting some real good combos from the reads. So. If they try and see exactly which way you're going to air dodge, if you do, there it is right there, just the clean weight, trying to see what his option was. He went for Ooh. gravity cancel down light, and it cost him a little bit more damage. Getting scooped right now. Tries to go for the sig, not going to land. My man Dobrain is just taking him to Baskin Robbins. Yeah, Scythe is definitely the controller right here, man. I'm telling you where you need to go. All right, Gauntlet's in the hand of Addy Messick. Not going to be as fast as he'd like to be. Dobrain is definitely out here trying to eat. Oh, a little off in that angle, but still catches the recovery as he was trying to get past him. Dobrain super quick on his, uh, on his unarmed recovery right there to take that first stock away from Addy. All right, Dobrain's ready to start this stock over again using the Scythe at early percentages. Our early colors <laughs> will definitely help him. But the damage is already too high on himself. Addy Mess is going to slice him out of there. And he's going to start this stock with the gauntlets, ready to jab somebody up. And I know the, the bottom of the screen it does say that uh, the brain is playing uh, Val. Uh, that is not correct. Uh, it's actually the brain on, <laughs> on the Mordex. So, you know, do not be confused here. We will get that fixed shortly. Oh, yeah. Just but, yeah. check the names over the character's face. You can see that much. But these guys are definitely jabbing down light into side light. Nothing comes afterwards. Dash up, jab up. Ooh, waits on it. Tries to get a gravity cancel. Not going to work for him. Slice, slice. Nair's coming out. Tries to go for the neutral sig. Not going to happen. Dobrain's looking for a read. Dobrain, there we go. Nice stuff. Nice stuff and nice switch. Thank you, uh, production. I see y'all out there doing some work in the back. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Dobrain now, you know, Definitely down in uh, percent here, which is uh, interesting because he had such a dominant start at the beginning, but it looks like Eddie Mestic on his second stock. Oh, man. Oh, tries to get the weapon snipe, not able to recover. He goes against the island, able to survive because of that angle. Dobrain is definitely leaking. Eddie's looking for Ooh. recovery. Tries to do something dirty, unable to land that, though. Yeah. Getting cracked in the face. Yeah, I thought right he was now. just going to oh, try to wow. go for the recovery, but instead, you know. Uh, oh, no. Going for something dirt. Oh, that's going to be it. Oh, but he, oh, I feel like if he would have hit that, they probably would have both died right there. <laughs> so, Possibly. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got a lot of red on him. But he ends up taking that stock first anyway, so. All right, Dobrain is in a precarious situation. Got to be very careful against Addy Mestic, who's definitely ready to take some damage from himself easily. Dobrain, one hit, one heavy hit is definitely going to cost him a stock. Oh, all right, the step back. But Ooh. can't step too far back away from that side light, man. Covers a lot of distance in there. Right after that, comes through with the side air, so. Pretty even game right here. So we're waiting for the weapon drop. It's going to be gauntlet on gauntlet action. It is definitely oh, Fight Club. Oh, These they boys definitely are going off. Ooh, try, oh, oh, actually lands the down stick. I didn't expect it. Yeah. Right now, oh, I mean, I, I, feel like, I feel like Addy's, uh, you know, Addy's gauntlet's probably going to do a little better than Dobrain's. I'm not used to seeing him with the gauntlet's too much, but I'm definitely used to seeing Addy. Oh, no. Finally uh -oh. gets back to stage here. What's All right, here we go. Ooh, Dobrain's trying to look for a read, getting these. Down lights into side lights, trying to trying to fish for something. Definitely fish for damage. Quick step back right here, looking for a lot. Not gonna get that uh, that side light into recovery, but gonna get it that time. Looking for another one that could have been a real problem for for Addy right there. Uh oh, slice slice. Recovery comes out. What's he gonna do right here? Don't bring in a bad situation. Addy miss chucks it at him and catches it. Ready to do some more damage. Go ready to trying to find his way back to stage here. Oh, no. Looking for the scoop. Wall slip. Gotta hurry up. The wall slip's starting to come through. Oh, oh. no. This is. Oh, that's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, he was really. He's really gonna start running out of jumps. We already saw the the two exclamation points. So you already <laughs> know he didn't have too much time left on that wall, and he just could not find a way back safely under Addy. So Addy taking that first game. Dorian looking like he was starting off pretty nice, but Addy managed. To, you know, had a cool, calm, collective. Uh, you know, person like persona the entire time. So. 
Out here looking like <laughs> Light Yagami from Death Note. Yeah. Definitely planning everything. Make sure that he's making all the correct adjustments to take down Dobrain here on the winner's side of this top eight. Dobrain thinking intensely, wondering what stage is he going to take his opponent to where he can possibly have the advantage. Oh, that's a big kicks, Knicks. Yeah, big kick Knicks actually stuck in jail this time. So. Oh. oh, no. They locked her up. Locked her up. She ready to fight her, her way out. So it looks like he's playing with the defense mode. And, uh, you know, that's respectable. I see that, that Val is in, uh, you know, offense mode. So obviously it's kind of like just nullifying that, that, that defense or oh, the offense buff with his one defense buff. We'll see how this works out, though, uh, if this works out in his favor. Picking the Knicks here. Still got an, uh, you know, a scythe on deck, but this time he's got the guns as well. So Back to Twilight Grove at that. Addy Messick is trying to jab. X-Pivot's coming out on these gunshots. It is loud in here. They are shooting. Oh, couldn't even get the punish right there. That is unfortunate. That could have been a clean one, but did not space that side light in the way that he should have. They both checking weapons at each other, but now the scythe is in the hands of Dobrain. Let's see exactly how he plays this one out. Ooh, tries to go for the side stick. Not going to work for him. Slice is coming out, tries to get a read, unable to see where he's going. Okay. Oh, okay, still looking for the reads right here as well, though. Getting a lot of down lights here, but you know, still has a lot, uh, a lot to work for right now. You can see he's already in the deep red. We only have uh, Eddie in the orange, so he's going to be living for quite some time here, and DeBrain can't start to add up this damage. DeBrain is looking for the spot, gets the hook, slices him up. Great work using that island. To help him try to go for the dark magic, not the land. Yeah, not this time. All right, see how he gets back to stage. Recovery on a, you know, the recovery on the site isn't really that, it doesn't go that far, but it's still good enough because I feel like the hitbox is nice. The hitbox is very nice, yeah. and the angle that it sends people down in is definitely the main reason why you want to wait. Oh, yeah. Like he tried to wait to recover to see if Addy Messi would go up so he could hit him with it. But Addy did a little better than that because he took that stock anyway. Addy, three stocks. So Dobrain's two. The jabs are coming out. Ooh, oh, slice. All right, this time gets the ground pound. Is that going to be enough? Yes, actually throws a weapon this time to seal the deal. Doesn't even need to go back down there and get it. He's going to grab another one. Back to the blasters. Look at this movement. My man is moving. But it's not enough because Adamus sees every way he's going, trying to get these jabs off. Went for the gravity cancel. Side sig, not going to land. Getting scooped down. Weapon toss misses. Side duff, upper duff. Getting hit. Ooh. Oh, yet again, man. This recovery is definitely doing, doing wonders for Addy right now. Dobrin finally getting back to stage, but Duff yet again. That's matter. like eight recoveries. Yeah, man. That's Duff City out here. <laughs> Most definitely. Not even with the gauntlets. <laughs> Just unarmed. Making it happen. Dobrain here. Got to do something. Get a weapon really quick. Goes, picks up the blasters against Addy's sword. The sword is definitely slicing him, though. Goes for the side sig. Tries to use that changed hitbox for something better. Nice. Ooh, blasters down air. Yeah, I like that chase right there. Okay, quick step back. Goes for the chase yet again. Dobrain's having a rough time. Ooh! Ooh the read. And okay. he's out of here. That That's is how you do it. Dobrain, he's going all the way off stage for it. Or, or uh, Addy actually going all the way off stage for it, saying, Dobrain, you can't come back here. This is not for you. He met you at the door. He was like, uh, yeah, you might want to just go ahead and go back home, player. <laughs> Save your party. <laughs> he checked you. He checked your fit and said, uh, those pants again in here tonight, bro. <laughs> Gonna have to change those. Are you wearing shorts? <laughs> nah, man, not in this party. <laughs> not in this club, man. <laughs> that happened. Oh, man. Game three coming up next. Dobrain has a lot to do to climb this mountain as Addy Mestic sits 2-0. And it's been a solid two-stock each time. All right, yeah, so another switch of character this time. Still trying to keep a Scythe user here, though that has been his main tool. But at the same time, man, I feel like his Scythe really hasn't been yet bringing him, you know, bringing him too much luck this time around. So see if, if the Spear of Mirage uh, is the key to success here. Definitely on triple triple side character. Maybe he just feels really comfortable at those low percents. Maybe we did see him do a lot of damage very early last game uh, with Nyx. But this one, uh, looking pretty good with the spear so far. All right, firing, firing his way back, looking for the uh, gravity cancel stick right there, but it's not going to get that one. Try to scoop him up. 
Not working out in his favor. He's got the sight, though. He's ready for some off. Oh. Oh, can this be it? Yep. He's going to go down there. First stock, finally. Yeah, double ground pound right there. But for the Mirage, I don't know which one he wants to keep. I to stay with the, the spear or the uh, scythe right here. The scythe at low percentage is definitely what he's looking for, trying to bait him into bad situations. But it doesn't send him far away, so he can continue to slice Ooh. him up. Good read. It actually caught that side stay coming out, so. Tries to on it, jumps for it, doesn't get it. what he's looking for. Yeah, Dobrain playing a really nice, uh, you know, ground game right now. He's just kind of moving around, forcing Addy Messick in the air because he doesn't think he can uh, approach in front of him, which is very true against the side, so. He's getting tossed around, though. I mean, this active input is wild. He is yeah. throwing this man in every direction he wants to go. Misses the jab, the air dodge down. Okay. Slices come out. Should be able to make this one back, and he does, but the duff, not enough right there. Bars. <laughs> we spitting bars out here. Ooh, hits him with the three-piece. Oh, but it's not enough. Wow. Gravity cancels down, lightning the recovery. He's going to take that stock. That was Eddie clean. Messick, it was very. Eddie Messick in the red. Got some work to do. Got to do some sort of damage to the Bernie once he cleans the set out right now. Ooh. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. my God. What is he doing down here? This might be it. It is definitely it. Wow. That man never had a stock. Okay, well, it's not fully it. Can we? All right, there we go. All right, it wasn't actually it. I just meant that stock. <laughs> the production got a little excited there, but we're still in this match. One stock left for Dobrain. This is all that matters for him on the winner side of bracket. If he loses, it won't be the end of his tournament run, but it'll definitely make it a lot harder. Gets the stock. It's going to be one to one. Dobrain needs this to stay alive in the winner's side of bracket. All right. Yeah, so right back into it though, man. Even with that, uh, his second stop being taken so quickly. That is like the, the, the Addy Mestic special, by the way, man. He put you off the side, and then you start getting dragged down. And you're like, how did I even end up down here? Addy Mestic. Doesn't play no games when it comes to offline. It kicked off, in. Off stage. Sliced. Weapon thrown. Dashed in. Picks up the gauntlets. Expected to get the ground pound. Not going to land that. Dobrain's got work to do, side light. Yeah, Dobrain trying to keep Ooh. himself alive here, or are we going to see yet another three? Oh! Ooh. Okay, man, lucky for him. Bad Raj does not have too much uh, you know, power that time, but definitely has enough power to push that man off the left side. We are done. The 3-0 to Addy Messick. He will be moving on to winner's finals. Wow. I mean, Dobrain did a lot more work in that last part of the set, but it wasn't enough to get him uh, the, the life support he needed to stay yeah. in winner's. Yeah, I think he was too, a little overly dependent on that uh, scythe. He, at the beginning of that third game, his spirit play was looking nice. And then he kind of just, you know, he defaulted to just trying to get the scythe going as much as possible. But, you know, that might have been his uh, doom. It seems like Addy really knows how to play around that scythe. We got Definitely a quick does. replay coming up for you guys about that, uh, that second stock to show you just what Addy was doing. And it was definitely work. Now look at this man. And like tried to go for the nair, not gonna get a dare down there. Effie, Scoops. even when he thought he was Effie, past him, it was never over. To the main stage. It was never over. It was never. He got scooped up. We have Effie. Please report to the main stage. Up next is definitely gonna be Effie versus Pugsy. A match I want to see it all. These are two people that I've been rooting for this weekend. Effie, Why? first time I'm meeting him, and I've seen him go off in doubles with his boy Daiku. And Pugsy, a longtime friend of mine, finally actually performing to the extent that I know he could do it. I'm super excited to see him on stage. Coming up now, the boys are ready, but ooh, looks yeah, so like more apparently shirts. Apparently the shirts are ready too. We so. always got shirts. Yeah, we definitely got some shirts for you. We also got some, thought we had some info for you as well, but shirts first. Shirts first. Info now. Oh, here we go. So he plays mix. That's all we've actually seen. I'm not sure if he has a secondary, but it doesn't really need it. He's been going in. Uh, the results have been pretty scattered for him, but he does have a third place. Uh, you know, finish here at the Brawl Hollow Winter Championship in the EU side. Seventh and seventh. The combo breaker and also the Brawl League spring fling. So, not to say he hasn't, he can't make it. And honestly, this is already putting him in, uh, in a good standing to have, you know, a, a higher rank than he's used to than he's used to getting. If he wins this, he's already guaranteed fifth. We, I see no fifths up here, so. I mean, that'll be his second best placing. So, hopefully yeah. he'll be able to contend against the monster that is Pugsy. Yeah, but Pugsy, Pugsy, a player who claimed to quit years upon years ago, but I can see he's got yeah, you two hundred put that on. You had to put that on. That is just embarrassing. Two fifty seventh, baby. What the? The master, bro. He he played. <laughs> he's playing from the grave. <laughs> like he was already buried. Like I said, I said these people were sick. But here he is. Two fifty seventh. <laughs> like I don't. Why? Like he was could have just left. That. It's like he basically got DQ'd. Like. <laughs> he didn't even show up to that tournament. 
from 257 to top eight at, uh, at the World Championship, though, I mean, that's that's a climb. Oh, man, that is definitely a climb. Talk about most improved player. He deserves that. <laughs> he deserves 257 to top eight, like. I can't even get 13. I ain't never. That's great. I've never even got 257. That's. I, I've actually never. That's placed, a lot of entrance. I've never placed anywhere in the in the in the triple digits. That just that just hurts. All right. I mean, but but even though he's coming from uh, quite the deficit of life at 257, here he is at top eight at BCX 2017. The boys getting their controls situated. You can see Effie right here from the UK, ready to do some damage. Got the ponytail and the plaid, prepping himself. They're getting their controls situated. His opponent, of course, being Pugsy. 257th, man. Are you still on this? Damn. <laughs> Pugsy right here from Canandia. Oh, my. The 257th, the warlord himself. <laughs> Bracket so low, you didn't even know it went that far. I'm saying. I thought they just stopped giving you placements at that low. I thought they just said pools. <laughs> it just says pools. Yeah, like, did not qualify. Like, just put it there. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got the smirk on him. He knows what he's here to do. Both of these people fighting out of losers. So now they're going into their button check, making sure they got everything situated. Now this, this is a real fight. The loser of this match is out of the tournament and will place ninth. Or is it seventh? It's ninth. All right. It's a, uh, no, for this, it's it's seventh. Okay. Yeah, I, I if you're a loser, that. yeah, when you're in top eight, the lowest you can get is seven. Okay. Yeah, so it's, if, you, if you get ninth, that means you just got out of top eight. So, worst uh, feeling. Worst okay. feeling. Especially if the guy All who, right, you, ladies and gentlemen, who you like up lost next, to ends up getting like washed in the next game. Like, top eight, we've got that could have been me getting washed, but at least for money. EU <laughs> on the EU side, all the way from Before the, the, the UK, we've got hype of everybody here. Yeah. Everybody getting hyped for Effie. Yeah. Effie's got some fans in the crowd. And on the side of USA, doing a lot of work. Back from a very extended absence from the Brawlhalla circuit, making Pugsy's it in the USA top now. eight after such a long absence. Pugsy! Woo! I just want to know how you retire at six. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I just be let's start Brawlhalla at five, retire at six. <laughs> Are you a veteran at seven, like it's crazy. Anyway, get your benefits at eight. Yeah, I'm saying y'all just retirement plans, Brawlhalla. Start early. All right, but uh, he said USA. That's looking kind of Canadian to me. It's going to be the Diana for our boy Pugsy, and it's going to be Big Kicks Knicks for the homie Effie. Let's see exactly how this cross-continental battle is going to do. Remember, the loser of this is out. So people at home and people in the crowd, make sure you make some noise for your boy. All right, so Pugsy, yeah, he's definitely repping. North America, not not so much USA, but he is definitely right from North America. He's in on that continent, so <laughs> he's got to hold us down unless he's about to he's about to trade. He's like, actually, I still got my French roots. <laughs> like, Bust like, out actually. The, the baguette. <laughs> 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 oh man, these stage choices are pretty. I, I had a feeling we we're going to twilight over those other two. You don't want to take a scythe user to the middle. That is King's Pass. No, no, no. Three, two, one. Brawl, here we go into the first game. And they're just going to throw their faces at each other. Gun's going to be picked up by Effie. Ooh, Pugs is trying to get a chase dodge on some dirty stuff. Shots coming out from both competitors. They are shooting. All right, yeah, man. You're always going to see the shots coming out early on in the match like this, man. Everyone's got oh, everyone's got the blasters. But the difference between them this time is the scythe and the bow. Looks like Effie, you know, is starting to get some started for himself. However, now... Uh, now that Pugsy's been able to get this stage control, it's all on him. Yeah, Pugsy's definitely uh, not leaking as much as Effie. Effie's going to go for the chain, not going to be able to swing him down. Goes for the file. That also is going to miss. Two six already being used and it's missing completely. Side scoops are activated. Okay. Ooh. Recovery. Yeah, and everyone seeming to be able to pull these recoveries like right before they hit the ground. Pull someone all the way to the top and get a recovery KO. Again, man, that gun gun recovery, a lot of hitbox on it, but that last one, extra powerful. That's the extra boost, the big damage. Good ground pound right there to bounce him off the stage. Pugsy sending him over to the island on the right side. Let's see what happens. Oh. Jumps down. Good hop. Wow. That was an action movie hop. <laughs> In there and immediately into the recovery as well. Both of the gun recoveries have taken a stock here for Pug and Effie. Effie taking a little bit, but nothing too crazy to say that he's got some damage on him. So pretty even game here. Pretty even. Eggshell White on the side of Effie. Still getting some scoops to start. Misses the ground pound. Thought he had it, but 
Pugsy able to dodge that with the gravity cancel down light. Shots coming out. Who's getting scooped? Problem here. Oh, oh the dark magic. The dark magic. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna give me that KO now. <laughs> Takes his soul. He's already got one point of his soul ready, so he's got to get the stock to finish it off. Man, shout out to Magneto. Definitely with the gravity squeeze. Gravity when, when, squeeze. Whenever it kills, that's definitely the gravity <laughs> squeeze. <laughs> As, ooh, he tried to get it for us. Not able to land that one. Pugsy's going to shoot him up a little bit for even trying to do him dirty like this. He's uh -oh. scooping him up. The slice, the angle thrown from that scythe. Pugsy makes it back. Oh. Gets dive twice. The dares. Ooh, recovery catches him. Effie is up one stock, that sitting was, in orange. That was really good coverage right there. You know, I, I really thought it was going to be a great recovery from uh, Pugsy at first, but Effie stayed on that sidewall at first, and when he saw, you know, Pugsy had to immediately expend all his sources to go to the Ooh. to the wedge. He was like, "Nah, I'm in there." That Speaking of the wedge, boy, need to wedge himself some damage on here. He's playing like he's 257. It's like, what the? <laughs> get in there. Ooh, get in there, get in there, getting sliced up at the same time. Gets back to the stage though. He's bleeding right now against two stocks on Effie. Effie trying to get the weapon toss to cover that part of the stage. Sort of a little edge guard. Oh, scoop time. Okay. Looking for something. Effie is trying to clean the stock up now. Pugsy's got work to do. Yeah, Pugsy, I mean, he can get the stock Ooh. all he went for. He was probably expecting a jump right there, but there it is. The, the gun uppercut again, that recovery. Always going to be able to get some stocks off here. All right. Pugsy has a lot on his plate. He is bleeding. That is oh, no wasted time. He said, I don't even need that weapon. It's not, I think he actually tricked Pugsy into thinking he was going for it. Because Pugsy started running over there like, oh, if you're going to get this weapon, let me get some space. Turn around, hit him with that down light into the neutral save. Let's go. Neutral or neutral heavy. Since, I mean, it's all the thing. I don't know. Can't call it a signature. Uh, uppercut. The uppercut. <laughs> Shout out to Dudley from Street Fighter for that one. Let's go see what these boys are going to do. Pugsy getting some air into his lungs because he's got to take a deep breath to get ready to jump into this match. That one did not go his way on that last stock. Definitely got kind of worked when Effie had two. Effie was definitely running that stage for a while. Here we go. Finally say, oh, no, to the pit. They're going to go. King's pass. Oh, wow. This is uh, <laughs> I'm not used to seeing people just opt to go here, but... Here we are, you know. This is this is the why didn't I turn this off in uh, in ranked stage right here? <laughs> but can we get changes stage? Yeah, can I ban this stage? <laughs> Either way, let's see how this works out for man. You know, two small platforms. The left one a little higher than the right. You see a lot of people do the higher ground shots to Star Wars. You out here? But he's getting scooped off the lower ground at that. Doesn't even need anything. He's in the pit, waiting for him to come in. Ooh, the here movement. Here it is. Look at that. The movement. just looking at it right now. Don't don't do it, Pugsy. I have the higher ground. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's like some dark magic as he's trying to jump over. Oh, yes! It's, it's, ooh, speaking of the dark magic, tries to expect the jump, doesn't get a Pugsy weaponless oh. in the pit. A bad spot against the scythe. There's the ground pound. Pugsy, gone. Man, that was, that, I, I love the way he keeps going for that, that quick, you know, jump dash into, uh, into the, the ground pound every time. Every time it seems to be so, you know, so successful for Effie here. Pugsy's trying to get this stock off ASAP as soon as possible. Looking for it, gets the side air. Effie's got something. Oh, Effie's got a recovery is what yeah. he's got. Bounces off the wall. That bounce is going to give him some more time to get back to the stage. He's in the crevice. Oh. Ooh, he dodges two weapon throws. Yeah, that was, that was super close right there for, uh, for Effie, but he still managed to get back onto stage. So, Pugsy. Quick side air. Effie is definitely moving right now. Gets hit by the bow throw. Pugsy doesn't pick it back up. He's trying to look for the recovery. Possibly saw the exclamation point come out. Ooh, Ooh. okay. I like the turnaround right there. It's like he knew he was going to miss. <laughs> Gun throw catches it back. He's got to get this kill sometime soon. He's already in the orange. Uh-oh. Got to watch yourself. There it is. Another recovery. Taking another stock, man. That gun recovery always so quick, so good. And there's so many hitboxes in there as well. So any part of that catches, as long as you don't drift too far away, you should be able to get that last one for an easy KO. So. All right. Two ranged weapons at play right here. The gravity canceled down like the special move itself. Trying to make something happen. Looks for the chain. Unable to connect. Pugsy has a lot of damage to try and rack up before he loses this stop. Chain misses again. Air dodges right past the down light. Slapping right. him up with that bow. Ooh, thought he had something dirty, unable to connect with it. 
dodges the chains from the nether. Still living. Hold up. Having a hard time right here. Effie with the backstep, almost backstep into danger there, but Pugsy. Ooh, not doing anything about that. Yeah, not, not going to take too hard of a punish that time around. Definitely try to take a soul, though. <laughs> the Reaper's not playing no games today. Misses the ground pound, but... Oh, ooh, that would have been, right, been highlight right, oh, yeah. for real. I would have been down for that one. So Effie, I mean, I feel like Effie definitely hurt us because I, I see him going live more for uh -oh. this, uh, Makes for this it duck back. magic. Oh, the dive kick, is that going to be enough? It Air is. dodge. Oh, yeah, not enough. Yeah, make that one back. All right, last thought for Pugsy. This is game two. Effie already up one, coming from the UK to try and make this happen. Boom! Wow! Straight up kick. Yeah, that's, and a that's definitely going to be it. What, a, what a, an option to cover right there. He knows he can only go for that low part of the wall if he was ever going to make it back, so he covered that perfectly with that dive kick. Good option, I'm telling you. Shots coming out from Effie. He is up, trying to make this go to a 2-0, but Pugsy is definitely fighting back on this game. King's Pass going in his favor a little bit, more than I expected. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, he picked it. <laughs> True. I hope. <laughs> I, I, like, I would wish. Ooh, oh, slice. okay, there it is. That's that's Effie just realized you about the neutral air dodge right there, so he oh. catches that Ooh. again. Oh, my, he's throwing him everywhere. Good bow recovery to keep himself in the game. Tries to get the whip, unable to. I think he tried to get the slide down. That'll be some six, though. Yeah. What if, what if he slid the whole way and they just both died? Okay, so now Effie, I mean, he's managed to bring himself back to a perp, uh, you know, you know a, a relatable game right here. Hopefully he can uh, pull this one into a victory for himself. However, Pugsy Ooh. starting to let this game escape him. Gets another recovery, gets it back on stage. This is a scary situation for both players. Oh, tries to go for the sliding dark magic, unable to land that. In the crevice is Effie chilling. The English canal, if you will. Channel. <laughs> Okay. Tries to get the swipe, not gonna yeah. get it. Effie right here, actually not, not even having a weapon. Gonna have to give up some space, but he does have the higher ground now. Stay up. Stepping. Yeah. Two stepping. Oh, yeah. oh, oh the chain! Oh. That's a call out, baby. That's a call out in That's a call out. Indeed. You know, he I, I feel like he baited. You know, he baited Pugsy into thinking, this is probably a safe idea for you to try to jump over me or at least or ground pound me. And he said, absolutely not. Let me grab this man and send him packing. Straight up scooped up. He was not letting him get over him in that situation. Just like we talked about, there was no way to jump from that ground. It's no. the higher ground. Man. Well, he jumped from the higher ground back to the lower. So that was probably just a bad idea. <laughs> don't leave the Once you have the high ground, don't leave it. Lessons, oh, yeah. we've, lessons learned. Lessons learned in the War of the Stars. Map choice going to Effie goes a small mammoth. Getting some woos in the crowd. Woo! It's probably for that good stage. Small mammoth, nice. <laughs> small mammoth, nice, bro. It's a nice stage, bro. So here we are out to game three. Effie with a 2 0. Oh, Pugsy was looking pretty good in that last game, but still couldn't manage to clutch it out. Let's see what he can do now. I feel like Pugsy's always been pretty good at like adjusting as the set goes on. So. Maybe this is the time where we're starting to realize some of the habits that Effie has, or will Effie just be able to run away with another 3-0, by the way. All right, let's see exactly what Pugs going to do. Great dive, jumping in with that dare. Guns in hand, blasters ready to blast, shooting, starting. Effie is moving around every shot. Ooh. Good ground pound, good weapon okay. toss. Yeah, so was close, lot. But able to survive it. Looking for a lot right there. I thought he was going to try to go back down there and grab his uh, weapon, which I feel like if he got that dive kick, he would have been able to pick it up. But either way, Ooh. Oh, nice back step right there. Back step. Well, back fair step. into a back step fair. <laughs> or uh, sideline. There we go. Oh, man. Where are we going with this one? Shots coming up. Tries to get the chain again. The spacing was there to send him straight off the map. Yeah. Unable to connect with it, though. Pugsy and Effie getting each other some breathing room. Pugsy going for a ground pound. Expecting a read. Not going to get it. X pivot shots. Oh. Is it going to be enough? A sair? No, not enough. Trying to get back on the stage, wall slip. One exclamation point. The side swiper pulls him from behind. Hitbox. All right. There it is. Ooh, tried to walk up with the jab, the neutral light. Yeah, Not like, hit. I feel like a lot of people are now looking for the, the read and, you know, after they get that side light, instead of just straight up going for the side light, down light, neutral light. But, you know, it's. I think it's also a good tell to see what people do after they decide to, after they get hit by the satellite of bow. So, yeah. Very true. You'll be able to know exactly which way they're going to go from now on. 
conditioning your opponent being a big part of playing competitive anything, but that stock's gonna go down. Two stocks apiece, but two games for Effie. Hey. Shooting. Let's see what goes down here. Shots, side, light. Effie yeah. is definitely on his track stuff right now, moving around. Oh. Yeah, Effie not gonna be able to get the full combo off of that one though. One for the recovery right after the guns. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah, it is definitely enough. Pugsy. Get that man square on. Pugsy sitting nice. Two stocks, the one of Effie. This is this is a good situation. I mean, what's he gonna do to close this one out? Can Pugsy do this, or is Effie gonna show him exactly what he's made of? All right. Ooh. And that right there, that's the that's the Effie special. I've seen him do that quite a bit when he sidelights, walks forward, and then turns around. But he hasn't been able to register that as of yeah, I feel like Pugsy's been doing a lot of dodging out. Not this time though, a lot of damage being added right there in that quick series. Scythe low life combos are real, man. You have low damage, you're gonna get scooped up a bunch. Then it gets to the high ones. The side swipe's gonna miss, not gonna land that. Recovery shot throws the scythe. Nothing. Pugsy's firing back. Okay, Effie. I have to use his recovery. Dive. Do not think he's going to be able to make this one back. He was right there, but already used his, uh, you know, his air dodge. He was not able to air dodge back up right there. Unfortunate for him, but great, very fortunate for Pugsy. A great turnaround. As I said, man, he is one of those kids that can definitely adjust real easily. Definitely. And, I mean, you called it. Maybe this was his chance to shine. He's going to make it a 2-1 set. Now he's just going to win two more to take it. Or is Effie going to say, I'm tired of playing around? Get out of my face, I'm on my way to win BCX 2017. The focus coming out from Effie, getting his breathing regiments down, making sure he's good to go as we set up for our next match. Yeah, he's really sitting here thinking. Sitting on the picks, sitting on the stage list right now. Yeah, the stage list, uh, not, looking too, not looking too great for him, I have to say, man. We're, we're getting a lot of bands out here, and we're going to King's Pass. Pretty back sure. to King's Pass? Oh, not King's Pass, sorry. Uh, Thun I, I said King's Pass because I remember the, the middle piece. <laughs> but it's not King's Pass. Wait, is this Thunderguard? Yeah, it's Thunderguard. Oh, no. Thunderguard, scary stage to be in the middle of. You can get sent down through that thin platform, but yeah. you can at least recover much easier from being below. Right. To be real, I would have been surprised if we went back to King's Pass. That's just, that's just not a stage I'm, I'm expecting to see more than <laughs> once in a set ever. But For real. Here we are, Thunderguard. Again, you know, having that somewhat of a of a, a snake pit, if you will, allow you to shark through that stage. Ooh, gets back on the stage, getting scooped off anyway. Big kicks, Nicks. Mm -hmm. Might be done here. Oh, get oh, I thought he had that low part of the wall, but either way, Effie with the coverage right there. Hits him with the quick ground pound as soon as he gets close. Alright, this movement is scaring me, I'm not gonna lie to you. This man is zooming across the stage, showing that this is gonna be his dominant performance right here in this set. He's, he's letting him know this is his. Yeah. Okay. And always with the turnaround. Always knowing where he's going. And there it is. A great weight as well. Gets the gravity cancel. Continues that combo. Dodges the side air. Tries to get the life stealer. Not going to happen right here. Ground pound real quick. The whip. Rip. Get him out of here. Still living though. Ooh, Not that time. Good great read. ground pound. Yeah. Great read right there, using the ground pound to knock him straight down into that blast or death death area. Ooh, the gravity cancel down line into recovery. Picks up a scythe. Now he's ready to play. Okay. Ooh, still looking for the dark magic here. That actually probably would have been able to take that stock from where he is. Plus, he hasn't been giving up too many jumps this time around, but he keeps putting him in the air, so maybe after he gets another jab, he should be expecting to see if he can get that, uh, that dark magic on a neutral dodge. So. Ooh. Makes it back. Very smart uh, pathing to come back towards the middle and step on the right side. Knowing that Effie was waiting, but he's going to get scooped and sent off anyway. This is going to be Pugsy's last stock again. Yeah. Effie playing quite well here on this uh, on Thunderguard. So. Scoop. Again. Scoop. Always oh. waiting him out. Look how, look how far he put him away off of that one hit. Just on one read here from Effie, and he's got you all the way off stage, fearing for your life. This is going to be a scary situation for Pugs. He's going to make this one count. Be very careful being in the middle against the Scythe. One of Scythe recovery is going to send you at an angle that you're not prepared to deal with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like I said, there it goes. Scythe recovery sending you down forward. 
Scooped. Does he have it? He does not, and he recognizes it. That's going to be it. 3-1 in favor of Effie. Pugsy is out. Effie's going to keep moving on. Yeah. Great game from our competitors. Already guaranteed his second highest placement right here, where his highest was third. So if he can keep moving, we'll see some great Effie play. Pugsy, though, doing well. You know, came all the way from 257th to 7th. So he dropped 250, 250. in 50 spots. That's, all, that's, that's basically all of Generation 2 Pokemon. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That's when you know. That's when you know. That's the most improved player. You can't, you can't put most improved player on anybody else, man. I don't care if you came all the way from 1,000 uh, to like 100 place. Nah, it don't matter. Your pizza delivery 250, is 250. Okay, so somebody got a desk. pizza. Tim Levon, come get your pizza. Tim Levon, your pizza's here. Okay. Your pizza's here. Uh, you hey, have yo, to Tim. share that with us. Hey, yo, Timmy, I definitely need a slice of that, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. All right. So, yeah, man. <laughs> anyway, we're here at Brawl Hollow World Championship 2017. I'm TK Breeze. Join along with Fats, and we are going to get to our next match here. Dr. Faison and Adapt Blood Diamond about to sit down for the other side of Losers Aids. And after that, we have two more matches. The Brain versus one of these uh, people who just won, and then Boomy versus one of these people who won. I think it might be Boomy versus Effie. Boomy versus Effie is definitely what it's going to be. Okay. So. On the other side, it's definitely going to be Do Brain versus who? Whoever. Yeah, so Dr. Faison, though, you know, has the Val and Lucian, but I've seen mostly Val. It's a pretty decent place in here. Um, you know, he's been kind of all over the place, though. Lowest place is being 97th, highest place in being 5th here. Brawlapalooza, but already currently, uh, already close to actually either tying that or advancing that if he can win this round right here. He'll at least tie it with, uh, with Brawlapalooza, but if he can win one more, then, you know, he's, that's his highest place in two date. To date, hopefully he'll be able to make it farther to say that, hey, look, at Brawl the World Championship, I did grip, but he's got to go up against Adapt's very own Blood Diamond. Look at the anger in this man's eyes. He's ready to win. Ninth, ninth, seventh, fifth, three seventeenths. That's not it. Bars. Work coming out. Asuri and Hattori. Asuri. Asuri. I think. Fast I think care. From last, uh, I think he was actually playing. No, no, no that wasn't. That wasn't. Never mind. That was, I, that was him for. Uh, in for a minute. I was gonna say he definitely had some Ragnar, but that was in for a minute with the Ragnar. Mm. So here we are, though. Yeah, Blood Diamond uh, got to catch some of his games yesterday as well too. So it looks like you know those games obviously led him all the way to this top eight spot. And again, man, Dr. Faison with such a climb. So we are gonna see whoever wins this play against Boomy, and then Effie will be playing Dobrin. Okay, I thought I thought it was gonna be a reverse right there, but I guess not. Dobrin. Uh, oh, yeah, so. No, that makes sense. Never mind. It definitely makes sense. They 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 did reverse down, but they started with Effie when they should have started with Dr. Faison. So anyway. Uh, yeah, Dobrin versus Effie will be our match uh, after this. And then we'll have Boomy versus whoever wins this, Dr. Faison and Blood Diamond. So LDZ, man, he is sitting pretty in that winner's final. That was a, you know, that was a slaughter right there in that first, that first time they played. Same for Eddie Mestic. I mean, yeah. he, he made quick work, too. Though That's definitely going to be a slobber knocker, but that'll be in the top four. We're still here in top eight to see who's even going to make it that far to claim a top placing here at BCX 2017. Yeah, man. I mean, honestly, with those two playing like that, I expected to definitely see a slaughter, as you uh, said. Eddie Messing and LTC both, you know, really putting on a show right there. Both getting three O's. Like, it's crazy. It's, it is definitely crazy. They're putting a ton, a ton, a ton of damage, a ton of work, stage control, movement options, limiting their opponent from doing what they want them to do. But how are they going to fare against each other? That winner's yeah, final is about to be a fun, fun thing to watch. Yeah, if someone gets 3-0 in that winner's finals, I mean, you can just go ahead and say, hey, you winning this tournament. <laughs> you're playing like that? That's how you're playing today? Yeah, hey, you winning this tournament. For, for real. Two people 3 0 other people by sheer domination, and then you're going to 3-0 the other one? Like, that's yeah. that's scary to me. But before we even talk about that, TGC's Dr. Faison versus Adapt Blood Diamond. The boys are prepping up. They've got their choices. We got the scissors out on the... <laughs> Black versus white happening right now. Look at this cute assertion. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. up next, uh -oh. Blood Diamond versus Dr. Faison! I can definitely hear Foda's voice going out, though. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, man, we're going to see the black versus white uh, as uh, TWK called the chess match here. Ooh. So they do have, you know, they do have, both have options to the sword, but the difference right here is their close quarters fighting right here between the swords and, or the uh, gauntlets and the wow. guitar. Oh my God, Blood Diamond! Actually out for blood. 15 seconds. My man has a whole diamond to fill, and it's looking like it's going to be full of Dr. Faison's entire artery system. He definitely on some Leonardo DiCaprio right now. Blood Diamond's a good movie. Good <laughs> movie, he, man. I bet he wasn't even born when he came out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's actually pretty old. 
Doesn't matter though because he is definitely using these these safety scissors to slice up his competition. You know, wasted time right there. Blood Diamond now, you know, still keeping the pressure on. It seems, again, I feel like it really definitely favors the guitars right here and it seems to work out in his favor. Soon as Dr. Uh, Faison picked up his gauntlets, I mean, I I'm used to seeing his gauntlet play, but I feel like he picked them up in such an inopportune position. We never even get, I saw him throw a hit out. I mean, he got scooped straight up by Blood Diamond using yeah. that neutral sig. Tries to go for the side take, the Perserker Farage. Perserker Farage. Other something way. Like yeah, something like that. I forgot. Yeah, something with animals. <laughs> Big damage coming out, though. Trying to get back into this is Dr. Faison, but he is leaking. That red is being shown every hit he takes. Blood Diamond is definitely looking wow. to make him lose another star. Ooh, quick dodge and a yeah, duff sends him out of here. Actually, went, went for his side stick, ends up taking the side stick from Blood Diamond and said, now, one thing I, I know that Dr. Faison is really good at is catching those recoveries. Right now, you can see Blood Diamond actually recovering much higher uh, than one would expect so that he can go ahead and dive it once uh, Faison decides to try to go for that recovery. So, Blood Diamond is definitely controlling this match. The jabs combo comes out. Oh. Three piece going down. Oh, no. He's done. The three stop. The three stop. Look at that smirk. I yeah. told you this man was ready. Yeah, he was I ready, told man. You. Faison looking like he had no answers right there. I mean, at least he's not looking shook out over here on the other side, but good lord, Blood Diamond is definitely out for blood. He's it selling is, him diamonds. It is not a joke. The trade is on here in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Not not Africa, but Atlanta, Georgia. Blood Diamond is definitely trying to make that money. Rubbing his hands together. The boys are getting ready to go back. We're back on Small Mammoth. What's yeah. the play? Here we go, man. The start Oof. up this time around. Blood Diamond. You're still getting a pretty strong start. You know, it manages to get that item away from. Oh my wow. God, this way. There's no way. There's no way. There's all the way. He's done again. Running off the side with that side six. Side six still keeping that momentum, though, so he appears super far off that stage and then just forces uh, Dr. Faze onto a very easily sniped recovery with that ground pound. Oh my God. Scoops. Scooped up again. Dr. Faison trying to turn around. This it's is where so we know weird. Dr. Faison to be good at, you know, off the stage with people under him, and he keeps putting uh, Blood Diamond under him, but Blood Diamond going to find his way back to the stage here. Oh, finally firing back. Dr. Faison getting something to Rip. scoop down. Let's see what happens. The oh, weapon no. throw tries to go for the special. He not went get for it. literally the same thing he did the first game. Expecting, <laughs> expecting Dr. Faison not to adapt at all. I mean, Ooh. I know you're signed by adapt, but you got to give the man some credit. <laughs> Oh, man. Definitely knew better this time around. Finally gets that stock off. Not going to be another three stock in his favor. Dr. Faison is looking to scoop this Asuri and send her down. Yeah. So he's still looking for those neutral layers, though, but not catching them. He's going to catch a couple of neutral layers of himself. Sliced Big up. Side air looking for that side stick yet again. Ooh, the slice coming out. Not going to get it. What's the play here? Good recovery. Oh, I thought he was going for it again. I was definitely looking for it. Yeah, it looked like he aired out straight back down into him. But I think he, because he was drifting away, he didn't want to try to go for it. Another there recovery, though. There it is. It's off of that stock and not even not even off of off-white yet, man. Crazy. Ladam is definitely not playing no games. He, yeah. He's in for the dub. I can see, you can see it in the man's eyes. He went with the, the dark blood red eyes of Suri. Even yeah. though it's a cute skin, she's still here to kill. Okay. Good call. He's coming up. Throws the scissors. Wow. Catches him. And one out here. Major look. <laughs> okay, gets out of that situation as well. Ooh, okay. tries to get the read, unable to land that one. Yeah, and that's, that was a good air dodge down too. You know, a lot of people have been doing the neutral dodge, but uh, he, and that's why they keep getting caught, but this time around he actually air dodged down. Keeps himself safe by yeah. throwing the weapon in his face to stuff that ground pound, that priority from weapon toss, really showcasing its strength. Okay, out that situation. Another side stick, and that is going to take the second game, Blood Diamond, barely out of the orange right there, taking game two. Two stock. So three stock and a two stock. Look at the and face a switch, of the possibly. Yeah, we got a switch. He's switching over to that Lucian. Uh, so we haven't been able to see that at all, but uh, now it's coming out this time around. He said the face of a killer is out. It is. For both of them. Again, small mammoth. Going back into Blood Diamond's feeling way comfortable on this stage and showing it all of the dominant performances he's had in the last two games of this set. Yeah. So he swaps out the sword and the gauntlets for uh, the Katars and the guns. But I don't, uh -huh. I don't know. Let's see if this pays off for him right here. Oh, bro, that would have hit. 
<laughs> I was leaving. <laughs> Shane I was, about to just pull yeah, I was actually just never in this venue. So. Oh, man, that would have been real dirt. But uh, Dr. Fan's doing a lot better on this Lucy than he was showcasing on his last character. Yeah. Ooh, ground pound. You can hear the whole sound of him wishing through the skies. Trying to make right. something happen, moving him around. Oh. Oh, I think he probably uh, did the chase dodge through that, so. Got that hit when you chase dodge. Very nice. And the side air is going to be enough. Hey, man, just hit that wall, though. I got to start incorporating that in my game. These top players love to do that uh, down air, that dive kick. Yeah, to dive kick the to the wall, yeah, it's very smart. Change up your angle and stuff like that makes you fa fall a little faster. I like it. But the recovery and is going to catch him. He didn't fall faster. He went straight up. So here we are, man. First time that uh, Dr. Faison gets stuck before Blood Diamond. The switch definitely paying off for him. Let's try to get the sliding scoop. Not going to visit any ice cream parlors today. Gets shot. Trying to recover back to the stage. A lot more space control coming out thanks to the pickup of these blasters. Yeah. Okay, looking for that, for that save right there, but a little off the mark. What's going to be the play to get back on the stage? Good use of that side air. Shoot and throw something. Tries to get through it. Jab City activated. The sword is here. How Thank safe you. can these scissors be? Is that enough? Nope, not enough. Still going to be living. You know, Lucian does have some uh, pretty, pretty good defense, so. Nope, but not, not enough time. movement to get him back to the stage. I mean, he's fast. Yeah, he's fast. He's, fast he's got decent defense, but, uh, you know, still not fast enough to get all the way to that stage. So. Also makes his recovery really well because of your, your speed is changed for the, in the air if you have good speed as well. So there we are. Oh! The scoop coming yeah. out. Surrey, low defense at probably is it four. Yeah, I think it might be four. I'm pretty sure it's four. Okay. If but I'm even even, even so, I mean, Lucian only has like three attacks. So yeah. <laughs> unless he went into attack uh, stance. It's going to take a while for him to get some of these, uh, some good damage here. Ooh, tries to get the quick ground pound, not going to land it. Ooh, the shot comes out, sends to the other Still side. Uh-oh. Got to watch himself here. Trying to get back on the stage. Wall slip starting to activate. All right. Yeah, doesn't decide to go to the other side, but the weapon now being guarded by Dr. Faison. Oh, the last hit. That he took like all of it, but the last hit, that is unfortunate for him. And for Dr. Faison throws away his weapon and gets the guns back, so. That was clean. Yeah. I like, he thought he was going to be able to get out of it by going backwards, but the hitbox wasn't done yet. The fully fully finished circular swipe came out and got him out of there. Blood Diamond on his final stock for the first time in this Ooh. set. Hold up. Yeah, right now, Dr. Faison has definitely adapted uh, to Blood Diamond this time around. We should be seeing a game four here. Last day. Yes. Staying alive is Dr. Faison. Yeah, the Lucian right here was a good pick for him. The Val really didn't do him any favors right here that Lucian net him his own two stocks. Blood Diamond's face has shifted from pure killer to concerned. A little worry. I can see it in the eyebrow twitch that he's showcasing. Only the most. Notorious of eyes can see the twitch. But this man is definitely ready to go back into this match. Small Mammoth again, switch to Hattori. Asuri did so well, and one loss makes him switch real quick. Maybe this is where the adapting comes from. All right. So the Hattori here, you know, likes those, uh, likes those quick, speedy characters. Most definitely, he's trying to slice the best he can. Oh. Ooh, almost started dirty. The air dodge was already gone. So Andrew, interesting enough, like they've actually swapped uh, weapons to use each other's weapons. Because at first, you know, he didn't have a sword. He was using... Oh wait, he did have a sword. He yeah, had, yeah. And yeah, sword Safe guitars, decisions. and then he swapped out to uh, guitars. And now he swapped out to you know another sword. So, I mean, this the swaps are real right now. Keeping his sword though, but I feel like his guitars were the bigger thing. We'll see how he decides to use the spear though. Whenever he picks one up, finally gets one. Let's see how this changes uh -oh. game, but we haven't seen him use the spear yet. Yeah. At least not here in the top eight. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're going to, ooh, shots are coming out. Is he even going to be able to use it? Good sayer to keep him off him, but the duff flies in. Dive kick going to keep him alive. Oh, oh, okay. Good neutral dodge, man. That was actually great placement of that ground pound, too. I was sure. Yeah. I, I, I got hit. Free. <laughs> Ankles cracked, but he's staying alive. Tries to get the dash uppercut. Not going to get it with that sig. What is the next move here? 
Okay, looking for another stick right here. Kind of throwing him out. Maybe expecting uh, Blood Diamond to really want that space behind him. But Blood Diamond is okay with his back to the wall. Nice. Sliced. First stock going to favor Blood Diamond. Showcase that this is definitely going to be a 3-1 if it goes his way. Yeah. But Dr. Faison firing back with recovery. Not dead yet. Wow, what Man. a dodge. Try to scoop in on him, but is it going to work this time around? All right. Trying to get back on stage here. Finally managed to make it to that platform, but Dr. Faison still with the stage control. <laughs> Yo, get up out of my way, though. <laughs> he just throws the weapon at, all the way across the stage, picks it back up, but still gets sent because these guitars, ooh, thought he had the read on him, does not, but yeah. he still does on the ground. Okay, so good stuff here to Dr. Faison. He's going to opt to switch weapons, or actually opt to get that weapon out the way, keeping his guitars here. Guitar, guitars have been looking pretty nice. I, I give him that. Okay, looks for the recovery a little off the mark. Looking for another recovery. Still off the mark. Doing the best they can right now to go at each other's next. Two versus two. What's oh, oh sliding? Okay, fade away. Yeah, quick. That was the real step back right there. Step back <laughs> off the platform. Got to do the step back into the step back, but that was definitely the drop down. Hey, okay, looking Tries for another one. Weapon tossed. Nair's coming out from Dr. Faison. My man got his PhD and he's trying to showcase that he can make it back to this stage. Good movement. Okay. Also still great movement here. Blood Diamond, both of these guys. Got some damage on him, but oh, this could be the turnaround. This could be a problem. The Not special. able to make it good stuff. The down light into the ground pound. Hurt one dude in the back with the singular yes. Yes! <laughs> on his bicep. That's my stuff. guy. Sounds like it's... <laughs> Sounds like it's uh, Faison's guy, if any yeah. shots coming out. Okay. Ooh, Ooh no. the turnaround. Yeah, that was smart. The Very quick bounce work. and everything, yeah. He could have thrown it down straight, and then it wouldn't have been able to cover that angle that he did. But Yeah, because it was moving back after he hit the stage. Very smart. And now Blood Diamond back into the mix. A little more damage onto Blood Diamond right now, but stage control was in favor of him now. The blasters are in the hands of Dr. Faison. This has been... A pretty telling tale of how this might go if he's able to stop getting sliced by the spear. Yeah, look for the side light or the side stick with the spear that time around. Ooh, try to get the ground pound, the real spin, not gonna happen. Sayer comes out. What is the play? Oh, yep, touch the wall right there. It's good. Trying to get back on stage. Managed to Ooh. do it, and luckily for him, uh, the jab recovery is very, very short, so that could have been a real problem. He only would have got pushed to the other side, but I, I don't really know if he was gonna die to it or not. Hitbox is being thrown out, hoping for something to hit. Not uh -oh. happening. The side air comes out. Uh-oh. Guns oh, being tossed. Got the duff. Is that going to be it? Yes, yes, it is. And Blood Diamond with the answer. Great stuff. The ground pound as he was about to cross him up, trying to touch that wall, but he was not fast enough. What coverage? Blood Diamond will be moving on. Ooh, Dr. Faison's going to have a seventh place placement here at BCX. Yeah, still, still a good one for him, though. A good one for the Rikers books. You know, his placements have been kind of all over, but this is definitely one of, one of the higher end placements for of him. Of course, so. man. I mean, being here at BCX, that's crazy to place that high. We got a quick, ooh, okay. Got a replay coming up. I think this was game one when Blood Diamond was popping off. He got that three stock. Oh, oh yes, yeah. this was it. Definitely put that man in the dirt. No time wasted. Blood Diamond was looking extra poison. He, I, I for real thought he was about to just go ahead and 3 0 him. But the 3 1, just as good. Got a couple switches here from our characters. You know, uh, we saw the Lucian come out, and that was nice because we have not seen that uh, before. It said that he played him, and now we saw that he played him. So <laughs> The stats didn't lie. Yeah, it definitely stats did not lie. lie here. Up next, though, oh man, the boys got to do damage to each other. It's the Brain versus Effie. Yeah. These guys have been rooting for each other this weekend, trying to see each other do well, and now they got to battle each other to see if they actually can. Yeah, they've been talking to each other. They've been coaching each other. I saw earlier, you know, earlier on, Effie was, or Dobrain was sitting over there watching Effie play on the side stream. And now it really comes down to what happens between these two guys, man. And after that, we'll see Boomy versus Blood Diamond here. So we got some hot flying matches for you real quick before we get into this top four action. But let's see what happens here between these two players. Still going to see the next come out. I have not seen another character from Effie yet. 
And then, well, I don't really know what uh, Dobrain is going to do. Oh, Dobrain was kind of cycling through all of the Scythe characters. So I, I assume he's still going to try to get a Scythe out here, but we'll see. Ooh, here's your bracket, folks. These are going to be the last two games to say who gets into the top eight. Dobrain versus Effie, as well as Boomy versus Adept's Blood Diamond. These are going to be big. Big matches are going to be happening here. My man, Dobrain, put the glasses on to ensure that he has the sight. I mean, maybe that's why. Never mind. Oh, don't do it I to him. I ain't saying nothing. Don't do it to him. I ain't saying nothing. But he, de he definitely seeing in, in, in 3D now. <laughs> HD 4K scepter monitors and 2020 vision. Maybe because it was a 2D game, he didn't need it. Yeah. But now he understands what sometimes these scepter you, monitors are doing. Sometimes you got to see it as Z axis. Z axis. <laughs> you are currently here at Brawl Hall of World Championship 2017 BCX. People yeah. in the crowd. It has been nice, man. It has been a nice, uh, you know. And so tournament for here, I met a lot of people here, got to compensate quite a bit, but also, man, seeing the crowd actively engaged in the game that they, uh, they love is very nice. It's very nice. Yeah. Seeing a lot of parents out here supporting their kids, kids out here making 50K. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> making way more money than I can make in a year. I'm saying, I, I actually, I've actually never made that in a year. <laughs> so. That's actually big money. Yeah, that's goals, man. I'm too old for that now. I'm trying to be on my boomy status, really. Yeah. Honestly, man, me being 28 in this room, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much a grandpa. Yeah, we're old folks. Yeah. Got to go file my taxes or something after this. Drink some, some Pedialyte. <laughs> Sit on the porch, yell at the dog walking by. <laughs> hey, shut that dog up. Ladies and gentlemen, next up in the Brahalla 1v1 Top 8, Photo we've got the European Showdown, Effie versus Dobrian! Have I been saying his name wrong the whole time? I, can I just not read? Well, I mean, he is Russian, so maybe it's just pronounced differently than it's spelled in America. Man, that's dope brain, man. <laughs> For the brain. <laughs> All right, so we got oh, Mirage coming out. Scythe battle is yeah, about Scythe to go battles. down. Yeah, as I said, man, yeah, he was cycling through those scythes, and look at that damage that Mirage did do. Definitely needs to put it in damage, uh, you know, in damage mode so he can get... They're pretty much equaling out right now, so uh, he has... He has eight now to the seven defense here, and then she has uh, four to the four defense. So, you know, he will be doing more damage uh, with, with every hit that he does, but it really comes down to, like, can he string things together the way that Effie does? That's the big question here. The first weapon drop, if it's a scythe for either side, it's going to be big. Duff coming out, but it's going to be blasters in favor of Effie. Shots popping off. X pivot, not going to land. All right. No sight yet. Spear. Ooh, tried to go for the chain. Unable to land it. Good he tried air. that early. But, I mean, he was he was in position for, for that to be a good play. Would have put him off stage uh, in a downward descent. So, so no sight on, on the board just yet. You got the, their alternative weapons, the, the blasters and the spear. I want to see who's going to be the first person to opt to go for the sight, and it happens to be Dobrain. But that was also just a really good throw because, I mean, <laughs> of course, how the... Uh, Ooh, How the dies. spear hits, this could be it. Yeah, Ooh, that's it. dies, that's gonna be it. Yeah, I kicked him right out of that, and I like that idea right there to go for the down air. Before the hitbox of yeah. the uh, recovery came out. Yeah. I've always been really scared to even attempt that, but Joe Brain being way better than me at any game I've ever played, showcasing that he has the know-how to really get in there before he's able to get hit back. All right. Now Joe Brain, okay. Looking good with, this, with the scythe right now. How are you going to look better than a Grim Reaper with a scythe? That's crazy. The Egyptian Grim Reaper, I don't know, maybe. Probably. <laughs> She's putting you in the pyramids. Oh, so that's, that's, that's very deep. Yeah. Let's see so what that, happens. That stock already gone, though. Effie only in the yellow, so not too much really to write home about, but he does have his, his coveted weapon here. Probably he's going to get a read on an air dodge, but Dobrain decided to go out that time. Keep himself in a safe place. Nair's coming out from Dobrain. I love Spear Nair. It covers so much space. Yeah. Able to keep himself a, a safe, covering all the options that Effie might have in the given situation. But this is going to be a scythe battle. Yeah, at this point in time, man, you, you definitely have the scythe battle on a deck. I, I cannot believe he actually got away with that. It looks like he did a side light, and for somehow he got through the actual hitbox of the uh, down six, so. Soul, Ooh. soul is intact, but not the soul of Effie right there. Going to take that item throw to the face. Stock goes down. The brain up one in the battle of European giants. Well, I mean, the UK isn't even EU anymore. 
I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I might get into politics here, man. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Definitely with the Brexit, like. <laughs> the range showcasing the power of his spear, actually, against Effie Scytheplay. Scytheplay coming out, looks for the step, tries to predict the direction he's going and doesn't find it. These boys are moving. Yeah, but also, man, look at the footsies that they're playing right now. No one really trying to overcommit to anything Ooh. until they finally get a hit. The step ladder. Gravity canceled at that. He went really high for it. The Sarah gonna end that combo. <gasps> what? Snuck him right out of the recovery, but he's able to touch the stage. Very nice. What is the play Get here? Back. Oh, oh no. Oh man. Yeah, that is that definitely is... it. What wow. a stab right there. That down air sending him to the depths. Only bounced off the wall, so he did not get any of his extra jumps. I mean, and it looked like a really good idea or a really good uh, situation there for Effie when he hit that like ground pound through the stage. But, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate for him. You know, DeBrain knows exactly how to get back taking, and turn that around. Taking a breather real quick, trying to get his inner chi back. Effie is thinking about what is the next step he'll take here. He obviously will not be switching characters as he is a Knicks specialist, at least in this season. So he's just got to get his composure back, go back into this match and be ready to go. Here come the stage bands. Seeing what he does not want to play on to make sure that he's ready to go. Okay, and yeah, we're actually looking over here to see what they have left. It's already banned uh, Thunderdome, or Thunderguard. It's already got rid of uh, Blackguard. Yeah. Effie is thinking. Shipwreck gone. He really, he really thinking. There we go, back. Small Mammoth, yet again. This is a favorite for all of the, the competitive players, I've noticed. A really good, a really good stage, man. You can't take anything away from this, from this stage. I, you know, if I could play one stage for the rest of my life, <laughs> it'd probably be this. It'd probably be this. Singles, dubs, don't matter. Yeah, I can most definitely. Brawl ball. No. <laughs> I don't know about brawl ball, but <laughs> most definitely for competitive scenes, you to see those ones. All Ooh. right. Shooting, weapon toss, hits him. Movement coming out from Effie, trying to keep himself safe, getting scooped up by the scythe. Ground pound taps. Scooped up again, looking for it all, but a little off the mark. Okay. That was a brave charge. Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was a brave read. Unable to get the ground pound. Air dodge comes out, recovery's there. Ooh, that was a good read to catch the air dodge and use the recovery, and he's not gonna make it back. First stop in favor of Dobrain. So now, yeah, no, Brain's been kind of running over Effie and with Effie's like specialized weapon, but I mean, I can't take anything away from the Brain. I haven't really seen him play too much, and that's the only reason I'm, you know, saying that Effie, uh, or, or kind of surprised right now that Effie is kind of getting overran. But I mean, maybe this is like how it goes when they play each other. Yeah, I mean, these these guys do know each other. They're in the roof. Oh, oh we God. get Soul taken with the down sig. Yeah, man, one Soul collected. <laughs> one, two left. Let's see how it plays out for Effie. So FBI is trying to mix up what he does at the end of that, uh, you know, of his, uh, his scythe. Every time is something different. Another step ladder coming out from Dobrain. Super high recovery for, for Effie, but it managed to work out with that item throw kind of covering his landing. Very smart idea right there. Wow, the down sig on Spear being so quick and so powerful. Sending him flying, the side light, the chase dodges. Which way are we going? Scythe for both competitors. Ooh, tries to get the sneaky tip of that down ground pound again. Goes under, <laughs> into the sands. Actually, the sands too, man, or into the dirt for this, with the, with the stage being about the same color, like, she's definitely in the sands. Great dodge, but the dive kick can stop him touching the side of that stage. Oh, it's Princess of Persia out here. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that game was mad fun, by the way. It really was, they didn't bring it back. The original one, though, like the, the GameCube remix. Shots coming out. Recovery, wow, able to kill. Crowd cheering for Effie right here. Got some fans out there. Okay. Sliding, Sliding magic. dark magic. <laughs> that was kind of brave. I mean, he was nowhere near that spot. Expected some sort of air dodge. Scooping him. Okay, again, 
same uh, combination, but this time Dobrain has been kind of mixing up all of his uh, air dodges through. Like, this is the first time up, or just a second ago, he went straight up. That time he went down into the left. This time not even going for the air dodge, now just jumping through. So he's keeping, keeping Effie guessing. It's the only way you can do it against somebody who's so practiced in scythe gameplay. Yeah. Side light tries to get the special off. People in the crowd. Side light, a nice move. Ooh. Oh. Not a problem yet. Wow. Oh, that could have been a real problem. <laughs> wow. Gets cracked on the way down from the spear throw. Okay, gets Scooped slung off. off. Wait, Effie's in, a, Effie's in a bad spot. Yeah, he's definitely in a bad spot, Look man. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's going to be it. Yeah, he's not even going to try to get for the recovery. He hit the wall, but I think he already wasted a jump, so he was like, there's no way I'm going to make this one back. Do brain. Do brain. Looks like Effie's got a, a, coach? a quick coach. Yeah. Is, 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 is this a lot? Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it looks like a trophy. It is a trophy. Okay. And, and, and a Goku shirt. He's got Goku from the grave coming through. Hey, that's, the, that's the real coaching right there, man. <laughs> you do can it. do it, son. Do it now, Effie. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> do it now. Father, son, Kamehameha about to happen for Effie if he can do this correctly. Locked in the Knicks. The rain going to one of two. Definitely going back to Mirage. That's the character he's been dominating with. Back to the bands we go. What stage are we going to look at? This is where Effie has to think. It's he, the glasses, man. I told you it's a power up. He, he'd be in winner's finals right now if he had a glasses on. He's definitely anime right now. <laughs> <laughs> See that glasses push happen? That's it. It's coming through. All right, so yeah, we're just kind of waiting out to see, uh, you know, what the last stage is. No switches here. Mirage versus Nyx. The Scythe users are out today. The sands of time really not kicking for uh, for Effie this time around, though. She actually got oh, the hourglass. Actually, bans Mammoth. Doesn't want to go back there because he sees that he's not doing so hot. Twilight Grove is where we're going. It's about to snow here at BCX 2017. Somehow in Georgia. Somehow, Somehow. Atlanta. I'm sure, I think it snowed here like once. They, all, they lost their mind. It's crazy. <laughs> yes, they did. It was yeah. like half an inch. Not even half an inch. Like, like a centimeter and everybody just died out <laughs> here. Anyway, so here we are out to game three. Dobrain has kind of been dominating. and It looks like he's going right back into that. But Effie with the quick stop right there. That recovery in the middle of that combo. Shots coming out in that down air. Tried to get the chain. Not going to land. So Brain is here. He's like, I brought you to this stage. I'm definitely going to make sure I get this win. Shots. Okay. X-Pivot. Going to miss. Scooping him up. Wow, again. That side air. Or side light. Always coming through. Throws the weapon to try and cover an option. But Brain decided to stay on the ground so he can get the punish. And Effie. now it's a scythe battle. Effie's starting to get some of his mix-ups back, but I feel like Dobrain's even picking up on the mix-ups. Effie would not be able to make that one back. Dobrain bouncing him off the side before he got a chance to grab that, uh, you know, or touch the wall, so. Effie moving back and forth really quickly right there in the air, trying to mix up, make Dobrain think he wasn't coming in at the angle he was looking for, but Dobrain, too smart for that one, caught him anyway. Wow. Jeez. That was quick. Two side airs. Just go ahead and finish that stock and even it back up. Blasters really, they be shooting. Yeah, they really be shooting. All right, let's see what goes down here. Hops coming out. The brain also really good at mixing up, like, you know, like the, the what stance he's in right now, like what side of the offense defense. Because he started running away. As soon as Effie got a little close and maybe tried to dash toward him, turned right back around and got himself some jabs. So, very sure. tricky. The hitbox on that uh, ground pound is deceptive. It comes out in front of their body as well. Him, uh, Dobrain getting clipped by that. Looking for the side light, gets scooped off. Gets back to the island. Okay. Scooped Scoop yet again. again. Yes. Cracked from deep. Let's go, All right, oh. brain. Okay, there it is, the down lights. Try to get the, the step ladder again. This time it's going to end it early with the side air. Ooh, looked for it, went the wrong direction. Try to use a sink to cover his recovery. Effie waiting on that one. Effie with the scoop. He's out of here. Effie for the first time got a lead here in the set, so this could be good for him. Maybe able to get himself a game against Dobrain. Oh, this is going to be very big because this is this is going to be like he's he's bleeding on his second stock. Yeah. If he gets hit, it's going to be his last stock of his last chance to survive in this tournament. 
man. But he's doing a, a really good job of picking out where he needs to be, adding up that damage, looking for the dark magic. Not going to get it this time around. The range trying to scoop him to make sure he gets rid of the stock ASAP, sitting on orange, but scoop over to the left side. Can he make it back? Nice. The ground pound is going to clean that one up. That was a quick ground pound, too, man. Jumped straight off that wall into the ground pound. Didn't even, didn't even start to descend. No, knows exactly what hitbox he needed to get that off. So here we are in the orange for Dobrain, but now he's on the offensive here. Well, they're both going to be in the offensive using these sides. They're going to be going at it. Slobbernaga tries to get the side sig. The ghostly remains not coming out. Okay. Dobrain, oh. Kind of pull him yet again, but this time Effie. Uh -oh. Wow, actually getting pulled off here. Still way more damage here on the brain, so he's definitely the one, uh, the one who has to be a little more careful here as we get to the ending parts of this match. Still looking for the dark magic. Try to get a fadeaway jumper right there on his and one. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, got to watch himself. Finally touches the stage right there. That ground slip was coming through. Flies through that pressure, but forces uh, Effie to hit him on the other side. Effie's still looking for the strong part of a side light there, and it scoops him off. Good stuff to Effie. Did not allow Dobrain to run away with this too easily. No three O's here. Effie staying alive here in losers at BCX top eight, trying his best to keep it going. Once again, channeling his inner chi, the anime glasses on Dobrain, showing what the Russian powerhouse can do. He don't, even, he don't even do the push, man. They just, they're already pushed. They're, they're they glued. always pushed. They're yeah. glued. <laughs> so they I don't, I don't think he's switching yet. I mean, he's still on the character select screen, but and he's, he's selecting Mirage. I don't think he really needs a switch right there. That just have, may have been a good stage for uh, Effie, you know. For sure. Let's see what the next step is going to be for these boys. So yeah, if he doesn't want to play there this time around, he can just ban it. He definitely goes straight into that, gets that stage out the way. See what he's left, uh, or we'll see what he's going to leave here for the rain. Gets rid of this. Okay, King's but That's a good ban. Good ban. <laughs> definitely a good ban. Well, they're both sides, so maybe who knows? But I mean, maybe he's just not that confident in that he'll be able to fight in the crevice. Yeah. On small uh, King's pass. Final ban on Blackguard Keep. He does not want to go to Small Mammoth at all. Ops for Shipwreck. Okay. Small walls. This yeah. is going to just be a slobber knocker on I was going to say, well, this is, really, yeah, this is really scary for them because now they can't really do too much off stage, like as reckless as they may have mm -hmm. earlier without, you know, sacrificing their chance of recovery. Absolutely. Those, those small walls here make it real hard for you to, you know, go super deep and hope to live. For sure. But right now, Effie is trying to pop off starting heavy. Tried to get the dash out of the jab. Does no brain. He's doing, ooh, step ladder. Sayer finishes that combo off. Ooh, almost fell off the map. Very scary, but he has the awareness to make sure he's in a good spot. All right. And now Dobrain back into the mix, but oh my god, not really. Effie just taking him all over this stage, and there is the side sick right there. Is it going to be enough? It is not with that ground pound will. Effie, knowing exactly how to pick these stages right here, you know, every, with that being said, if you put someone off stage and you know they can't get onto the stage, they only have but so much area to touch, and you're going to be able to cover it pretty easily with that ground pound. For sure. I mean, the brain is firing back, gets the recovery. Effie going to have a hard time getting back, not going to be able to. It is shipwreck like we talked about, small walls. You got to recover high. And if yeah. you get sent low, which is, you know, the trajectory of the scythe recovery, you're in a bad spot. Scythe recovery in a decent amount of or her six to send at a pretty lower angle, so. All right. Step nice. ladder. Okay, wow, Ooh. the double. Big damage coming out from Dobrain on the second stock already. Looking for another step ladder. We're not going to get it this time around. Throws the weapon off to get the scythe. Now it's a true scythe battle. This is where it gets scary. What are the reads of these two players going to be? Ooh, good read from Effie. Oh, wow. That jump into ground pound. Very smart. Yeah, Effie's getting a lot of damage uh, off of these side sticks as well, too, man. The Reaper coming to Ooh. reap. That time, the down sig. Another soul has been taken. That man has one soul left. Is this going to be it? Or is it going to be it for this fourth game here? We're going to see a game Whoa. five. It really depends on how the brain tries to play this last part. 
covering the nice. Oh, that was clean. Yeah, that was actually really smart. Threw it and just kind of landed in it. What, like, where was ever going to go outside of straight over it, which I think you probably would have tried to recover it after that or hit it with a recovery. Off the stage. Oh, no. This is looking really bad for Effie. Oh, no. Effie has not touched the ground yet. Finally gets a chance to touch ground there, but it does not matter. No brain all over the place. Grabbing another side. He is scooping him every which way. 32 flavors happening on this stage. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. Going for the for the gravity cancel right there, but not the move that. Effie trying to, to fire back, looking for the movement, but it's just not there yet. I'm panicking. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, this is down to the wire here for both these uh, players, so. The brain had the read there, but waited too long. Oh, man. Effie's, Effie's making it back right now, doing the best he can, uses the recovery. Sends him off the stage, looking for him to come back. Scoop. Again, a hold up. Effie trying to get Scoop. to a game five situation. I think he's managed to do it. Oh, oh he's back. just barely. He's back. He said, this is not going to be the end for me. Bounces the weapon off his head, gets scooped though. Effie's off the stage now. What's he gonna do against No Brain? Oh, this is a problem. He's off stage yet again, thrown all Ooh, the way no! up, and that was good stuff. No Brain. Oh, with the recovery, I think Effie just committed a little too hard right there, and No Brain is going to take it, man. The emotion from these two friends, these competitors, knowing that they both put their heart out on the line right there. That last stop, very, very tense. Even here at the desk, like I'm, my hands are clapped. I was shook, and that was yeah. insane of a last stock on on shipwreck. Like wow, yeah, man, that wow. Was very unfortunate uh, for oh. Effie right there. However, very fortunate, or very just very great uh, awareness for oh, the to know up. exactly what to do. Daigo coming up situation. to console his friend. He knows he put his heart out into that match. All three of these guys are friends, but sometimes you got to kill them in bracket. It's gonna hurt. But you know, you did amazing here, Effie. Thank you for making it this far, showcasing your side gameplay. Yeah, man, that side gameplay took him quite like super far in singles and doubles. Him and uh, Daiko actually had to play each other to even get into top eight, and he happened to make it here. So at least made the boy proud. You know, keep it moving. He got, I got fifth place here. So yeah. We got a replay for you guys coming off from a the Mammoth Pass. Not Mammoth Pass, but a uh, small Mammoth Fortress. This is, this is the scary part. Thought he had it. This is when he turned it around very easily. Yeah. And that was just, just so simple here oh. for, uh, for Mirage. And then we got Ooh. another replay oh, here no. right at the end. You know, definitely put him in a real bad position. Try to go now, for the item throw. Watch this part. They both yeah. recovered at the same time, yeah. but one hitbox came out earlier. Yeah. And that was the telling tale. The brain's hitbox came out slightly earlier than Effie's, and that is how he lost that match. And I really thought he was going to try to go for the item throw. That seemed like the perfect angle that he put him down to just kind of go for that, force him to maybe burn his uh, one of his jumps too early or burn his uh, his air dodge. Doesn't make it easy for you to go for the ground pound if he does get all the way up there. But, you know, he really wanted to hold on to that weapon. And then, uh, had he hit that side light or that side air, he would have been able to throw him back. So I, I saw what he was going for with it. I just, you know, I think I think he could have been able to end that game with the with, with the weapon throw into just a quality edge guard. But either way, the brain, you know, we'll be moving on. And now we into our last side of losers quarters here. Boomy and Adapt about to play or an Adapt Blood Diamond about to play each other. So look at the spread of all these matches so far. Yeah. On the winners side, we had hard body three O's. Yeah. And on losers, it's been three one each and every time. That oh, yeah. means. Now, these guys are definitely out for blood. And when we say blood, we're definitely talking Adapt Blood Diamond, who is going up against the king of doubles and one of the most well-known and difficult to go against players, Boomy. Yeah, so Boomy trying to fight his way to play against the brain in the top four here over Blood, uh, blood Diamond. But Blood Diamond, man, if you saw the way that he opened up those first two games against Faison, you can definitely see that this might be a hard-fought battle for both sides. All right, get into our button checks real quick to make sure we're good to go. This is going to be Boomy and Blood Diamond playing in the loser's quarter. The last match you need to get into the top four. Wondering exactly how this is going to play out for our boys. You can see the finger work going out. Blood Diamond's got that killer face ready. Boomy, much more relaxed. He plays at a relaxed pace, doesn't he? He's chilling. Yeah, well, I mean, I think he shouldn't have been relaxed in the winner's finals or winner's semis, I'll tell you that, but... You know, he still could he still can do this from the losing side. And he did it with doubles. Up next in the Bro Most definitely. World that was intense. 1v1 top 8. We've got 
Blood Diamond versus Boomy. Let's go. I like this. Uh, I like these lights. That I was come just up. checking the lights yeah. out. Lights that are coming up real nice. So, Blood Diamond, Boomy. Picking stage right here. Uh, we got a Sentinel out. Okay, already oh. for uh, Boomy, and then Blood Diamond's gonna just go ahead and opt with the Hattori. Hattori actually won him that last game that he needed to even get this far. So I, you know, I feel it. His Hattori was doing, making some moves. If the Hattori doesn't work though, I definitely expect to see that story. Most this. definitely, he's gonna go with the Hattori to start though because this would save him the last set. After he lost that one match as a starter, he was definitely like, you know what, I'm gonna go back to some roots, grab my Hattori. One of the earlier characters come out of the game anyway. Space control coming out from both competitors. Boomy moving around as fast as he can, but the movement that's coming out from the Tori always been scary. All right. Ooh. Yeah, not going to be able to get that. That was a little bit too much of a charge. Maybe expecting uh, Boomy to recover a little early like he was shook, but Boomy having no problem waiting it out. This is a stage that, that happens in one a lot, though. You don't want to try to get to that small pit, bit of the wall pretty quickly, so. Ooh, hammers out for Boomy. He's not doing so hot with it. Good side light. Tries to get sliced oh. in the side six and slap him out of here. Wow, I didn't even see him get that much damage to even get that to, uh, to kill like that. But hey, Sentinel got a little power behind him. So quick sing and we are done. However, like the neutral said. sing <laughs> coming through for Blood Diamond as well, man. Just like you said, quick sing and we are done. Both stocks tied up again. The problem here is that Sentinel's got a lot more defense than Hattori does. Hattori just has a lot more movement. What is what what can she do besides get stomped actually? Holy. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, I feel like that was another stomp that could have came out, but he went for the side. Okay. Touched. Yeah, he touched he it touched. though, but he's still having a hard time getting back. Finally does it here. Oh, Ooh. I thought he was gonna get the full turnaround. Wow, this Man. is kind of wild <laughs> offstage play coming up for both competitors. Tried to get the spear throw, not gonna work. Tell my man hit the moonwalk into that? <laughs> moonwalk uh dive kick, let's go. Nair comes out, three-piece combo, looking for the biscuit. This is a little unfortunate right here for Boomy, man. This, the start of this second stock played him no favors. However, though, still does some Show real good misses. damage Ooh. here to, uh, to, to a story, not a story, a Tori. Tries to get the down smash to kill, does not. Ooh, good weapon throw from Blood Diamond on top of Boomy. Just put him in a bad spot, but Blood Diamond back to stomp yeah. into side air. Yeah, Blood Diamond kind of bet a lot right there with that side six, so therefore it just gets stopped side air. Easy confirmed for the hammer. Boomy seeming, uh, seemingly liking to keep the guitars at first and then switch to the hammer to finish the stock. You know, a, a very solid gameplay. Hammer is a strong weapon. It's not usually as fast as guitars would be. Throws yeah. his weapon, unable to pick it back up. Side six, slices him out of their Blood Diamond, evening the stocks up, only sitting in yellow. All right. Back down to the ground. Trying to look for something. Slice is coming out. Blood Diamond sitting in orange, getting closer and closer to the red. Boomy trying to get a good read onto him. Blood Diamond spacing as hard as he can with this sword. Yeah, Bo Boomy kind of threw out that side stick. Like oh. Nobody's business right here. Now he's having a hard time. Okay, gets back down. Quick and one right there. Grabs his weapon back as well. Ooh, that sound effect was actually delicious. If only he landed that. We'll see what happens. Good side light. Yeah. Scoop. Oh, could be a problem. Weapon oh, throw. Where, where oh, you throw oh, that oh, joint? Oh. Like, <laughs> alley -oop. He caught that one ready to go. Oh, we'll try to get the load of the earth scoop. Unable to land that one. Spear thrown down. Using that active hitbox to try and keep him out of the way. This is a scary situation. Boomy's getting hit by every weapon being thrown. What is Blood Diamond got? Oh. It's a slice. Is it Still enough? alive. Definitely not enough right here. And oh, that's going to be it. The recovery as he forced him to recover like that, that sword throw. He could not go low because he's going to hit the wall as soon as he's going to be able to hit it. Forced to go high and the perfect recovery right there for Blood Diamond. Taking that first game over Boomy. Very nice play. Throwing that sword straight up in the sky meant you only had one direction you could really go. It's going to cover all of the options. And Boomy was not ready to thread that needle. He couldn't get yeah. between both of them. Oh, no. So Hattori just jumps up with that speed, uppercut, out of there with that recovery hit. All right, so Nash now is the pick here for Boomy. Going to switch it over to a another. Going to keep his hammer alive, but now he wants to opt to have the uh, spear too. So. Let's see what happens. Nash, my boy, out here for Boomy, trying to do as much as he can. 
spear play is gonna definitely be a big part of this. Both trying to get some step ladder started. Unable to land that dare. Way too low. Oh. Step ladder, Sayer. Into dare, into weapon toss. Doing a lot right here. So, all right, gonna switch weapons here. Hasn't really put too much damage here on uh, Blood yet, but maybe not feeling the, the spear ditto right now, so. Although I don't know if that was the switch, switch that we needed. Blood Diamond running all over Boomy right here in that first part of the match as well. So Blood Diamond's not playing at yeah. all. I mean, he came out here to win. Most definitely. Like these, these are some very aggressive plays with two very aggressive characters that are, you know, will make up his roster of selection. Yeah. Whereas Boomy's out here with this now, and Ash not really making the aggressive plays he should be doing. All right. Yeah. Seems like Blood Diamond always catching on to what Boomy's trying to do. Some of these sigs looking a little reckless. Definitely. Good catch straight out of the sky. The prediction was there, but so was the recovery from Boomy. He's out of here. Stocks are even, but only one is clean. All right. Boomy coming in. Oh, and the item pickup as well. So a lot of damage being added right there, and he's still keeping it up, but the dive is going to get him through that situation. Full on ground pound actually hits the ground. Tried to charge a sig, but still got hit by Blood Diamond. He wasn't let that happen. Boomy under him. Ooh! Perfect spacing right there from Blood Diamond. Very clean neutral sig to send him bouncing off the island into the sky zone. He tries to jump in with the down sig from the hammer, not going to find his target. Dodges the neutral sig from oh, the no. Oh my goodness. Oh, tried. Okay. Believed it all. Tried. He believed. He believed, but he still got some decent damage here on uh Boomy already, so. But wow, yeah, that was, that was he really reckless. believed in that one. That was super reckless. Hopefully Boomy. that doesn't cost him the game. But we playing with a little bit of confidence now that he, he's giving that stock over. Now they're on even, you know, even terms. Is he's not trying to just kind of recklessly throw out these saves that we've seen him do a little earlier on. Probably because they didn't need to, you know. At this point in time, we, we're just in the da damage rack portion of this match, so. Close. It's getting kind of scary. Ooh, tried to hit him with a neutral stick from the hammer. Unable to find the target. Side light coming out from Blood Diamond. This is scary. Scary situation to be in under that sword. Boy, he's moving. Is that going to be enough? Nope. Gotta get back down to the ground here. When we go to swap weapons. One more hit, Boomy might be out of here. This is a very scary situation for the boy. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Step back again and still looking for that Sig, man. Same Sig. Real problem here. We got Blood Diamond touching the wall with that dive. This is getting wild. Both of them ready to die at any Sig use. Ooh. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that is definitely it, man. The sick usage, maybe expecting Boomy to be in the air a little faster than that, but Boomy with the quick confirm, the down light into the side air every time. Stomped the yard, keeping every it going. Time. Tying the set up 1-1. One, one. First time we've seen the set get tied up this fast. Yep. Usually it goes 2-1 and then 3-1 or yeah. just flat 3-0, but right now sitting 1-1 one, one and loses quarters. So we're gonna see, uh, you know, how this shapes up this time around. We got a switch from the, from both. Yeah, from both actually. So he went back to the Asturia, the Blood Diamond going to Asturia, and then Boomy with the Diana. So, all right, stages have been picked very quickly. We are here again in the icy, icy locale, the Twilight Grove. Yeah, I mean that the, you know, his, his tutorial was looking good, but the, the Blood Diamond with his guitars could be a real. Real force right here against Boomy. I gotta see if he's ready for it or not, so. We'll see exactly what happens. Boomy is definitely keeping the spacing going with these blasters. Definitely, you know, this is some good, good spacing right here, yeah. but do not let this Asuri get started on him. Yeah, just moving left and right, man. I'm trying to make sure that he always has his hitbox lined up to stop, uh, you know, stop Blood Diamond whenever he tries to land. Give him some, some nice damage here. Uh-oh. All right, back on stage. Quick neutral, but not enough right there. And the ground pound actually going to get back to the stage. But Boomy, throwing that weapon, expert expert marksman right there, picks it back up as well. Tried to go for the whip, unable to get it. The dive hit comes out from Blood Diamond. Both make it back to the stage. Tries to get the instant recovery onto Boomy. Boomy tossing up his bow, saying, I'm going to chill for a second. All right, that was a little bit of a, little bit of a reach right there. Could be a what? problem. However, it looks like he turned it around. Oh, no. oh he didn't. Boom, 
Yumi just barely touching that wall. Holy moly, indeed. He, he touched the wall with his hat. Like, that was, that was that, that Diana hat touching that wall, right? There was no way he got that with his hands. Jesus. But either way, Blood Diamond immediately firing back. Comes through with the down light and to the recovery itself. Back into a neutral situation, trying to find the hit are both of our competitors. What is going to happen? Already in the yellow is Blood Diamond. Trying to use that speed of a Surrey to cut some boomy flakes up. All right. There it is, boomy back on the stage. Good chase dodge to get out of that situation after using the recovery. Ooh, charged up the whip, but Blood Diamond saw it coming, lands in a safe situation. Yeah. Slices. Blood Diamond putting him all the way off, but again going for that side stick and has put him in a bad spot. Oh. Good air dodge, I think he turned it around. Okay. No, he did it. Still though, got some damage off that one. That was that was crazy going out like that. Yeah. Almost getting got. Wild situation, wrong way for that recovery to hit. These boys are fighting on these stocks. Game three, two stocks apiece. One of these players is bleeding, one of these players is dead. Yeah, he went for that gravity cancel down light right there. Decent idea, you know, if he would've hit that, definitely would've went for the ground pound, but Boomy spaced that one out perfectly, so. Boomy only in the orange right now. Getting close to the red, though. Doing the best that he can, Blood Diamond, definitely. Ooh, wow. the special slides off with it, tries to hit him again. Unable to find it. Good down light from Blood Diamond. Tries to get the slice. It's dive kick season. Oh, that's it. There's, I was like, yeah. there's no way. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way he's going to be able to make that one back. The double dive kick. Boomy always okay with dropping his a stock if he knows it's going to get him that stock kick right there. And that was another situation. We saw him doing it in doubles as well with the gravity cancel sig all the way to the left side. Does it again here with the double dive kick. And that is all that she wrote. That she being Diana. She wrote that. <laughs> that book was written. <laughs> Mary Shelley's Diana. <laughs> Definitely a written book. We're getting into game four now. Switch to the Bodevar, okay. Oh, I, I have not seen Blood Diamond play Bodevar at all. I mean, I feel like everyone can play Bodevar. I mean, everybody can, but I've never yeah. seen. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, I'm not, I'm not doubt, gonna doubt the Bodevar just yet. Let's see what happens uh, as it goes in. I mean, as you said, though, I mean, he still has a sword, so he at least has one of his staples, but I haven't really seen him with a hammer, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely what I'm looking forward to see exactly how he's going to use this hammer to better himself in this matchup. But the shots, the shots from Boomy are all I'm seeing in here, and actually. Yeah, Boomy just kind of dancing around him. Finally gets himself some hits here, but still looking for that down air. Doesn't really get it, the ground pound, but Boomy's sending him right back up. Shots coming out. The angle. Yeah. Tries to hit him with the Kobe from deep. Definitely hit him. Shoot, <laughs> shoot the J. Wow. Just waited. Not even moving. He knew. He just knew. I thought he was going to try to go for it again, but this time around. Oh, tries to hit him with the underworld. Goodbye. Not going to happen. Yeah. That gun recovery, man, every time. Every time. You see anyone hit, get hit by that uh, pass like orange, and you're like, oh, he's probably dead. Boomy, though. Oh, the whip. Whip. Problem. Oh, okay. good recovery uses right there. Getting back to the stage, grabs the hammer. Show me something. What you got, Blood Diamond? Okay. All right. That was, that that was, was something. <laughs> Definitely show me something. He lets you know he got those. Hey, just, just barely off the mark with that side air that was most Ooh. likely going to be able to take it. And the double down air that will do the trick here for Blood Diamond. Finally gets the stock off. Got uh, only, only really in the yellow. Yellow or orange right there. So not too much damage on him, but still a pretty good lead here for Boomy. Sitting pretty. Got the blasters out. Ready to start the day. Goes for recovery for some reason. Misses completely. Gets punished for it. Ooh, tries to get the whip. The double shot. Wow. Espresso. Yeah, that's done. All right. One stock up is Boomer, so you know he's about to do something wild if he gets him off the stage. Yeah, man. Every every time I see that gun recovery start, I'm just like, man, there's no way you're living that. <laughs> so either way, hard. man, we, you know, we still haven't really been able to see how Blood Diamond is playing with his hammer. However, you know, he also hasn't really been able to get a sword popping for himself outside of that one uh, stock that he's taking. Does it right here, though. I'm expecting to see him try to stay with this for a bit. Seems to be his, uh, you know, his, his better weapon free. Yes, definitely. He's trying. Scoop. Ooh, scoop for real. The standstill is such a mind game. You yeah. see people moving so much. And Boomy's just like, what am I even doing? Can you even predict there it? it? You cannot. Boomy, Boomy takes it. 3-1. Definitely it. moved on him, man. 
keeping the tradition of 3-1 in the loser side of our bracket. Every single set was a 3-1, and this one is no different. Hey yeah, man, Boomy, you know, he dropped that one game, but after that, you know, he really, after he started cycling characters, I feel like he just kept uh, Blood Diamond on his toes. You know, Blood Diamond never knows what's coming next, and I think that's just really the strength of Boomy. He always has so many characters to play, so many combinations he can mix up to make you feel like, oh man, well, I just learned how to play against Diana, but now he's playing Cassidy. Like, yeah, what, what do I do now? This is a totally different weapon set. So. All right, we got this replay from Twilight Grove queued up for you guys. Let's take a peek into this one, the last stock of this match. That's where Boomy really brought it back. The stomp into side. After missing that heartbreaking sig. Yeah, I mean, that was that happened quite a bit, actually, in that set where, you know, he would go for you know, a sig or something like that, and then Boomy would just get the clean punish right after that, like right after he ended up missing. So it really came down to whose patience was a little better, and it happened to be Boomy's. I mean, in that first game, not so much. He was, uh, and, the, and the Nash game, not so much, but uh, he managed to still make it happen for him. So Most definitely. Thank you guys for joining us for that portion of the top eight. We're going to have a th quick three-minute break as we switch casters to the boys y'all been waiting for. We have the Light Skin Lounge, Fats, TK, Breezy. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in a bit. What's a free shirt? This bracket is winding down, ladies and gentlemen. 1v1 is coming to a close. We've seen so many people rise to the top. We've seen so many reach right up to the precipice and miss it by inches. We are getting towards the end of this. The only few players we have left are Addy Mestic and LDZ, Boomy and Dobrain moving on. My name is Sparky878. We are going to keep this quick and brief. I know all of you want to see the games. You've seen the brackets a hundred and a half times. I'm sure you're following along at home. We've waxed nostalgic all along, but it's time what? I'm not familiar with that phrase. I'm sorry, but we're going it's right on It's when you talk about the it. old times. Okay, sure. 
I, I, I don't lack as many things, but we're going right on into it. Addy Messick versus LDZ. Like They're just doing the button checks real quick like LDZ once again, the previous Brawlhalla World Championship champion. Uh, he won 2016 and he is looking to win 2017. Addy Messick already sitting pretty in that top three, but it would be very heartbreaking to see him make it to grand All right, finals ladies and, gentlemen, and fall short again. We like, have keep mind, arrived there are four players finals. left total. This means Addy Messick from EU, Dobrain from EU, LDZ from North America, Boomi from North America, two EU players, two North America players. Prize. That's been the most diverse, right, like tournament. top four that we've ever seen in Brawlhalla history. That is so cool for just the diversity of the sport, how people are playing it LDZ, in different territories, ready? how everyone in EU is LDZ, learning the ready? game, how everyone in North America is learning the game, how Addy, they're all kind of coming up at similar levels. I would have liked to see a little bit better placings out Ladies of the Brazil guys because you know they've been working hard, out of Addy Tiger, Messick out of Tyler Alex because they've come all this LDZ. way. Uh, they still did great. They played so well. So many things they came up against and uh, came out on top, but they couldn't make it all the way here. We are getting into this game. Let's go. Addy Mestic, LDZ, winners, finals, best of five here at BCX2 2017, Atlanta, Georgia. BCX2. You can't say second annual, can you? I, just, I forget. <laughs> I forget to LDZ say it first. Kicking off with that Lucian pick, Addy Mestic. No surprises. He's been playing Val basically his entire life and he's been doing so incredibly well but LDZ is a very strong player we've seen him be consistent through and through that weapon toss and Addy Mestic's already done LDZ plays cleaner than I think anybody else that has ever touched this game in their entire life it seems like there are no extra movements that he goes through like everything he does he's so efficient is, is placed perfectly exactly where he wants something that egg was saying earlier while we were watching in the audience like a lot of his attacks that miss they're on purpose they're meant to be a bait so that you come into counter attack and then he punishes you for that look he just took a second stock less than a minute into the game and ldz's already gotten two stocks off of adding messick the eu favorite LDZ is an incredible caliber of player, showing why he's the previous 2016 champion and why he is very close to becoming the 2017 champion. He has so much raw talent at this game. It seems like nobody can really get a read on how he plays. Going through the bracket earlier in uh, in top eight today, we already saw him 3-0 Boomy, one of the best players in North America. Now he's up against Addy Mestic. Is he going to be able to continue that? It's looking like he is so far. Addy struggling a little bit, gets the D-Light side air, the weapon toss going right under LDZ. He does get the wall touch to reset the jumps. Addy's going to have a mountain to climb at this point. Oh. There's the side signature taking away the first stock. Addy about halfway through his final stock, but he's going to have to get to work. We're seeing in the 1v1s, Addy's starting to become a little bit more consistent with hitting those side signatures, which is so critical for Val's as far as finishing stocks go. We saw him in the 2v2s trying to go for those recoveries and not really finishing off the stocks of Boomy. So it's so critical that Addy is hitting those side signatures more consistently. LDZ coming in with a neutral signature. By the way, LDZ's signatures, like his signature usage has been just so on point. He never gets punished for him, hardly ever. His neutral sig usage on guitars, his side sig usage, even his down signature usage, he's getting them so well. And the gun signature, like I have trouble finding the gun neutral signature. LDZ is able to place it so well and look at him. Just, that's, that's literally LDZ. There's no other word to describe that other than that's just LDZ. He's laughing right now. Like, he's focused. He's having a good time. He's loose, but he's at the ready. It's just this is the duality of man. Single, there one man. There you go. Good job. One man. You've been trying to make sure you use that yeah, phrase dude, I, correctly. I tried it this that time. That time bro. you got it. Uh, LDZ forcing Addy off of the vowel. This is a Caspian pick. I think that's why LDZ gave the little bit of giggle. What is this Caspian pick? You don't see Caspian a lot. He's still relatively new to the scene. I mean, aside from Caspian, the most recent character is a character that players aren't even allowed to play in tournament. Yep. That's how fresh that character is. Caspians, we've seen a Sidru play Caspian, and that's about it. And it's a generally SIG heavy character. Yeah, I think we saw Ishet in EU play uh, yeah. play Caspian as well. Both players using a lot of those signatures. And if, if Addy Mestic was strong, Struggling with kill potential on Val, maybe that's why they, he has the switch over here. If he's confident in his gauntlets, that's why he's made this pick because it does have the shared gauntlets between Val and Caspian. Absolutely. And we're, we're seeing a lot of signatures come out. Yeah, already seeing a lot of six come out on both sides. LDZ uh, trying to get that side signature, but Addy Messick over to the gauntlets. Uh, we're going to see how well he can do with these Caspian gauntlets. Already starting to jab up those neutralites hitting. 
but he's going to throw him away, still thinking about how he's going to finish off LDZ's first stock, as LDZ just going to be looking for recoveries. We're definitely seeing a different beginning of the game compared to the last one. It still ultimately ends the same way with LDZ taking the first stock, but he is in the red at this point, and it took a little bit over a minute, keeping it dead even with LDZ so far. Great adjustments from Addy Mestic. Yeah, Addy Mestic doing a better job of surviving despite sacrificing some of that defense. He's doing a better job of not getting hit by LDZ's big gimp potential in this Lucia. Nice grab to cancel D-Light into the side air, forcing Addy over to the island. He was going for that follow-up off the bounce. Something that you have lauded for a very long time is utilizing that wall. We saw that with the Scythe Mirror matches with Dobrain and Effie, trying to get those walls to keep combos going. LDZ just trying to do the same thing. It's, it's actually really hard to do with guns. Like, you have to pretty much commit to the recovery, like, right as they bounce off the wall. There is no, like, feeling out time of, like, oh, he's going to be coming this far, and now I start my recovery. Like, you just have to go. There's going to be the weapon toss. LDZ was, was kind of, I guess, the most successful with those long-range weapon tosses to finish off the stocks. He was the one who kind of started that, and everyone, of course, in the game followed suit. What's crazy is Addy really tried to conserve his options. He didn't immediately panic jump. He was really trying to be conservative with his tools to get back, and LDZ still managed to read how Addy was going to jump. He had the gauntlets. He could have gone for the stairs, but Addy just got caught by LDZ with the snipe. And even though we've seen more signatures come out from Caspian, Caspian having uh, solid signatures that a lot of people in the past have, have been very uh, adept at hitting, we're, we're really not seeing that from him so far. He's thrown out a lot of neutral signatures. Usually it's the Qatar side sig mm -hmm. and the gauntlet down sig that people are, oh. most, uh, are most willing to use. LEZ going to end up falling there. Um, still staying pretty even with Addy Mestic at this point. A uh, slight advantage as far as the health department goes. There's going to be the weapon spawn. And we've got a Qatar mirror match. Not too sure how Addy is going to do with these Qatars. I uh, haven't really seen any huge burst the way that we've seen from his gauntlets. But at the same time, LDZ is very aware of how Addy wants to play those gauntlets and has been getting out of every single uh, combo attempt from Addy. Nice weapon tosses coming out of those gauntlets. I don't think um, everybody out there really understands how difficult it is to place Qatar throws so well like LDZ does. He truly makes it look easy, and he ends up almost getting the JV2 here, having just a little bit of damage, probably around 20 damage on that stock as he takes game two over Addy Mestic. He has the precision uh, with his weapon throws that basically Hammer, Spear, and Lance players have. He, he can hit those tiny, tiny Qataris on people with the same precision as people who are throwing double character length weapons. Now we're coming back to Twilight Grove here. It doesn't seem um, like there was a lot of anything unique to this map that led to these players playing one way or the other. Um, there wasn't a lot of uh, edge play that would make somebody feel confident about going to a shipwreck or anything like that, or any shenanigans zone that would make somebody want to go to King's Pass. Um, it seemed pretty standard. There wasn't a lot of focus on the island either, so maybe they just feel comfortable on this map. Um, there are some people that absolutely hate this map because of the island. Interestingly enough, we're seeing this map get picked more than Mammoth. Going into a lot of tournaments, you generally see Mammoth be the popular pick, but Mammoth uh, doesn't really have the option of the island. It has less soft platforms, so there's less kind of movement uh, places if you're trying to recover back. And we've seen throughout the weekend that a lot of players have utilized that island, but they haven't been excessive with it. Very few players have really relied on the island uh, to, to get them multiple stocks. Yeah, it is weird to see Twilight so much this late in the mm. tournament. Like, um, I leaned over and said to Creed when uh, Blood Diamond was playing Boomy, like, I wonder if Blood Diamond is going to ban Twilight every time just to avoid the flashback back to what happened at Shine when uh, when Boomy and Blood Diamond just completely stayed apart from one another, one on the main platform, one on the island, completely refusing to disengage. Nice double side light into the recovery from Addy Mestic. Going to be evening up the stocks, but I was exactly thinking the same thing. Yeah. I was talking to TWK about it. I was like, uh, they're going to be going to this map. We're seeing shades of uh, that repeat from Shine. Neutral light into the nair coming out from LDZ. Another falling nair. Another neutral light. Going for the jump, Nair, the string, the extended long string from LDZ, so taking Addy Mestic from white to yellow. Now he has the guns, the DPS potential is off the charts. Going for the reverse slide charge down sig. Addy not able to punish that down signature slide charge. He went for the attempt, he tried to get in on side of it, and then tried to get that side air, but he still hasn't been able to hit it. And that's what we were talking about with Egg Soup, is that LDZ is so good at not getting punished for his signature usage.
and there he actually just missed picking up the recovery off of the side air. He wasn't quite far enough away for how much damage that Eddie had, and ended up bouncing him a little bit too far away. He does end up picking the kill anyway, and all I'm going to say is, I have a Lucian pin on right now, LDZ's playing Lucian, and he's winning. Like, you draw the conclusions there. It was it was the prediction, man. You, you've had that pin on all day. I have. LDZ recognized it, and is like, all right, I'm going to play homage to my boy Sparky and play this Lucian out. No, nah, he's, he's definitely not playing Lucian <laughs> for me. I can guarantee that one. We do see that LDZ oh, is getting close to that uh, kill percentage, but really good coverage. He ends up going for a gravity cancel downline into a side air in the edge guard and the neutral sig. LDZ, three O's, Addy Mestic. Like, he makes it look easy. It should not look that easy in winner's finals of the world championships of Brawlhalla here. Like, it shouldn't look that easy. Addy, like, y'all have seen Addy's games. Addy is stupid good at this game, but LDZ just just tears him apart, rips him into mincemeat, and makes it look easy. That is the mark of a true professional. LDZ just completely demolishing. Uh, what was the phrase about LDZ? Like crisp, clean LDZ. That still Something holds like true. That, yeah. it, he has just been so incredibly efficient, never being excessive with his attacks. We do have a replay uh, queued up of LDZ. Uh, taking down Addy Mestic's final stock in game three. And there you can see just the, the 80, the, the APM of LDZ, so consistent, no attacks whiffed, able to finish off that stock so cleanly. And like the way he plays is. If you're able to listen to the crowd, I don't know how much y'all can hear the crowd at home, but in so many other games today, you have those moments where people are like cheering and, and someone's getting a huge string and you hear the, oh, 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 that doesn't happen with LDZ, but not because he doesn't get those strings. For some reason, he makes it just look effortless, effortless, and then all of a sudden you blink and a stock is gone. And then he takes games while still having two stocks and you're just like, yeah, that just happened, I guess. It's, it's, it's so, it, he flies under the radar, which is why people kind of stopped talking about him this year, even though he was still coming out with first placements and, and top placements, top five, top three, so many solid placements in tournaments, and yet people weren't talking about him every day. He's just, he's just too good. He's, a, homie's magic. <laughs> like, he's actually a magical human being. He All is, right, ladies he's on a whole other level. Coming up next, we do have Dobrain versus Boomy. Now. In the uh, World winner Champion, of this will go on to fight Addy Mastic. Not sure. I'd like to welcome to the stage now, okay, he's, he's representing USA, 2v2 2017 champion, Boomy. Does photo get picked up? What on stream? I don't. I don't know. He does? Okay, okay, okay. so y'all can hear photo at home. Good, because he's doing these uh, fantastic introductions, getting everybody hyped up. And his up. opponent. I'm gonna go ahead and Hailing him all take the this. way from Russia, we've got Dobrian! As the Red Menace makes his way to the stage, of course, he's sitting on the red team side in the red chairs. Shouts out to my man Putin out there. Putin's <laughs> your, golden boy. Your man I Putin. mean, come on. He's, you know. You gotta be friendly. Just trying to keep yourself up. Putin's never personally done anything mean That's to fair. me, so until he personally <laughs> wrongs me, you know. But we do see Boomy already sitting down. He's got the headset on. Gonna just try to keep those fingers warm on the other side. Dobrain uh, just gonna be plugging in that keyboard, getting set up uh, so that we can get into this loser, sem uh, loser semis winner. This does go on to fight Eddie Mestic. Now these two players have a lot of history together. Even though they are from different regions, they don't necessarily have like the, the, the tournament history together. They have like a, a personal relationship history together. They've been friends for a very long time. Like back when, uh, uh, when I started to be friends with Boomy, him and Boomy were really good friends, and that was kind of how I became friends with Dobrain, was kind of through Boomy, and there was, there was that triangle that formed there. Like, we used to play Dead by Daylight mm -hmm. all the time. Like, they played, like, Battle Right together, and all of these games. Gremlins? Grim Gremlins. Grim no, Boomy never played Gremlins, okay. but I, I played Gremlins um, with Dobrain. Like, so much time has been spent between these two players. Like, they, they are friends. Um, maybe not as much as Dobrain is with some of the other EU people, just because they are in the same yeah. region, but still, there's such a personal history between these two players and I'm still blown away by the fact that Dobrain has made it this far like I know that he has it in him mm -hmm. but he's had issues with tournament nerves in the past the the fact that he made it this far I thought when he was going up against uh, Effie earlier like he he took the first two games and then Effie took a game and I thought that's it 
that's that's gonna be that's gonna be the mark where the, Dobrin's the gonna fall apart, right? Not even close. Effie did take that game, but Dobrain went up against him scythe v scythe. His spear was ridiculous on Mirage against Effie. Like, I, I cannot express how proud I am of how far Dobrain has come. Like, it's one thing to fix, like, the physical game, the, 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 the execution of things. You can go in training mode and just train D-Light Sayers and, until the cows right, come everybody, home. Or, loser of this or match sorry, will aside be from that, it's so hard to fix the mental game. Because that's your brain. If you think like, that is literally your brain that you have win. to reprogram. That is something that's so incredibly difficult. And, and it seems Boobie? so far like Dobrain has mastered that. Yeah, Dobrain has done a great job of All right, guys, let's keeping start himself this composed. Let's start this set it off seems right like that, uh, that three, Twitter two, question and answer definitely helped yeah. uh, put him in the correct mindset as we get ready to get into game one of this loser semis. Keep in mind, it is a best of five, and the loser of this is going to be knocked out of the tournament. Dobrain starting off with this Mirage. We saw him kind of play around with some different scythe characters, really trying to get a feel. Does he want to play the Mordex? Does he want to play the Nyx? Ultimately, it seems All like right, he's landed guys, on this Mirage. Go. On Say the other side... Now. Give me everything you got. USA, it's 1v1 who he starts World off with the Sentinel, but he's been mixing it up. He's got some other characters. He's got that Diana in the back pocket. We've seen his Diana do absolute work. I'm just, I'm, I'm so scared of Dobrin's spirit. Like it is so insane the way he plays it. Like he doesn't play it boring and vanilla like about like a lot of other spears players play it. He's able to pick up downlights so well. He was getting way more double downlights double than downlights, anybody yeah. deserves. But he does have the uh, scythe in his hands right now. He was hitting scythe strings against Effie as well. Um, Egg Soup was saying earlier that he doesn't think that scythe quite suits Dobrain as a player. Maybe just based on his personality. He said that spear absolutely does though. I don't know whether I agree or disagree with that. But regardless, he was able to take the scythe against Effie. Yeah, Dobrain ultimately did win out in that Scythe mirror match, uh, but it was a hard-fought fight on both sides. We do see he is still able to utilize that Scythe, that reverse snare, able to take down Boomy, who was swinging for the fences with that hammer. Side light, neutral light into the reverse nair. He's scooping for those nairs, grabbing them. Boomy. Looking uh, a little bit strange in his movement. I think that just completely threw off Dobrain for a second. Then he hit that uh, downline into the gravity cancel neutral heavy for the kill. Keeping it relatively even, even though uh, Dobrain did pick up those early couple sight strings. Yes, just the the inaction from Boomy is something that throws off so many yeah. people. You just you do not expect your opponent not to do something. He did it against Blood Diamond. Too. Yeah. He did it so many times, but Blood Diamond just was not sure what to do. Like, it's it's just quirky. Yeah, it was to the point that I thought, like, the first time I saw it, I was like, oh, gosh, he is BMing uh, Blood Diamond on the main stage here at the Brawlhalla Championship Expo. Like, that's that's so messed up. But, no, it was, like, it was a legitimate strategy. Yeah, Boomy really just bringing out as many different metagame texts as he can, but Dobrain already above him with the ground pounds, and that is going to be Dobrain taking the second stock off of Boomy. I think Boomy he going to have to uh, reevaluate what he's going to do. I think he was sitting there waiting to use another ground pound, just like Effie mm -hmm. does. Uh, we didn't kind of see that for a lot of side players for a while. You would see them, like, maybe go for the down air, and if they ended up below their, their opponent and it didn't hit, they would go for the recovery. It was down airs into recoveries, down airs into recoveries. But now, like, Effie has hit, like, three, four, five ground pounds in a row on people as his edge guard. Yeah, Scythe Ground Pound really uh, getting a good showing this weekend as it's such a strong tool uh, for the Scythe players. We saw, uh, every single time that Effie hit that, X Super just be like, that move, yeah. we take those, but that move... It's really good. It hits directly below you and in a small cone in front of you. So you do cover some serious territory. You can be in the push-off column and still end up clipping people that are hanging right on the wall. The Qatar recovery coming out from Boomy is going to take Dobrain off the top. He's not super far behind, but Dobrain's just kind of held this lead. Yeah, Dobrain just, he got the early lead and has really maintained it. Uh, we are going to see if Boomy can get the big Qatar strings that he needs. Trying to get that read, trying to get a feel for how Dobrain's going to react off of that down air approach. But Dobrain just doing a really good job of mixing it up, keeping this pressure on Boomy. And Boomy's already one signature away from getting taken uh, to game two. But as we saw in the game with Effie, Dobrain was kind of struggling finding those signatures towards the end. Um, in that game uh, four, it could have really gone to Effie, and it was almost looking like it was. Dobrain was struggling to find those kill options. He doesn't there with the neutral signature. That's actually what I wanted him to try and find more against Effie rather than the side and the down, but he's able to find it there, perfectly placed against Boomy in the anti-air. I mean, remember when Mirage first came out, Dobrain really abused those yeah. down signatures from Mirage, both on the spear and on the scythe. 
Uh, we haven't really been seeing that as much uh, in the recent times as it did get a little bit of a nerf because specifically he was abusing yeah. them so hard. Uh, but um, slowly but surely, some players who picked up Mirage were starting to like those down signatures again. Uh, I kind of want to see him use it a little more, especially the scythe down sig, because it does basically make your uh, hitbox invisible yeah. for a, a frame or two. It ends up going like down into the ground. Mm. I'm, I, I wish I could recreate the noise uh, that Dobrain made when he told me, like, when he tried to describe to me how it happens, because he couldn't really tell me how it worked in English, so he just kind of made a noise. It was kind of like, if I don't know, I don't know if that got picked up, but that was one of my that was one of my favorite Mouth moments of, sound of talking with Dobrin in my entire life. But we are seeing Boomy forced to swap on over to the Diana, already picking up that down signature and the down air. Another down air, not enough to finish off the stock just yet. But Dobrain did not get the wall touch, and that will do it. Do uh, oh, sorry, Boomy taking the first stock. Now this switch to Diana, we've seen Boomy do it before when he was fighting against Blood Diamond. The, the switch to Diana made all the difference in the world. Like this, this is his main pick. This is who he's played so much of during this tournament. That's how he's found a lot of his success. His guns are some of the best guns in the game. His bow is one of the best bows in the game. He's able to utilize signatures well, light attack kit well. Like he seems to have everything with this Diana pick. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that he starts off with the Sentinel, given how good his Diana is. It's almost like a, a first game gimme from Boomy, where he's like, if I can win with my Sentinel, I'll do it. I'm, I'll have a little bit more fun with it. But when it comes down to try hard time, I'm going to go in with this Diana and do absolute work. But we do see Dobrain able to even it up. Didn't take too much damage for his troubles, really utilizing that in, inner channel between the two platforms to keep the pressure on uh, Boomy. It is interesting that uh, they chose to go to King's Pass, that that was left on the table. Um, I can't remember who said it earlier, but they were like, why would you uh, go against a scythe player on King's Pass? I think it was Fats. Um, I, yeah, I, I think it might have been Fats as well. Um, and then uh, I think Egg Soup heard it in the audience. He was like, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah, right. Why would that you mistake. do that? And when we were watching Effie versus Egg Soup yesterday, they ended up going to King's Pass. And I, I leaned over, and I can't remember who I told it to. I think it might have been Doppy. And I said, like, why, why would he choose to go to King's Pass? I mean, it is uh, a map that a lot of oh! new players like. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Out of hit stun. Boomy immediately goes for the gravity cancel down signature. But Dobrain was getting so much momentum off of his sight streaks. He was hitting um, Boomy left, right, and center. But Boomy, he just has that down signature. They can bust out whenever he needs to. And that was the perfect spot to do it right on the edge. So Dobrain wouldn't have expected it. He was on the right side of Dobrain. So he was able to redirect that force over to that side kill box that's so close. Trying to utilize that while wanted to go for that reverse snare air into the neutral signature uh, a little bit above it, so he couldn't quite get the timing for it. But Boomy is taking quite a bit of damage from Dobrain Scythe play, trying to get that <laughs> weapon toss. Might be a little bit of a bait. Oh, no. Boomy known for doing those kind of baits. Weapon toss from Dobrain. Dobrain taking nice more and more damage. Going to poke with that. Boomy has the, the movement options. He's able to get back. Dobrain just kind of lets him go back. Oh! oh. I, I guess it was a bait at that point. You didn't see Dobrain go for that weapon, even though it was on that soft platform. He just stayed there unarmed and let Boomy get back up. Surprised to see him go for the ground pound in that situation, given how high they were on the map. Uh, a little bit more force behind that ground pound, but still interesting considering, technically speaking, the recovery would have been uh, closer to the kill box. Speaking of recoveries, Boomy ends up picking one up, throws out two NSIGs, neither of them hitting. He has hit a lot with that today, specifically like the underside of oh, the yeah. NSIG. He's been plucking people with that so well. It Big. does not quite hit grounded, uh, but Boomy making it look like it does. And nice it looks sliders. like that Diana switch was everything in the world for Boomy. He's going to take that pretty confidently, tying up the set between these two players. Keep in mind, there is no option for a bracket reset in the loser semifinals. That is only available in the grand finals for the person coming from the losers. Uh, so after this, the winner of this will be going to face Addy Mestic in the losers finals to see who gets the, uh, I don't necessarily want to call it a pleasure because it's not going to be fun playing against LDC. Oh, yeah. I mean, it'll definitely be a challenge. It'll be an honor. Yeah, the It'll honor. be an honor. Not a pleasure, but an honor. Mordex is the swap from Dobrain. He's going to be going in with this Mordex. It seems like, uh, depending on his mood, he'll change up the Scythe character. Next on the rotation is going to be Nyx. Hopefully one of these stick. 
I think I would prefer that he goes to the Knicks before the more decks. Um, I'm I'm just not feeling his more decks right now. I don't think he's going to have um, success with the gauntlets against Boomy. I think Boomy's going to be able to space um, really well with with the guns. And I think if Do if Dobrain tries to go in close enough, I think the bow is going to tear him apart as well. Bow does have a couple defensive options when people get in close, as well as those range options like uh, the, the dash and downlight or the dash back downlight. He is going to have uh, the signature kit of Mordex, though. Those icicles, that Mr. Freeze-style attack. Uh, very long range. We've seen Tybo really utilize those icicles uh, to his advantage. So Dobrain might be thinking about that signature kit with this Mordex pick. Or it could be just uh, about the stats. Nothing after that sidelight. I think he was waiting to, uh, to get the dodge from Dobrain so that he could put some real string opportunity out rather than just the downlight that's going to end up getting dodged after. Really good movement from Boomy as well. Uh, able to fast fall away from that follow up. Dobrain was really trying to get that recovery. A nice gravity cancel down light out of hit stun. Dobrain trying to do that side light and then turn around, wait so they can get that neutral light. And Boomy just ready with the punish. Here's the recovery good and the weapon, weapon toss. toss. Not, Not enough. quite enough yet. He comes in with the unarmed dare, just barely missing oh, the second one. Turn the around. turnaround gun dare coming out from Boomy. It's insane how gun players are able to use that as a spike now. As that turnaround in those situations, Dobrain coming in with the unarmed downline into the recovery, keeping it dead even between these two. Really good turnarounds from Boomy, uh, but as you said, immediately evened up by Dobrain. He's over to the gauntlets now as Boomy's got those blasters. Going for the double side of light, but Boomy goes straight up into the sky to avoid that follow-up. GC D-Light following that up with the dare. The damage potential from Boomy is just so strong. It's the side light, misses the dare. There's another side light into the side air. And Not this is quite able to pick up that neutral sig. This is what I'm talking about is I... It, Dobrain is going to struggle to get in on these guns. Even when he's close, there's oh. still the, the GCD light out of hit stun. Gravity cancel down light like you were talking about really working for Boomy. Immediately went in with that chase dodge recovery to take that stock off of Boomy uh, or off of Dobrain. Dobrain trying to get in on. Nice gravity cancel signature sends Boomy over to the left side. Can he finish it off? No, Boomy's got the wall touch and Dobrain immediately disengaging so we can pick up a weapon. Recovery. Waits into the recovery. The weapon toss, it's not going to hit this time, but Boomy still doesn't have enough to get back. Dobrain is answering back. Every time Boomy gets the kill, there's the immediate clap back. It's dead even, but when it comes down to last stock, if Boomy takes it first, it doesn't matter how quickly Dobrain can respond because he's lost the game. Yeah, no opportunity to make that response stock when you are out. Uh, it does look like Boomy, again, back on these blasters, doing such a good job of zoning Dobrain out. You're not seeing Boomy go overly aggressive, trying to dash in or do that dash jump dare. Uh, or anything like that. Instead, it's kind of dash forward, dash back into the side light and trying to follow up. Dare gravity cancel neutral light into a nair from Boomy. So much damage getting put out on Dobrain. Both players struggling to find any real damage at this point. Dobrain's working on the, the side, side string. Almost tying up the damage completely at this point. One more hit, we'll oh! tie it up. But Boomy with the jump ground pound and then the it's jump the ground pound on the edge. I think uh, Dobrain started to maybe move up to punish it or he just decided to stay on that wall but didn't expect Boomy to come over that quickly. Well, you saw the panic. He thought the first one was going to go over the edge, so he tries to dodge away. Then he's like, oh, I've burned a lot. I need to get to the wall, and that's when Boomy comes down. That little bit of a fake with that ground pound on the platform just works so well against Dobrain. Coming into Twilight, we're not seeing Dobrain cycle to that other Scythe character, that Nyx pick. Even though this could be Dobrain's final game in this tournament, Boomy is up two in this best of five. Dobrain trying to go for that long range initiation with that down light. Instead, he's going to get the hit with the side light into the recovery, into a follow up Serum. There's the down light pickup. Can't quite get the recovery, but Boomy not finding any response in damage just yet. Nice gravity cancel down line. The dash jump dare coming out from Boomy. Ooh. So slick. That side signature. He doesn't really That'll use do it, it that much, but I swear, 80% of the time he uses it, he hits that. And that's not Daiku numbers. 
it's a really good follow-up from Boomy, where he'll get like a sideline and then he'll immediately go for that side signature, just completely reading out his opponent in the way that they're going to move outside of it. Again, Dobrain going high in the sky, trying to get that gravity canceled signature at the top of the map off that recovery, but this time Boomy is ready for it. And when it didn't hit, like Boomy stuck to Dobrain so well. Like you didn't see him back off or anything or make space like that. He stuck to Dobrain so well, even when he was unarmed. His movement and just reactions to what Dobrain was doing were absolutely impeccable right there. And again, we're seeing Boomy get this lead. It's a little bit of a lead, but he's just holding onto it so consistently. White compared to Dobrain's orange. Now yellow compared to Dobrain's orange. Yeah, Dobrain was looking alive a little bit with those gauntlets, but immediately Boomy just hits him with that dare. Boomy's being doing such a good job with his wake up attacks. Out of hit stun, catching Dobrain every single time. Ground pound connects. Oh! Works out for Dobrain. Stock advantage. He's got to widen this gap as much as possible. He needs to do damage and not get taken down. As I say it, the down light into the gravity cancel, neutral heavy. Stock's completely evened up. I think that he might have wanted Scythe there, or at least I would prefer that he has Scythe there. Um, I think a little bit more range. His kill potential was higher later on with those gauntlets, but yeah, I think the range is going to help. His DPS with Scythe has definitely been stronger than gauntlets, and if he wins this one, honestly, I would really prefer a character switch either back to the Mirage or over to the Nyx, because I'm not necessarily seeing it really with the signature kit or uh, the gauntlets, which are, which are the only thing really inherent to more decks that makes him different than Mirage or Nyx. That's completely fair, but uh, judging by the way that Boomy's been able to keep control and he's been able to keep these blasters, it might be a little bit difficult for Dobrain to get that, and it's not going to work out. Boomy gets the neutral signature, and again, off the sidelight, Boomy's been doing such a good job with the gravity cancel downlight. Yeah, that GC downlight into the fast fall where he can then throw out that neutral signature like that. Nobody's ever done that. I like. I, I don't. I don't see that with people who played Diana. Like that goes back. Uh, back in the day when people on Vrax used to do the dare into the fast fall neutral signature to punish the spot dodge or the dodge up or the jump. Like Memoria taught me that one, or maybe Boomy taught me that one. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> Either way, we got a replay of USA, aka Boomy versus Dobrain. This is going to be game two. Dobrain with that big scythe string was doing such a good job of shoving Boomy around and there you see it. That gravity cancel, that spot dodge into an immediate down sig from Boomy takes the stock off. The second that that was on the replay, Boomy looked over here and smiled. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I, I don't I don't understand his mentality. Like he seems he seems so loose at times. Other it's times he seems so focused. Though. Like he just f seems very confident in everything. Well, he's definitely confident yeah. in himself. You know. I mean, he already wants two. He already he already yeah. wants two. So he's got to be feeling. He's good. got the cash money, and he's gonna uh, be looking Ladies for a, a similar repeat. As Foda sets it up, is the lower finals. This is top. Three now of the Brahalla World Championship. Up next, we've got Boomy. Hi. And I'd like to introduce to the stage, all the way from Finland, we've got Addy Mastene. I'm telling you, Foda's voice, it's going to hang on exactly as long as it needs to, and then it's going to be dead it's for gone. a month. It's going to be gone. Like, it's, I'm telling you, the last thing that he needs to yell after that, that, that the very next thing he says is going to be completely hoarse. <laughs> but we are seeing basically half of a repeat of the 2v2 Grand Finals. Boomy and Addy Mastic, shake those wrists. Make sure you get your uh, arms limber as you are going to be getting in. Boomy, if he wins this, is going to be, again, going for the attempted four-set run. You can see he took down Dobrain, going to be going up against Adi Mestic, and if he wins against Adi Mestic, he's got to go for LDZ and go for that reset. Now, keep in mind, I do want to give a congratulations to my very good friend Dobrain for the fourth place finish today like that's huge the fact that he was able to do that in singles after uh, some rough placements in the past he didn't get to go to bcx last year so he just didn't come in with that gigantic wealth of experience that a lot of other uh, of these other players have been able to come in with so this was his first bcx and he placed top four in singles that is so huge 
really good stuff. Uh, another EU player would be Animestic, and he was kind of, uh, you're in my favorite as far as the EU players, to get the furthest in 1v1. Did incredibly well in 2v2, making second place alongside his teammate Cake, but also want to give a shout out to Animestic. Far from done just yet, he's got to get through Boomy, but he has made it the farthest of all, right, guys, the, EU players, all right, the EU players, and he's the one with the EU dream on his back. Give me everything and that's been, got. like, that's been consistent of him. Him and his 2v2 partner Cake, the like, he, he's the one who has to carry it on his back. He bears the burden of representing now. EU here all the way. He's representing himself, he's representing Three, Finland, two, but he's representing one, all bro. of the European Union and the UK. Adi Mestic knows that pressure cooker is on him. He knows that all of EU's dreams are on top of Adi, on top of him. And he's going to be starting off with this Val pick. Not yet swapping over to the Caspian. Depends on how this set against Boomy goes. Recovery from Boomy, keeping that damage going on top of Addy. It looks like we're going to see some uh, some cheeky offstage edge guard plays, some long edge guard engagements. Like we've seen that from Boomy in the past. He seems comfortable there. Um, he doesn't seem scared or cautious at all. Like he's willing to go into that, even against like at weapons that have really strong edge guard opportunities compared to what he has, like guns. He's able to go in against guns, uh, against a sword or gauntlets or katars. He picks up that neutral signature. That's going to be a very slick, clean early kill at about 45 seconds into the game. He's been hating those bow neutral signatures. He just recognizes when his opponent is going to be going for that high recovery, and it works so well for taking stocks off very quickly, very similar to that Hattori sword neutral signature. I mean, that's his anti-air on the bow and the anti-air on the guns. It's the exact same thing on both. But really good pickup from Adi Mestic to get that Gauntlet Ground Pound. He has been hating Gauntlet Ground Pounds for days as well, getting a whole lot of gimps, finishing off so many stocks with those Ground Pounds. That threat is just very real. There's the D-Light into the, the dare, into the weight. He underestimates uh, how far away that Boomy was going to be from that. That could have been a huge edge guard situation for him there. Could have been a big turnaround moment. He's not taking too much damage. Gets a nice ground pound. Boomy's going to completely disengage, go to the other side. Addy's going to be careful as well. He's going to put a lot of respect on Boomy in the neutral game and on the edge. Yeah, Addy Mestic not challenging Boomy underneath the map. Knows the risk is there. Going to be going over <laughs> to the opposite side. That is twice look, now look that Boomy's just chase. shoved him to the other side. I swear, dude, Boomy is on Addy like Addy owes him money. <laughs> Side air from Boomy will give him the stock, and Addy is now down to his final stock. He does have the gauntlets in hand. Can he get the gimp on top of Boomy? Nice grounded side air into the neutral light. Gonna come down on top, oh. gets the weapon toss into the One ground more. pound. Staying deep in the push off column. Addy is gonna maybe turn get the turn around. around into the weapon toss. That is it. Oh, oh. God. he got it just at the right time. I didn't think he was gonna have enough upward movement with that up dodge, but gravity cancel side signature from Addy Mestic, placing it exactly where he needed to. Boomy looked so dead. And Addy Mestic had walked away, thought that he had secured the kill. Boomy barely managed to get back up, and Addy was like, all right, I got to finish this off. Nice little gravity cancel side signature to get the hit. And Boomy putting himself in a dangerous spot in air. And Boomy's dead. Wow. Boomy was trying to stretch the edge guard situations the entire game. He was able to come out on top for some of them, but Addy in the end was able to pull it out, even though Boomy was behind him in damage. Got to pay respect to Addy Mestic on the edge. Gauntlets are such a powerful tool. Those ground pounds, the ability to move those ground pounds can be so devastating, as well as the fact that you've got that Nair, that very quick Nair, not quite a hammer recovery Nair, but it still has that turnaround capability. And again, stressing the edge play here. Addy does have the sword this time compared to uh, the gauntlets, so maybe Boomy feels a little bit more confident here. Nice ground pound. Very patient edge that guards. Close. That was very close to being a very early stock on the wave. Addy Mestic doesn't get the second air. There's the recovery. It's going to interrupt what Boomy was doing with the side air. But Addy's getting the better in the damage department, despite the fact that Boomy's really been stressing these offstage plays. Addy has been able to be consistent with his hits. And a <laughs> nice <laughs> weapon <laughs> toss. Pick up Sarah. Addy Mestic takes the first stock off and waits. And he's like, do I, do I want to go into gauntlets? Do I want to <laughs> do this to this kid? Nair already off stage, but Boomy is trying to get that Nair of his own. That Blaster's Nair, such a good anti-air. 
Yeah, I love how careful Addy is. Like, he did get the Nair. A lot of old Gauntlet players would just go for the Tunnel Vision, go the Nair into the ground pound every time. That's what they always go for. Ooh. But he knows that Boomy's there with that Nair. It's so quick. It's a really defensive move when, when you're on the edge. That keeps you safe. Is he going to pick it up? Oh, Ooh. just barely gets iframes in time coming out from Addy Mastic. Really good dodge from Addy Mastic, but Boomy's been doing such a good job specifically with the gravity cancel downlight. You saw just a second ago, he missed an attack and immediately did a jump gravity cancel downlight to avoid the response downlight from Addy Mastic. Oh my gosh! If you're gonna be a good gun player, you have to get the GCD light. That just has to be muscle memory for you. Boomy is just so clean with that blasters tech. But Addy Mestic again getting a little bit better of the damage. And I spoke too he soon. He picks that one up. Downlight side air into the recovery from Pumi and Addy Mestic already down to his last stock. He's going to be going in with the gauntlets. Goes for that gravity cancel sidelight attempt, but recognized that Pumi was going to be outside of it. So instead, he just goes back down to ground. Recovery not going to be finishing off that stock. Recovery still not enough. Recovery. And he evens it up. We're picking up a weapon immediately neutral lighting. It's going to miss Addy Mestic, but he did it as a defense mechanism. He does have the bow in his hand. Fantastic reads and reactions. Coming out from Boomy, there's the D-Sig. He has him on the edge. The weapon toss is going to be dodged through. The only weapon on the field goes to Boomy. The second one spawns. It's going to be to Addy Mestic. It's going to be these gauntlets. We could see some edge play very quickly here. Some, a side signature right off that left side soft platform. Addy is going to need edge play at this point, given how much damage has already been put on him. Immediately goes into the downlight. Sider does pick up the recovery underneath, but those are not going to quite lead to a kill. Boomy's got to be careful about that. The last time we saw him at the top of the map, LDZ was able to turn around, get a recovery for a kill, but Addy wasn't quite looking for it. The clash comes out. He does get the wall touch. The uh -oh, weapon uh -oh, toss uh -oh, hits. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Ground pound attempt. Oh! Addy! Oh! The turn around! Oh! Boomy! That is the second time that he has thrown away a lead on the edge guard. Addy is feeling very good about himself. The fact that Addy doesn't get scared in those moments, the fact that he doesn't crack under the pressure there, the way that he's able to recognize the opportunity that he needs, those turnarounds from him are so fantastic. He's able to do it with weapons, without weapons. When somebody has the weapon advantage, Addy Mestic showing why he made it this far in the tournament, why he's one of the highest placing EU players. Never give up, never surrender. Addy Mesta keeping that mentality can be deep red off the map and he is still looking for a way to turn it around and get the stock off of Boomy. That is why he's currently sitting 2-0, about to go 3-0 onto Boomy and go back for the run back against LDZ. Let me get to the bottom of the weapon toss. Addy's gonna, I guess, opt to take it. Weapon on the field. Side oh save. my gosh, early, early kill, enough. early yeah. kill coming out from Addy Mestic. He is placing those ground pounds so well right when he needs it. He's not committing too hard with them or anything like that. He's just, it's simple and it's clean. He's doing very patient ground pounds. It's not those, I'm, I've got a hit, I got a weapon toss, I'm gonna immediately go into the ground pound. Not those deep ground pounds. Instead, he just waits for you to burn a lot of your moves and then goes in with the ground pound. Nice pick up again, the downlight side air into the recovery. That is the power of Twilight. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this stage immediately banned next. Uh, Boomy has utilized that more than a few times. He's done it consistently. Yeah, he's really cleaned up his ability to hit those. We saw him drop a couple of those earlier, but he has since recognized the timing and has been hitting it. Uh, very consistently onto Addy Mastic. And he has the option to do it on a grounded target if he gets the D light into the side air, or he can do it on an aerial target if he gets the GC D light, or he can just hit the raw side air into it. So he has multiple setup options for it, so he doesn't have to telegraph it too much at any one point in time. Yeah, all he needs is that side air into the island, but we do see again wow. Addy Mastic with the weapon toss snipe takes down Boomy, and Addy Mastic is looking very good as Boomy is on his final stock. <laughs> oh, that was cheeky. Tried to get that pick up down sick, but Addy Mestic was on the other side. That's the second time we've seen Boomy wait out those iframes for a second and attack immediately when he picks up the weapon. Ooh, able to utilize the bow with the follow-up off the island. Not going to quite kill with that Nair, uh, but Boomy just really using that island to his advantage. Nice dash uh, jump throw over there. You don't see that a lot from a lot of players. Oh. I was, oh my gosh, the raw side heavy coming out from Boomy. But using that dash with the throw, like you hit that max speed very quickly mm -hmm. and that momentum then transfers to your weapon toss. 
could be a little bit detrimental sometimes, as sometimes you want that straight downward toss. And yeah. uh, sometimes when you do that dash in, you'll have a little bit more horizontal movement to that weapon toss. But it's still something that catches people off guard when you do that dash into the weapon toss. Nice side airs again from Addy. Goes for the weapon toss. Does not connect, so we can't go into that pickup side air that we saw earlier. Very patient from Boomy on this high platform. Addy's taken very little damage on this stock so far. Boomy about halfway through his. We're starting to see those stairs come out. There's the GC down light. He doesn't have quite uh, enough damage on him to get the, the ricochet recovery off of the stair, but he did hit the down light into the side air. He's putting the unarmed damage onto Addy Mestic. Nice stair coming out from Addy Mestic, putting Boomy about into kill percent at this point. Boomy has to be careful. Addy Mestic uh, over to the gauntlets. His main kill options are going to be that side sig or that recovery. Might take a little bit more damage before we can start thinking about the side sig. Instead, going to be looking for the unarmed recovery. Nope. Trying to fake the weapon pickup. There's the sword pickup. Nair. It doesn't seem like Boomy wants to spend too much time on the wall. He wants to stress the neutral game. He's putting respect oh. on Addy Mestic's edge game. If that would have hit and he, he would have gotten the full force at the end, if it didn't clash, that probably would have killed Boomy. The neutral light killing Three. Boomy. 3-0 oh. oh from Addy Mestic. Retribution yes, for the 2v2s. Boomy was able to close out in the 2v2s, but Addy Mestic gets the retribution and is going to be going into grand finals to fight LDZ. But LDZ 3 0 to Addy in winner's finals. But... Like, you can't help but be reminded of last year when it was LDZ versus an EU player. Last year it was Maltimum, this year it's Addy Mestic. Are we going to see history repeat itself? That is the question of the day. Is NA going to win out again over EU, or will EU be able to triumph? And will Addy Mestic be the one to carry EU to victory over LDZ? BCX champion of 2016. So while we wait on uh, LEZ to get up here, I'm going to... Oh, we, we, have, got a, a we have a replay queued up. So yeah, you go ahead and talk about that while I pull this information up. So this is, uh, I believe, the first turnaround gimp. Yeah, Boomy off stage. Animestic just hits that, uh, that gauntlet ground pound and that weapon toss. And that is going to be a turnaround. No, Boomy got back up. Uh, so that was him surviving that gimp attempt. And this time we do see Addy Mestic. Oh, this is the Sare into the weapon toss. Pick up Sare. Yep, to Ladies finish off the first stock of Boomy. It's Grand Final! And if you're is, wondering... Is that his voice or the mic that cut out? <laughs> the mic is going to cut out before that <laughs> voice cuts out. That voice is not going to give up when it's Grand Finals. Please welcome up you to the stage <laughs> last That's year's world right champion <laughs> here to defend his title up in winner's bracket it's l d z the three letters that strike fear into the heart of every man woman and child around the planet oh, oh, oh my god oh, oh. Is this is entrance music because this is hype I, oh, oh my god like, i want this music I want to wake up like this in the morning, dude. This would make me so pumped to enter any room ever. Oh my god, this is some hype stuff. Who thinks the song sounds LTC familiar, but I, I mean, it's it not is. in Brawlhalla. <laughs> it's, it's not Brawlhalla song. And what about Addy Mastic? Call it now. Caspian? Nah, Val. He's going to start Val. Let's start with the Val. All right, so while we're waiting on this to start going, um, I think Foda's done with with uh, introing these lords that are going to be playing in front of us. All right, I'm looking at playoffs right now. LDZ's path. He took out Pugsy, 2-0. He took out Dr. Faison, 2-0. He took out Effie, 2-0. Moving on into the top eight portion of that. Oh, I already have that pulled up here. Uh, LDZ, 3-0 at Boomy and 3-0 at Addy Mestic. He hasn't lost a game! That is a commendable record on the other side. Addy Mestic has had a troubling road. He's had to work his way through. He does 3-0 Dobrain and he did 3-0 Boomy, but he just got 0-3'd by LDZ not too long ago. That's true, but the only reason he made it into the loser's bracket was in the last possible moment in winner's finals. It wasn't until then that he had to go down in the dark, murky depths of the loser's bracket. I'm hoping he's coming back refreshed, ready to go after that 3-0, feeling good about himself. He has EU on his back. 
back right now. We see an energy drink next to him. It's that and the water. I've seen him take sips of both. He is going to be jazzed up, ready to go. He's going to have new life breathed into him. But, dude, LDZ hasn't lost not only just a set, but a game. game, dude. He hasn't lost a game. He literally has not lost a singles game at BCX whatsoever. It's not quite the repeat of last year where LDZ got first place in every single tournament leading up to it. But it might as well be. LDZ is looking so incredibly strong. Having not lost a game, that, I mean, basically no one can say that they have gone this far and not lost a game at BCX. Now, he is blessed a little bit by the fact that he did win the U.S. West right. Regional Qualifier. So there is that portion of it. Didn't but have still, to go through I, I told y'all all the names of the people that he beat. Not losing to them, that's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. That shows why those three letters are screamed by so many people with regards to this game. LDZ, previous champion. He is three games away from becoming the champion once again. Going to be the two-time champion of BCX. Can Addy Mestic put a stop to that? Can he even All put right, a guys, chip we go. in the it's armor grand of finals. LDZ? You know how it it's it's going to be tough. One, it's going to be tough. I believe in Addy Mestic. Got. But it's going to be tough. We are seeing the Lucian pick. We are seeing the Val pick coming. Nothing surprising here. And it's interesting because LDC Addy is Mestic playing standard uh, base stance Lucian. A lot of Lucian players will put, into, put into, that uh, into the strength stance. Three, because two, dude, three, three strength is hard to kill with. But LDZ manages to do it. He makes that three strength Lucian work so incredibly well. He does have the Katars, uh, likely will be wanting to swap on over to those blasters as he has had so much success with those blasters this weekend, but still able to avoid the damage from Addy Mestic, not taking too much from the gauntlets from Addy. There's the blasters pickup. Relatively slow start to the match. LDZ's took in a little bit more damage than Addy so far, but he was late to get a weapon first. Nice neutral light coming out of those guns. The pivot neutral air doesn't actually hit. Very patient on his return back to the wall. Goes for the ground pound. Addy very far and away out from that wall. Not going to be caught by that ground pound, but the spot dodge into the turnaround down light stare from LDZ. Addy still maintaining that damage lead just a little bit. Nice side light coming out from him, forcing LDZ onto the oh. edge. Nice side air. Not committing too Not much. Enough. No yes, dodge it is. off of cooldown for LDZ. Addy Mestic is going to take an early lead. Really good positioning from Addy Mestic to avoid that nair. Had LDZ gotten that nair, immediate chase dodge up, and he would have gotten that wall touch. Seen him really take on the stuff. side again. Gimp. The ground pound. LDZ is able to use that very safe unarmed recovery to get back. Doesn't have a lot of range, but comes oh. out very quickly and is hard to punish. But again, he has LDZ off stage. Ground pound coming out. Goes for his second one, but LDZ is around it. He's got to be so toss. careful because of those weapon tosses. Goes for the dare just barely. Addy gets missed by it as he dips off the wall. The side signature is going to kill even with that low force, but Addy's maintaining this orange area lead. He's fresh on his stock and has LDZ in the orange. He just needs to keep this lead going. There's the weapon spawn. LDZ trying to deny him from the pickup, but instead Addy gets around, picks up that sword, but LDZ's underneath with a down light into the the recoveries and the nair at the end of it. Side air from LDZ. Addy Mestic again with these turnaround sword stairs into the weapon toss. Can't quite get the ground pound. The nair from LDZ helping him out. Oh! Yes! Unarmed yes. downlight into a yes. pickup gauntlet. Yes! Gra recovery. Yes! Addy Mestic! Mestic! Addy Yestic! Daddy Mestic, Addy Mestic doing absolute work trying to maintain this orange health lead over LTZ. It's continuing his strings. The side air is coming out from LDZ. The ground pound, the AOE of that peaks right over the edge, ends up spiking Addy Mestic below. That, the, the lead is shrinking just a little bit. You see LDZ in yellow now where he was orange before. And Addy trying to get around. Again, those gravity cancel down lights. Big damage, the big damage. at the top. LDZ not able to get that gravity cancel neutral sig attempt. Instead was going for a chase dodge nair. Damage has been evened up, though, between the two. Good avoidance from Addy Mestic. Ground pound connects. LDZ's disarm. Oh. Dare. Dare. He touched. He got he his jumps touch. back. Addy able to deny the weapon pickup. He's got the sword in hand, but LDZ is very confident in his play. Not worried about being unarmed. There's the downlight into the side air. 
LDZ floating quite a bit. He's looking to pick up Addy. There's the dare. We're not going to see him chase too hard. He's worried they're both in kill percent at this point. In fact, both players might struggle to kill at this point because of the low force that both of them have. Addy Mestic slightly more force on his moves, but LDZ not overly concerned. He's got a big signature kit that side oh! oh! LDZ, I guess, was Give looking for a read there. You Addy see him Mestic! shaking his head. He knew that side signature was a mistake. That was a very hard read going out to Addy Mestic. Great punish, though, coming from Addy, utilizing that side signature for the distance that it covers, throwing it out very quickly. Great reaction time from Addy. And... That was the first game LDZ has lost, lost in once weekend. this entire weekend. And it's to Addy Mestic, and it's game one of Grand Finals. That's a great start for Addy Mestic, but he needs to maintain that momentum. We saw LDZ really starting to mitigate that momentum in game one. Addy Mestic, he's got to figure something out so that he can maintain it going into game two and game three. He wants to play for that reset. Oh, the recoveries from LDZ. Down light into a pivot mm. nair. The Nair's actually coming out from Addy Messick this time. More Nair's. The cheesy D-Light into the side air placed so well. Oh, he goes for the side sig, trying to push it into the wall so he can go back up. But LDZ's already ready for it and punishes with the side air. So much damage is already on Addy Messick. With the weapon toss. He's disarmed for a second, but he has the Katars. That means we could see some signatures coming There's out. the neutral. Addy Mestic able to pick up a sword. He's doing a decent job adding damage back up onto LDZ and not getting taken down. LDZ getting a little bit desperate with those signatures. There's mm. the, the down signature. He's already thrown out two neutral signatures. Likely won't be throwing out a side signature considering Addy punished so hard in game one with it. But there he does it. As I say, he's not going to do it. Recovery's coming I, I heard out, the shakiness yeah. in your voice as it happened because you were so nervous about it. <laughs> LDZ does manage to get the first stock off of Addy, though. Sidelight here. The auditorium has fallen into a complete Damn, silence so right now. There's Everybody's the nervous air. on either side. Some claps for Addy Mestic as he manages to even up the stocks. Decent damage coming out, but LDZ again so confident in his unarmed play. Weapon denial from Addy ends up picking up the nair, oh, but he doesn't pick up the weapon. Okay, he ends up getting the weapon. I really wish he would have gone immediately yeah, for I that he was weapon. Try there, to there steal was, it out. Yeah, there was another spawn on the field, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world by any means. And of course, I'm I'm not really gonna tell Addy Mestic how to play. <laughs> like he's definitely proven himself he's so doing far. So <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give him a break and not bust his balls today. Good movement from Addy Mestic, punishing that signature with that side stick. LDZ going very high in the sky, but not enough damage for those recoveries to be a finisher just yet. Going to deny the weapon again. Over to the sword. Has LDZ off the stage. Going to be looking for that recovery. Almost like he was going to try to save LDZ in a twos a game. Ooh, back to back oh, side airs into the in. neutral light, into the nair. The weapon toss saving him from getting picked oh, up by the recovery. Damage. The damage has virtually been evened up. LDZ still might struggle to kill just a little bit if he doesn't pick up a recovery or a signature, but he does pick up the recovery. It's not going to quite kill. It's too low on the right okay. side. Addy finds the unarmed recovery, still maintaining the slight lead that he has. But he's got to widen this gap. He's got the gauntlets in hand. Going to be starting off with a nair into a dare. Can't quite keep that continued. But he's still keeping the weapons out of LDZ's hands. The downlight recovery, not enough. That's that three strength that Lucian has. He is tough to kill Ooh. with. That's one of the reasons that his Katara signatures are probably so darn good, is because he struggles to kill outside of signatures. Weapon denial from LDZ. Addy Mestic waiting for the spawn, just trying to kick LDZ away. There's the sword pickup. Trying to get underneath. Nice downlight there. More stairs coming out from Addy Mestic. Ground pounds onto the platform. Not sure if it was trying to take a page out of Boomy's book with that bait. Downlight stair again. We're going to see a dash jump ground pound. No, LDZ's got that soft platform, so he does end up getting back up. Neutral light will disarm. Still no ground pounds from Addy Mestic. Uh -oh, LDZ! Uh oh, 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 LDZ making a critical mistake. A critical mistake hurt him in game oh, one. Oh, headsets off. A critical mistake hurt him in game two. Could this be the cracking under the pressure of LDZ? He nods. He waves. He's boom. He's going to be coming up. Going to talk to his former teammate. Going to be talking to his friend. Yo, what'd you do against, what'd you, what do I do against Danny Mystic? I mean, 
Boomy doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Boomy almost had Addy, though. Boomy had a lot of glimpses of it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Boomy got three Boomy's out like, against... Yo, don't, just don't do what I did. <laughs> remember remember everything I did? Do the opposite. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> Serious heart-to-heart -heart talk going on right now. Boomy's like, yo, Addy's really good. I probably should follow him on Twitter, man. Mini coming up. <laughs> Addy, you keep doing you. Mini dipping. Good stuff. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you what to do. I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess you up. That's two games in a row, man. If Addy came in and 3-0'd LDZ for the bracket reset, that would be very scary. But we have seen things like this yes. specifically against LDZ in the past where he loses the first set and then comes back and completely destroys the second set once you flip that switch. That being said, I don't think this could be one of those cases because LDZ looks shook right now. He does look legitimately shook. Uh, one of the few times ever that LDZ has looked shaken in any degree. It used to be notorious that, that Starlight would face LDZ in the grand final. Starlight would win the, the bracket reset and then LDZ would completely demolish the second set. I don't think... It would also that, be a close first set though. Yeah. I, I don't think this is the same LDZ that we saw against Ooh, Starlight in all nice my tournaments around. back in the day. Taking a breather seems like to help a little bit, but look how much damage is on Addy right now. Next to nothing. It was a Sare and a weapon toss from the Qatars. Really not a lot of damage. We're seeing him swap on over to the Blasters for that damage build, but Addy Messick already has so much on top of LDZ. Trying to get underneath him, trying to finish off this stock early so we can start working on that second one. Neutral Light comes out from Addy. Weapon toss over to the Sword. See LDZ utilizing that high movement speed that Lucian has going back and forth. Very patient from Addy. It's going to be the recovery unarmed on top of LDZ, but he's got to maintain this orange health lead. That has been very characteristic of Addy Mystic is he has to win, or he has to get the first stock and then maintain that orange health lead. LDZ being very careful on how he wants to initiate. Looks like he's struggling to get in and do the damage that he needs to. You see him dashing and moving away before he decides to commit. Playing very defensively, very passively oh. right now. Tries to uh, reach out there with that down signature. Side quite sig? Hit. It's side sig. Not that enough. three force, man, is really keeping him far behind side right now. Sig? He's having to work against it every time. But again, Addy Mestic, orange health difference. 75 roughly damage difference between the two of them and already is swinging with that neutral light on the gauntlets. We now have two very uh, low range, very tech chase heavy weapons against one another. The oh! side signature just Cash flipping him out of the air. The absolute bottom of that hitbox. You see LDZ recovering very high. That's that spirit palm from Addy Mastic with that gauntlet side signature. Sends LDZ off, but LDZ still makes it back up on the stage. Addy Mastic with an interesting weapon toss. Not sure if he was going for the wall and hoping it'll bounce off as LDZ gets close to it, or if it was just a slight input. Uh, I, th I think error. he got the he got the like goofy animation yeah. on it too that can happen if you do it like right on the perfect frame. Neither you you could literally you could literally hear a pin drop in here. It is so incredibly it's so tense quiet. right now. It's so tense right now. LDZ is getting some decent damage onto Addy Mestic, but again, Addy Mestic hits the oh. weapon toss. Oh. Addy holding onto that lead. He's in orange when LDZ is fresh. One stock away from the reset from Addy Mestic. LDZ hadn't lost a game until this set, and he's already lost two and is about to lose the third one if Addy Mestic can get this kill. Nice weapon toss for the gap closer. Picks up the sword this time. Just trying to deny LDZ from any weapon. LDZ really, oh. oh my gosh. You saw him moving around, not attacking, moving around, not attacking. Then all of a sudden he ran in, decided to throw out that side signature. And he was not expecting it. He stood completely still, really thought LDZ was just continuing that dash dancing, but ended up getting caught and that's the power of the dash dance. It's still that 75 damage lead. That has been Addy's calling card against LDZ. Down light into Dare, hits the neutral light. Off stage play. Oh Grab my out. god! We got a reset! That's the bracket reset. Addy. Take a reset. sip. He knows he's far Yo, from Ford out of the about woods. He's to do a backflip. He, he is. is.
through the moon. Addy Mastic, everybody! You see how calm Addy Mastic is right now. He knows the worst is yet to come. Based on past history, things like this unwaken the monster that is inside LDZ. He does look more shook than normal. We see Boomy coming Boomy's on coming stage. Back. It's coaching time. He's coming to comfort his boy. Keep in mind, Brahala does allow mid-set coaching. Effie. And Effie. Helping out Addy. Coming to provide support. Maybe maybe he's it's not the providing e help. Versus he's just, NA. It's and We're seeing some fan. Oh, and, and photo. <laughs> photo. Just having fun with the camera. All right, All right man. man. All right, man. He's having a blast. This is, this is the time of his life right now. Let him do what he wants. But Boomy. And Effie both came up to give some just just some support, some hope. They both understand. Everybody understands that NA Dream and EU Dreams rest on both of these players. Marshall said this was EU's land. He says that every land, but <laughs> that's true. I think he believed it a little bit more this time, and it's looking like that could be the case here. Addy warming up those hands. LDZ changing the track. Both of them thinking incredibly hard. This is this is it. On the character select screen, Val is already locked in. All right, everybody. Lucian hovered. By a show of applause, hovered on Lucian right hype. now. Who it's locked in. We're seeing the stage banning coming through. This. There's Thunder Black Garden. We're going to Mammoth. This is the bracket reset. This and entire year LDZ. comes all down to this set. The entire set here. circuit here comes down go. to this. LDZ, he's played in maybe a handful of tournaments and done incredibly well. On the other side, Animestic has been to basically everything that he could and done incredibly well. These are two very big contenders in their own regions. LDZ, the last remaining regional qualifier, the US West regional qualifier. Addy Mastic just holding it down for all of EU. Let's just say that uh, Reason made a mistake <laughs> dropping their Prahala team because they had some big boys with some big plays in this tournament. Addy Mastic not quite in the lead that he wants, not quite that 75 damage, but he's already getting the sidelight onto LDZ, looking for that unarmed heavy, but LDZ is far and away from it. LDZ looking a little bit better in game one of the reset. Yeah, it's definitely more even. We aren't seeing Neutral that 75 sick. to 80 damage lead. He's hitting those signatures again that he was hitting earlier. We saw him take a breather. Ooh, clash out on both sides. Both of them incredibly even. They know how much this first stock will set the pace, and LDZ gets it with the down signature. Addy being very careful, putting a lot of space between him and LDZ, being very careful. Even when he was next to the weapon toss, he, you saw how close LDZ was. He was putting a lot of respect on that, on the high movement speed and the dash utilization Cover. that LDZ has. We see the immediate turnaround. And Addy Messick going to be going back to his original game plan, just try to deny weapons. LDZ still able to pick that one up, but he did take a nair and a dare for his troubles. Not quite the lead that Addy wants, though. Nair, Nair, recovery. Oh! Gravity cancel side sig. Addy Mestic waking up. Somebody just, sh <laughs> somebody just shushed in the audience for real. <laughs> like, I'm not even mad. <laughs> I don't blame like, them. Like, I, I wouldn't be talking. So I wouldn't it's, be. It's like a golf game. You don't yeah. want to shake them. I would not be talking right now unless I, that's literally my job here. <laughs> like, if I could get away with that, I, would, I just wouldn't. Oh my goodness, both of them so close to death. Recovery's not gonna do it. Neither of them wants to make to make the mistake. Side stick thrown out. I don't expect a stick from LDZ. 100 percent I don't think he's gonna do it. I, I don't know. We we might see one. Like he placed that neutral stick so well. Maybe he start might start relying on specifically that one. Addy's playing kind of floaty right now. We're seeing him touch the ground and then oh. jump up twice. Going on stage oh. ground pound. There's the side air. LDZ maintaining this lead. It's a little bit smaller than 75 to 80 damage, but he's still maintaining it. And just oh. like you said, <laughs> he was trying to get away, man. Went all the way to the right side. Addy was just like walking up. Gets that unarmed recovery, evens it up immediately. It's the quick turnaround. If it comes down to even one damage in the end, it's exactly like you said. It's based on who gets that first stock. It's, that's what sets the pace. The 
LDZ, he's been doing a lot better of a job with these Katars, really getting the strings, really getting those consistent hits on top of Adam Estic. Seeing the guitar string oh. coming out. Oh my gosh, carrying from right to left. Good dodge from Addy Mastic. Had he gotten hit by that recovery, I don't know if he would have survived. Dude, Addy's in kill percent at this point. Maybe not quite for a Lucian. Definitely not for a Sayer in the middle of the stage. Oh, trying to get in with that dash jump Nair. Looking for that Nair as a startup for the dare follow up. Oh, barely avoids the down sig. Nair underneath. Addy needs more damage. The side sig just right over his head. the recovery not, not quite enough. enough force on that that's that three four solution man that is really just a mountain that he has to climb at this point he's been climbing it so far he's been finding those kills when he needs to are we going to see the neutral oh. signature yes we are that is going to be the kill hands LDZ. in the air ldc breathing a huge sigh of relief interrupting the momentum of the push forward from Addy mastic he found what he needed his guitar is doing incredibly well and we are going right on into game two. It is LDZ versus Addy Mestic. Can Addy Mestic come back into it, take game two? And we are on Twilight Grove. You saw what Boomy was able to do with Blasters, utilizing that island here. Are we going to see the same focus from LDZ, or are we just going to see a standard Blasters play that doesn't rely on the island? I almost think LDZ is going to be playing a lot more Katars. That's what really worked in game one is the Katar play. And you can see he's already sticking with these Katars. No weapons have spawned just yet, but he's not even thinking about swapping them over. Addy, down air. Not enough. LDZ does come back up, but Addy's underneath. He's got a significant damage lead over LDZ. LDZ just trying to deny the weapon. Swaps on over to the Blasters. Oh, oh Addy, back to back the finishers. Misses. Addy's dude, he thinks so careful on how he chooses to follow up his strings. He doesn't want to get dodged and then punished. Oh, the high recovery, taking out Addy's stock when he was in the orange. Turnaround from LDZ. We saw the same thing on Boomy. Does the exact same thing. Goes to the top, baits out the recovery and turnaround recovery from himself. Are we gonna see the camp over here? Addy going low. LDZ again being very careful. He knows that he's red at this point. He could have taken a couple dares there, and that would have ended his stock. He needs to hold the lead. D-Light into the side air, sending LDZ off screen. Weapon toss, Addy not wanting to overcommit. He hits the side air, LDZ still has oh, plenty. That's going to be the stock. That should do it. Yep. Not able to make it back. Addy Mestic, though, did take a little bit of, of damage. There's the weapon spawn. He's going to do his best to deny. No, instead tries to bait it. Couldn't quite keep LDZ from the pickup. Again, gravity cancel down lights working for LDZ. Down yep. light, Sarah there into the recovery. Not going to take down Addy Mestic, but a huge damage difference between the two. And the weight. Oh, Addy, the I love that. Off. Addy, I love that. I love off. your Addy! So not much. Enough. He gets the second one. Not Where's enough. The LDZ the turns it around. He turned it around. Addy hit so many grab bounds. He was so close, but LDZ got the wall touch, and then he turns around, hits the stair, and Addy Mestic was so close to getting that gimp. Honestly, I never thought hundreds of people in a room with concrete walls and floors could be this quiet. <laughs> I didn't mean get loud. I just meant that it's tense. <laughs> y'all chill. I'm not throwing shade at you. It's the respect that y'all have for these competitors. Oh, LDZ still makes uh -oh, it back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. You see Addy waiting. Addy going left and right, choosing, okay, where do I commit? I'm going to wait until the last minute to commit so I can dial this in and hit it correctly. I don't want to overcommit at this point. Uh oh, oh, Addy. No, 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 no. Oh. LDC, though. You saw Carol. He, he didn't immediately yeah. rush over. Putting so much respect on Addy Mestic. He knows after losing that first set. About half the audience lost 10 seconds of their lives when Addy bonked his head like that. I think I lost 14 years. Oh, my goodness. And I'm already old. <sighs> Addy being very patient. LDZ trying to get that recovery. Knows how close Addy is to death. 
Patty doing a really good job playing around that recovery. But he's got to be careful. He's got his back to that island. <laughs> Neutral sick connects. LDZ one game away. He you is him. feeling he's it. Same thank you to Boomy. Effie on the way up, coming in with the run in. And it's usually, Effie's usually the one. Like, he's usually yeah. the EU representative that comes up. He's the, the EU coaching. coach. I mean, I wish we had that kinship in North America. <laughs> It's, uh, we don't care about each other. Here, here was just, it's because we're all selfish. We're, we're all capitalists. <laughs> we all want to win. If like, somebody else gets that money, that means. I can't give you that my means, tech. I that means you don't that. get that money. What if that, what was that, what if that was like the requirement for Boomy to come on stage? It's like, you got to give me 50% of your split. Like, <laughs> LB, I need LBZ that money. and Boomy signed a contract. <laughs> that mid-set coaching, man, you got to pay for that. I charge by the minute, yo. LDZ, one game away from going home. BCX's 2017 champion, gonna be the two-time Brawlhalla world champion, Addy Mestic. The two-time. trying to stop, Back man. to back. 2016, <laughs> 2017. To I not hey, you to, said man. it, you said the two-time. not you, to. you gave it to me, you said I the two-time, that's on you. I heard it. That's on you, Dr. man. Dr. LDZ, man. Addy Mestic immediately going for that game. Went for the near ground pound. Nice spot dodge into the neutral light. Trying to chase after LDZ. Nair into Dare. Another Dare attempt, but LDZ avoids it. Nair. And again, this is the situation that we've seen in the past with him. LDZ losing the first set and then coming oh. back huge in the second set. We could see a 3 -0. Oh, oh that soft platform. Shout out to the platform. That soft platform, dude. He is going to go to Twilight Grove with a chainsaw and cut that branch <laughs> down. Down air from Addy Mestic, LDZ over to the island. Not able to punish the ground pound, does stuff with the neutral light. And I don't mean it like, oh, he just did some stuff, but I mean like he <laughs> stuffed the attack. I mean, he did do some stuff he did with do the neutral light, you ain't lying. That's making sure uh, Twitch chat doesn't, uh, <laughs> so so doesn't like, oh, get on you for saying something did wrong, stuff. dude. <laughs> Down air, LDZ does get back to the wall. That's, that's it, that's the stock. Yeah. And the LDZ, the L stands for lead. Because he has the lead. And once he gets the lead, he wins the okay. set. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if that was like a word play or if yeah, that was it like was, facts. Nah, it, was, it was ambiguous. <laughs> oh, no. I know what the L stands for. I can't say it, though. Yeah, he ain't about to take this L, though, from the looks of it. Side air from Addy Mestic sends LDZ off. Oh, Not he able waited to touch. just a little bit too long trying to get out of the way to Addy Mestic. Addy Mestic. Nice recovery into a dare. Does pick up the nair, but he's not going for the immediate dare follow-up that he had done previously. Ground pound connects for LDZ. They are just trading damage back and forth. Addy has yet to get that consistent lead over LDZ that he had in uh, the grand finals before the reset. He hasn't found it with his sword. He hasn't really found it with his gauntlets yet either. Oof. I would have maybe thought that we would see the character switch here. I don't know if it would be a good idea or not. I honestly don't at this moment. I don't know um, what kind of read Addy Mestic would have on it against LDZ. Side air. Addy is in a dangerous spot. A true Another Lucian side player. Air. Is he going to kill with these side airs like a true Lucian player? Addy Mestic gets around him, hits a side air, goes for the unarmed side air. Gauntlet's into the, the sideline. Oh, the pick up from LDZ. LDZ again. If he's got gauntlets, don't even try to recovery on him because he's just going to get around and hit that unarmed, sorry, that blaster's recovery. Addy is on tournament stock right now against LDZ, the weapon toss. He doesn't find the dare there. That would have killed LDZ unafraid to go in unarmed against Addy Mestic right now. The monster has been awoken. Side air connects. Addy not able to hit the weapon toss. Gets the unarmed side air. But he has a large amount of damage to make up. There is about 80 to 90, maybe as much as 100 damage, separating LDZ from winning all of BCX 1v1. Nice interrupt. 
keeping the momentum, but Addy not overcommitting. The oh. side six connects again for His Addy Matzik. His cheesy side six have been so absurd. He's placed them so well. It's off that recovery. He does it with such fantastic reads. LDZ still with that damage lead. The downlight connects for Addy Matzik. Not able to follow up. No momentum really oh. going up. He's the side six. He's still alive. Addy's still alive. There's the Nair. He's still needing to put out this damage. Gets the neutral light, jabbing it up. Recovery. Both of them close to death. It's down. It's last stock red. Last stock oh! red. LBC does it. LBC he is the back to be back. the stage. Going to give LBC a hug. That's all the boys repping LDZ. They know how much it means for LDZ. The two-time Brawlhalla World Championship champion. LDZ has to be the most relieved man in the entire world. He just exhaled about 1,600 gallons worth of air out of his lungs. The sigh of relief as he takes first place at BCX 1v1. Addy Mestu, his heart has got to be broken though. So close twice in a row, so close to the finish line, but not quite able to cross. EU, the dream has died. They've been so close to finishing it too. Now that LDZ's won, I can say I wanted Addy to win. I, I, did like, I wanted Addy I really to win. Wanted I, I wanted the EU dream. They, they, they deserve it. But I understand they're disappointed, but there is no reason that they shouldn't be the most prideful region in the world. But the second most prideful region in the world right now. They came so far in 2v2. They came so far in 1v1. Dude, everybody just played so I wish everybody could win. And I'm not even, like, I legitimately Dude. wish everybody could go home with 30 so grand in their pocket. So many people played so incredibly well. This has been an absolutely amazing event. Uh, I, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm incredibly proud of yeah. all of these guys. Everybody like, did so well today. Been playing Let's at go the top ahead of the game. and uh, I'm turning my laptop on so I can read out the placements of the top uh, three here. Uh, obviously, first place is LDZ. Second place, Addy Mastic. You can read third place or just say it. Boomy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you were like, why you, you want to say it. No, I just, why you're just like, you didn't have to say it with a question mark. Ladies like and gentlemen, your 1v1 Brahala World Champion, LDZ! The same pose that we saw a year ago. Different jacket, different man, same pose, same placement. A whole hell of a lot more money this time, though. <laughs> the entire audience erupting with cheers of LDZ. All right, LDZ. He's, he's taking extra though. He's, he's doing the, uh, the true-ass smug face right now. Yo, LDZ for real has the, the cleanest kicks I've ever seen in my life. World those champion. have to be brand new. Look how white those kicks are. He's about to go buy some uh, <laughs> some easy boosts after this. <laughs> those are Sorry, some, some incredibly some easy after shoes, this, man. man. LDZ, as he goes to the side of the stage, you see Matt, well, we see Matt Woomer up there, co founder of Blue Mammoth Games. Are, are, are you, are, I can't, we can't hear stuff. Yeah, I don't, I can't, I can't Funky hear what talking to us? I, I don't know, man. If y'all got to type it on the screen for us, that'd be a... Uh, come back to us? All right, cool. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> I, All right, we, I believe you. Well, All anyway, right. uh, I think Florida I'd like to welcome is just going to be going stage. through the entire list of players. Our top eight for 2v2. Yeah, the top eight. Yeah. In seventh place, we have Starlight and Silly Goby. Wait, is this two's? Yeah, he's doing top eight of twos. Oh, I thought he was doing top eight of ones. No. I was like, what is this? He's, we're, we're getting, we're Silly Gobi's not eight, here, so. Silly Gobi did, unfortunately. Starlight will, take, we'll take yeah. his, uh, will take his medal for him, for his fallen comrade. I mean, he just went home. He's not, like, he's not dead. In seventh <laughs> place, Lil Capped and Dr. Faison. Shouts to them, by the way. Dude, I'm so proud of Gobi. That was sick. I love Gobi. That was really man. cool, man. They were incredible. I know I griefed Gobi a lot, but yeah, I'm dude. so proud of Gobi. He's not here to hear it, but I just got to rep the Texas boys. In fifth Good place, from, Captain, from uh, Norway, Faison as well. Thank they you. played so well this weekend. And from the UK, Effie. Daiku and Effie, of course, a team that I think 
everybody was sad to see have to take a seat. Uh, and then when we saw Daiki for Zeffi earlier, oh my god, I don't think there was a dry eye in the place. They, I mean, in fifth place, of all of the players from out UK here, and, and Sweden, really brought out the emotions in it. There were so Goosey. many people who had their hearts set yeah, on them. Absolutely, and they worked so incredibly hard. Unfortunately, they didn't, they couldn't quite finish it. But man, they they have been absolutely amazing. Also, shouts to Minnie and Goosey, both of their yeah. their first lands. That's cool. And in fourth place, Shout from to Sweden to and Canada, Iram and Pugsy. Good stuff, Pug, man. Yeah. Give it I mean, up. Good stuff to both of them, like forming a team at the yeah. last minute, basically, that didn't really have a chance to play together on land in the past from across the region and coming in so big. Ladies Pugsy, and gentlemen, course, carried over into seventh one through well. fourth place in Brawlhalla 2v2. These are your guys. Oh, I thought he was going to say, this guy got seventh through fourth place. It's oh. like, wow. <laughs> All right, I guess. That's not how that works. <laughs> picture time, picture time. Effie, got to put up the hair. Got to make sure he's got it looking clean and fresh. Say cheese. We don't have a Brahala equivalent this of that? Way, this way, this the way, this way. There's no way down there. <laughs> no. Because there's... Um, are, you, are you trying to figure out how your mouth works? No, because like when you say cheese, that yeah. actually yeah, makes, it you, makes smile, you smile. So I'm trying to Congratulations, think, guys. Um, please. Again, that's not a Brawlhalla term. That's just, that's just something you <laughs> should say to be, to be nice. Well, this is manners, um, man. Say... All right. Say thatch. Say Brahala thatch. world champion. Maybe. Just say thatch with a smile. Top <laughs> three in third place, Noel and Blood Diamond. Man, good stuff from them. Blood, I was talking to TWK. Blood Diamond has been playing so well. He's, he's grown so much as a player. Like, sure, we give a lot of credit to Noel for growing as a player, but Blood Diamond in is In second right. place, yeah, really from grown. Finland Diamond, and Sweden, uh, Adi Messick and K. He's, he's the most developed player out of here. Like, if you look at him from last year to now, like he has grown so incredibly much. And I wish there was just some, uh, what's the word? And I'm in first for? place, like your Brahala like, 2v2 uh, champions, Boomy and Remy. Well, no, he deserves like, you, can, you can have awards. For like, like it's for those like quirky it's kind of a things. Superlative. It's a superlative award, like in the, yeah. in the yearbook for like sure. uh, most willing to, uh, most likely to succeed. Yeah, stuff like, like yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. Most likely to work for BMG, et cetera, et cetera. Most likely, the most developed Blood Diamond would 100% win that award. And then right after that, we didn't say much about Cake and Addy. Ladies and gentlemen, and Addy your Brahala 2v2 world champion, didn't. top three. And that, uh, Addy and Rain didn't. Shouts out to Rain. I wish you would come back. I love you, my brother. Uh, sorry, I made fun of your shoes last PCX. <laughs> you um, still do. Well, I looked up. He tucked his pants in. Like, that's not on me. That's on him. Congratulations, Man, good stuff guys. To all these guys, though, like, cannot stress it's a lot of how money. proud I am. <laughs> all these guys. Yeah, you're, you're right, Photo. It is a lot of money, though. Daiku's in a tux for some reason. Like y'all, I, I don't know if y'all at home got to see that, but Daiku like changed into a tux. Uh, after he lost, he decided to go get into his evening wear. Well, he was like, because because we always we grew ready from looking emo, having that hood up and whatnot. Now so. he's right, just gonna like this. look emo. Now he looks like a waiter wearing a tux. An emo yeah, waiter. Now, now he's gonna be like off in the corner, and someone's gonna tell him to bring them champagne. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'd now him. like to welcome to the stage. Brahala 1v1 World Championship Top 8 in 7th place, Dr. Faison. I'm telling you, it's going to go on exactly as long as he needs it to. He's going he's gonna to go to bed tonight and just... Congratulations again. Dr. Faison. Also in 7th place with that from seventh Canada, Pugsy. Really good stuff from Dr. Faison. Pugsy. Famously, 257th place. No longer. See that player card. Like, <laughs> I, I'm going to take credit for pretty much all the other player cards because all of that yeah. was pretty much in my fifth stats. place. I didn't from make the a United Kingdom Pussy because I didn't Effie. expect him to get that far. Sorry, Pussy. Um, so that was all rated. Like, he was the one I believe making those player cards in the back. So he's the one who literally looked up 257th place because I'm not gonna also look in that fifth far. place. If you didn't from make the top USA, 32, I'm not putting it on the card. Blood <laughs> Diamond. <laughs> I'm not trying to bear you. Good stuff from these guys again, FB and Blood Diamond. Dude, it was sick. Uh, Blood Diamond made top eight in twos and ones. That's awesome. Good for him, man. And in fourth place, hailing all the way from Russia, 
Dobrian! Dobrian himself. Yeah, coming through, showing that he's conquered those tournament nerves. Uh, also growing as a player because of it. He's grown emotionally. Blood yeah. Diamond more of a uh, talent-wise player. Ladies and gentlemen, your Brawlhalla world champion, 1v1, 7th through 4th place, right here. Bringing up all the... Uh, People that we didn't just see. Congratulations, play guys! As well, this top eight on this worldwide stage, like that, that is it's an impressive. That's so cool. Really good stuff from them. And your Brahala World Championship top three, one v one. In boys. third place, Boomy. By Boomy himself. I was rooting again. for Boomy. I gotta I admit it. Yeah, I, I, I wanted Boomy. I like Boomy. I, I think Boomy. Boomy's my friend. I like Boomy now. In second like Boomy place, now? What? all the you way from like Finland. Now? No, I, I, I like Boomy. Eddie Mestic. I think he's. I think. I mean, just for storylines alone, yeah. Boomy winning would just like. Boomy has, uh, I think, more of a personality. He's, he's the most polarizing player. Mostly in and in first place. For the Actually, second year in right a now, row, more oh, yeah. your I mean, Brawlhalla world champion, I mean, to, to LDZ! You know he had to do it to him. He had to come through and win the whole big show. Really good stuff, LDZ. Gets a nice little pat on the back from Sloshilla. Ladies and gentlemen, your Brawlhalla World Champion, top three! <laughs> LDC sticking with that pose. Congratulations, guys. All you top eight guys, get up here. I group think they're going to be taking some more group Everybody, photos. everybody yeah. from top but, uh, eight, 1v1. I'm not quite sure if we're what? going straight into the closeout. Every, oh, I can't oh, oh, hear Funky doing, Pete because we're 100% doing. honest. All right, guys, scooch in. <laughs> crowd photo, crowd oh, photo. Crowd get in photo. here, guys. Everybody, everybody. we're not crowd, so we're going to be outside of it. All right, we are, we are back on camera. Everybody I'm get in here. Front, big, front big rush to the front photo. to make sure he was front and center for that crowd photo. See, this this is why people need to come to BCX. To, for the crowd photo? Well, no, um, for the for the participation that you get to do. You get to watch all the stuff. Yeah, that, It's a whole different Yeah, experience. like, you'll, of course, when you're sitting at home. Um, really bring it in, guys. Like, I, I sympathize if you can't make Come it out. In. Like, I do sympathize. Defensively was trying to wave us over, like, uh, sorry, bud, I got a job no, we, with you. We it's gotta, okay, I'm here, uh, I'll remember it. I don't I don't necessarily need the crowd I, I know photo. I was here. Yeah. Um, but, oh my goodness, if, if you can make it out, if you have the opportunity, highly recommend yeah. it. Come to BCX, come to these lands. It is such an experience. You get to meet all of the people that you've been hanging out with throughout the year. You get to have so much fun. You get to play sets with some of your best friends close in a LAN environment, and you get to watch from the home seats and be a part of that audience. It is such a good experience. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and go straight into the sign-off. Uh, now that's, I believe, what we're being told. I hope you can hear us right now. After all, uh, there is so much noise in the background coming from this group <laughs> photo. Um, Give a this, shout out to all the sponsors and everything as well. Yeah, we have, uh, of course, Twitch. That is the platform through which you are viewing us right now. Thank you all for tuning in via twitch.tv forward slash Brahala. Uh, thank you to Biffy, Biffy Techie for uh, doing the other stream. Thank you to Data Data FGC, FGC for doing the other stream. Of course, thank you to Funky P in the back. He's not a sponsor, but he's just a guy that yeah. deserves a lot of credit for uh, making sure this stream ran smoothly. Uh, thank you to Fats and TK for coming out. It's cool to see a community member like Fats coming yeah. out. It's cool to see someone from the Smash side gracing us with his presence, not looking down on us for being dirty Brawlhalla players. TK, 
I love you, brother. Thank you for coming out. Fast, thank you for coming out. All of the people that sat down, did commentary. Keglinek was a workhorse this weekend. Oh, yeah. He did, um, uh, like, six shifts in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Like, it that, was like, I, could, I couldn't have done that. I would have been I mean, complaining we, all weekend. Well, yeah. That's true. We did kind of do, do it last year. But, of course, we, we complained. I complained all weekend. <laughs> so, shouts out to everyone else who did commentary. I know Frone did it. I know part of the Creed did it. Um, there were a couple other names. I know that, Gobi stepped up at yeah, one Gobi point. Yeah, stepped up at uh, one defensive point. Defensive was on the mic as well. So, yeah, definitely they, a lot of people there, stepped up There were a couple others. I'm sorry that I don't remember your names. Tweet them at me if you did commentary this weekend so that I will remember them going forward. Uh, this was a whirlwind of a weekend. I can't believe that it's already pretty much over. I'm sad at this point. Let's move on to the rest of the sponsors. Scepter, everything um, that anybody here looked at that had gameplay on it was on a Scepter monitor. Except, I guess, the big screen. Uh, that's just a screen. But everything other than that was a Scepter monitor. Thank you so much for uh, providing the furnishings for that. ASIO keyboards and mice. You saw the ASIO mice on stage. Um, I'm sure you saw shots of the crowd that had ASIO keyboards in it out there. Thank you so much for furnishing that. Moving on to Gaming Generations. If you've ever been to a tournament in your life, Gaming Generations has probably had a very heavy hand in providing either the monitors, the consoles, the computers, some form of the infrastructure that existed at that tournament. Uh, and then going, moving on to Astro headsets. You can't play without hearing. You need those Astro headsets. Thank you to Astro for providing those for the competitors and everyone here. As well as Smash GG yeah. for he hooking us up with that bracket Dude, system. Dude, I would have been, been cooked if, it, if it wasn't for the Smash GG bracket system. Uh, the overlay would have killed me, huh? Oh, oh we're going to announce that? We're doing the... Yeah, right now. Oh, yo, do you want to, they, they, can, they can hear you, right? I don't, I still don't know. I don't know if they can hear me. Okay. I just want to show it. Oh, it's going to be on camera. Oh. Who is it? I, hold Ember. on, I can't see it. It's Ember. Ember. Creed is, uh, Creed, Creed is going to wet his panties, dude. The luxury is happy. Uh, it's too dark, it's there's too dark. No light. There's no light here, on that. Here, wait, hold on. I'll, I'll give you a light. You're going to take a picture of no, it? No, use the, the light on my phone. <laughs> Up, you up, can see up, it. up, a little bit, not quite in focus, but you can see it's Ember riding her dog. That's that bow side signature. <laughs> it's so blurry, man. <laughs> Wait, yeah, uh, that's that's a good angle right there. Yeah, Creed, I was wrong. Uh, I love Ember. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> it um, is a Metadev Ember. Everybody who's right, here everybody. is gonna get one of those bad boys. Every don't, nerd don't who's at rush home, it all at you once. don't get it. You'll have to come to something. If yeah, you, you gotta go to an yellow, event. You gotta meet yeah, a dev to win a meta from the dev. Swag bag. Which is like, oh, you have to go to an event to oh get a world. Oh, you, you have, have to go to a land or a pack. You get to have a uh, wonderful weekend with all uh, your friends to get the meta dev. Like that's messed up, dude. All right, so let's let's finish this sign off. Um, my name is Sparky878. I'm Duke X. Thank you so much for putting up with my voice this weekend. I just <laughs> apparently, I've never really lost my voice before. That doesn't usually happen to me. Um, so I appreciate everyone for putting up with uh, the sound of my voice this weekend. It's not physically painful for me, so it's not like I'm sacrificing anything. All of you Yo, are. They're playing the music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, right. Anyways, without further ado, thank you guys for watching. This has been Brawlhalla World Championship 2017. It's going to be coming back next year bigger and better than than ever. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> You're dumb. You are Might be done here. Yeah, he's not gonna be able to make that one bag. LDZ, that wow. first game, super dominant right there. He's looking to poke with this side light. Gets him with the gravity cancel, tries to go for recovery, unable to grab that. D light's coming out. But the recovery is still there. That's gonna be another game in favor of LD you got. That's that spear for you, man. That spear is such a wide hitbox when you just throw it uh, you know vertically, so. Ooh. Oh, okay, is uh -oh. that it's not gonna be enough. Looking for another one. Oh, oh my god! No. Looking for the scoop wall slip. Gotta hurry up, the wall slip's starting to come through. Oh, oh. no, this is Oh, that's gonna be yeah, I mean he was really he's really gonna start running out of jumps. We already saw the no. Looking for the scoop wall slip. Gotta hurry up, the wall slip's starting to come through. Oh, oh. no, this is Oh, that's gonna be yeah, I mean he was really he's really gonna start running out of jumps. We already saw the okay, step back. Goes for the chase yet again. Having a rough time. Ooh, Ooh. the read. And okay. he's out of here. That is how you do it. It's work to do. Got to do some sort of damage to Bernie Fox cleans the set out right now. Ooh. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. my God. What is he doing down here? This might be it. It is definitely it. Wow. That man never had it. The rain trying to keep himself alive here. Or are we going to see yet another three? Oh. Ooh. 
Okay, man, luckily for him, Dodge does not have too much, uh, you know, power that time, but definitely has enough power to push that man off the left side. There it is, the, the gun uppercut again, that recovery always going to be able to get some stocks off here. All right, Pugsy has a lot on his plate. He is bleeding that. Oh, no wasted time. Stay on. Stepping. Yeah. Two stepping. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, the chain. Oh. Pugsy's firing back. Hey, Effie. Don't have to use his recovery. Dive. Do not think he's going to make this one back. He was right there, but already used his. You know, they do have both have options to the sword, but the difference right here is their close quarters fighting right here between the swords and or the uh, gauntlets and the guitar. Wow. Oh my god, Blood Diamond! Blood Diamond is definitely controlling his match. The jabs combo comes out. Oh. Three piece going down. Oh no, he's done. The three stop. The three manages to get the item away from. Oh my wow. god, this way. There's no way. There's no way. There's all the way. He's done again. Running off the side with that side. A box is being thrown out, hoping for something to hit. Not uh -oh. happening. The side air comes out. Uh oh. Guns oh. being tossed. Got the dump. Is that going to be it? Yes, yes, it is. And Blood Diamond. What? Snuck him right out of the recovery, but he's able to touch the stage. It's very nice. What is the play Get here? Back. Oh, oh, no. Oh, man. Yeah, that is that definitely is it. What wow. a stab right there. That down air through. Flies through that pressure for forces. Uh, Effie, they hit him on the other side. Effie's still looking for the strong part of a side light there, and it scoops him off. Good stuff to Evo. Effie's off the stage now. What's he going to do against O'Brain? Oh, this is a problem. He's off stage yet again, thrown all Ooh, the way no! up, and that was good stuff to O'Brain. Oh. Full-on ground pound actually hits the ground. Tried to charge a sink, but still got hit by Blood Diamond. He wasn't let that happen. Boomy under him. Ooh. Perfect spacing right there. Both of them ready to die at any sink use. Ooh. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that is definitely it, man. The sick usage, maybe expecting Boomy to be in the air. I'm going to chill for a second. All right, that was a little bit of a little bit of a piece right there. Could be a what? problem. However, it looks like he turned it around. Oh, no. oh he did it. Boomy, unable to find it. Good down light from Blood Diamond. Tries to get the slice. It's dive kick season. Oh, that's it. There's, I was like, there's yeah. no way. Yeah. There's no <laughs> way he's going to be able to make that arc. Addy struggling a little bit, gets the D-Light side of the weapon toss going right under LVZ. He does get the wall to touch to reset the jumps. Addy's going to have a mountain to climb at this point. Oh. There's the side signature, taking away the first, getting close to that uh, kill percentage. But really good coverage. He ends up going for a gravity cancel down line into a side air in the edge guard. And the neutral sig, LDZ. Um, in that game uh, four, it could have really gone to Effie, and it was almost looking like it was. Dobrain was struggling to find those kill options. He doesn't there with a neutral signature. That's actually what I wanted him to pass. And then I leaned over, and I can't remember who I told it to. I think it might have been Dati. And I said, like, why Why would he choose to go to King's Pass? I mean, it is uh, a map that a lot of oh! players like. <laughs> oh, oh, your side of oh, the yeah. instinct, he's been plucking people with that so well. It Big. does not quite hit grounded, uh, but Pooby making it look like it does. And nice it looks like is. that Diana's ready with the punish. There's the recovery Good and the weapon, weapon toss. toss. Not, Not enough. Quite enough yet. He comes in with the unarmed dare, just barely missing oh, the second one. Turn the around. around. Gun dare coming out from the players struggling to find any real damage at this point. Dobrin's working on the side string, almost tying up the damage completely at this point. One more hit. Oh, oh. Enough, but Boomy with the jump ground pound into the neutral light. Gonna come down on top, oh. gets the weapon toss into the One ground more. count, staying deep in the push-off column. Addy is gonna maybe turn get the turnaround into the weapon toss. That is it. Oh! oh! He got it! But Addy's getting the better in the damage department, despite the fact that Boom has really been stressing these offstage plays. Addy has been able to be consistent with his hits and a <laughs> nice weapon toss! So clean with that blasters tag. But Addy Mestic again, getting a little bit better of the damage, and I spoke to He soon. picks that one up. Downlight side of Weapon on the field. Side oh save. my gosh, early. Early kill. Enough. Early yeah. kill coming out from Maddie Mestic. He is placing. Trying to fake the weapon pickup. There's the sword pickup. There. It doesn't seem like Boomy wants to spend too much time on the wall. He wants to stress the neutral game. He's putting respect oh. on Addy Mestic's edge game. If that would have hit, and he's putting respect oh. on Addy Mestic's edge game. If that would have hit, and he, he would have gotten the full force at the end. If it didn't clash, that probably would have killed Boomy. The neutral light killing Boomy. 3-0 oh. from Addy Mestic.
Adding Mystic slightly more force on his moves, but LDZ not overly concerned. He's got a big signature kit that side oh! oh! LDZ, I guess, was the platform, so he does end up getting back up. Neutralite will disarm. Still no ground pounds from Adi Messick. Uh -oh, LDZ! Uh-oh, 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 that has been Addy's calling card against LDZ. Down right into Dare, hits the neutral light. Okay. Off stage, play. Oh Grand my pound. god! We got a reset! That's the bracket. Dare, Nair, recovery. Oh! Gravity cancel side sig. Addy Mestic, wait. And the wait. Oh, Addy, I back love that. Off. Addy, I love that. I love your call. So not much. Enough. He gets the second one. Not enough! Where's the follow up? LDZ! LDZ. LDZ. He turns it around! He turns that's making sure uh, Twitch chat doesn't, uh, <laughs> so so doesn't like, oh, get on you for saying something did wrong, stop. dude. <laughs> Down air, it's LDZ does get back to the wall. That's, the that's it, that's the stock. Yeah. Keeping it up. Recovery. Both of them close to death. It's down, it's last stock red. Last stock oh! red. LDZ does! This one is